absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish. When all that that going, oh, yeah. don't talk right. shit, Carl. So, anyway, it's going to be... <laughs> So oh, God! Uh, you're talking so much shit again! So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. So, uh, you're talking rubbish again. This no. is such so shit! This is such so <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Christ! Right, right calm down. We haven't oh, got much time left. Oh, God! What do you mean this is it? Forget this... it. No! Forget don't it. forget it! Carl, do not miss Switch the record off. Oh. Switch the America for the on the Enterprise. It was all about space. And there was one there was one question I had to answer three right, and it was who was the first one into space? Yuri Gagarin. Um, who's doing And then the third question was um, how how much bigger than the moon is the sun? Is it twice as big or four times as big? And this one went four times as big. Went correct. It's not. It's hundreds it's of times bigger. More big, I can't yeah. believe. Uh, Can someone look that up on the internet? How many times bigger is the sun than the moon? It's not four times. It's it's huge. It's like beach ball to a pea type dimension. Which DJ was oh. it? Do you remember on Virgin? I can't remember, but it was the one on sort of about eleven o'clock. Oh, 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 I wouldn't want to be him. Yeah, he's embarrassed himself, he's embarrassed isn't he? Himself. When and we do quizzes, we never get anything wrong. That's true. Enough. During that track, I'm I'm chilling out. I'm loving it, aren't yeah. I? Carl goes, "Do you know how baguettes came about?" <laughs> do you know how baguettes come about? I went, "Go on," and Steve went, "No, save it." Wait a minute, though. I'm thinking, Rick. People are going to be desperate to know the answer to that. Why don't we play some uh, ads and some music and stuff? It's like a cliffhanger. Exactly. How did ba baguettes come about? Whatever he says is going to be good. Stay isn't tuned it? to XFM to find out. Hives. I hate to say I told you so. So I love that sort of stuff. Mm. That and the Strokes. Well, it's so much better than this new metal rubbish, isn't it? Definitely. Now, most people think we talk rubbish on air. Yep. If they could hear the conversations Off that there. go on, I know, but um, someone just emailed in saying the sun is indeed about four hundred times bigger than the moon. Thanks for that. Uh, uh, that that DJ must have looked it up and said um, four hundred times. That can't be right. It's probably they probably it's probably a printing error. Four times. <laughs> yeah. Nothing can be four hundred times bigger than the moon. Um, Carl went, yeah, but uh, the sun. It's only got a million years, and I went, what he went on that space program. It said that in a million years the sun will be destroyed, and he said, and then we're all shafted. <laughs> right? I went, I laughed. Steve went, no, it's okay. By then, we'll be on another planet. <laughs> no, I think that's yeah. true. We'll have colonised right. other planets. Carl went, yeah, but there'd be no sun. Steve went, well, there's other suns, which is true. Carl went, well, I went, well, yeah, ev every star is a sun. Carl went, mm, well, not, not really. <laughs> Not really. Don't, don't believe that, <laughs> do you? And I went, no, it is. The sun is just a star. It's not even a particularly big star. Carl went, well, why didn't they say that instead of worrying me? <laughs> instead of worrying me. In a million years' time. Yeah. I love yeah. the idea of Carl. He's been preserved, brought back to life, <laughs> and is now the ruler of the world. Just a head in yeah. a fish tank. <laughs> and he speaks like this. I am Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, the reason you became king of the universe, of course, is because of your fascinating French bread anecdote. Oh yeah, yeah. What come on the then. What? How? Uh, how did baguettes come about? If this is going to be someone cooked a loaf a bit wrong and said oh, I can still make a sandwich out of it, <laughs> I'm going to hit is you. That it? No, 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 no. Go on then. Um, right, Napoleon, when he was at war and that with um, Russia. Uh -huh. <laughs> 1812, yeah. Yeah, all his soldiers were like, you know, not used to the cold weather and that. <laughs> so they said, take, take some clothes in your bag with you because it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be nippy, nippy yeah. out there. So um, they put all the clothes in the bag. Sure. Didn't they were told? Thought, oh, it's Napoleon for Christ's sake. No I'm room for any food. No room for You're any joking. Food. So um, could they make some sort of like sandwich? <laughs> no, it won't fit because I've got all the clothes. You have to take extra yeah. gear. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, um, anyway. He said, I can I see where know. this is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there a baguette shaped gap <laughs> left in their holdall? They thought, let's make some bread that you can fit down your trouser leg. What? That's not true! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not true! I read it in Euston train station. I was waiting to go back to Manchester. Where did you read these? It was scrawled on the wall in graffiti. No, no, no. Yeah. Do you know the was it also <laughs> meet me here for cock fun at 12 o'clock? <laughs> the upper cross sandwich <laughs> shop, Euston <laughs> station. It's on the wall. What do you mean it's on the wall? Do you know how it says like, <laughs> sail on at Dixon's, whatever? Yeah. Next to that there was like a bit of information, once you've read the stuff on Dixon's- Baguette information. There was, there was a big thing about <laughs> history of the baguette. I read <laughs> it and I thought, ah. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, got, we got to make a sandwich we can spit down our trouser leg. <sighs> But how can you march and fight with a huge piece of bread down your uh, trousers? Although it would be intimidating, you see them coming, you go, sacre bleu, look at the size <laughs> yeah. of them. They're, they're, they're big fellas. 
Well, Blimey. I, I, I can't ever feel that could be a practical joke at your expense. Yeah. He doesn't do that. Well, the Earl of Sandwich... Do you Sandwich, have a question and you read? If it's printed up, is that, <laughs> yeah. like, fact for you, then? Well, it's not funny. I mean, if they were trying to be funny, it's like... Oof. It's not, is it? So it's information. Have you heard us? Things sometimes the, the, want to no, be funny that's, when that's, they're not. That's exactly what happened with the sandwich. The Earl of Sandwich wanted something he could fit down his pants. <laughs> And uh, it was a, those triangle cut sandwiches wrapped in cling film were perfect. Uh, um, you might be right. You might be right. I am. Because the Cornish pasty so they could drop it down the mines, isn't it? Is they, it? Yeah, they wrapped it up in a. Atheists, we don't believe in ghosts, anything like that, anything supernatural. We're we're very we're we're followers of James Randi, a, a genius of our times. But Carl saw something that proved us wrong. I'd like Carl to tell you what this proof was, what he saw on. And, uh, look at him. Go on then. It was Thanks. on, it was on Wednesday night. Yeah. I was watching, I, you see, the problem is I didn't get the full story, so you could pick holes out of it. Sure, 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 sure. And, and like your usual investigations <laughs> into the supernatural. <laughs> Which are It thorough. was called, can I just say what the program was called? Mr. Exorcist. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sounds bit, like an academic work to yes. me. The bit that I caught, I, I just flicked it over, I, I, sort of seeing what's on the telly, and I thought, oh, Exorcist, I've seen it, but there's nothing else, and I watch it, and then I realised it wasn't the same thing. Yeah. Thought, oh, I'll have a bit of this. And um, there was an old woman and, and a daughter, and as far as I, I was aware, the, the bit I picked up on, they were saying, oh, you know, it's, it's dreadful, and, and unless you've been through it. You know, you've had ghosts in your house and that. You really don't know what it's like. Yeah, sure. And the main thing that seemed to be getting them down was the fact that the budgie was getting stressed. The budgie was getting stressed? Because animals can sense the, the other side, can't oh, okay. they? Can they? Yeah. Okay. So, um... And how was that manifesting itself? You don't know. What was the budgie doing? I think it, it, it just wasn't happy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Did it? Did it explain that to people, or no, how you did know, it express I mean, that? Budgies are known for being chirpy, aren't they? I see. And it wasn't chirpy. It, it, well, it, you know, it normally swings on its little perch and that. And it's just depressed because it was right. possessed. It, it was just sat around in its uh, in its pajamas. <laughs> so, so <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Come on, so, Steve. Yeah, Come on, Steve. You're making this a mockery. So <laughs> the budgie was depressed because he could sense the ghost. Yeah. And yeah. then, so yeah. this yeah. Um, yeah. this guy, yeah. this Mister uh, Exorcist, came yeah. round. Was that his name? Yeah. Okay. Was he a, was he a, a priest or something? Yeah, he might have been. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I did he, up did he have a, did he have a, like a black coat with a little white collar? Yeah. That's that's usually the. He had his coat on, so you couldn't tell. No, I'm sure. Okay. But so he, he came round and he sort of did his thing, yeah. and um and then. And was he trying? Was he trying? Was he trying to exorcise the budgie? Um, no, no, the, the ghost. House. Right, the house, so it yeah. wasn't that the budgie had a demon or anything. No, okay. no, so this wasn't a possession, was it? This was a straightforward. It wasn't a poltergeist or anything. It was just a. Well, it's a haunted house. Yeah, yeah but sure. th that's the thing he was saying. He was saying you can have like your ghouls and that that aren't that bad. That aren't going to cause you any yeah. problems. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, obviously yeah. the the budgie, they've got, they've got weak hearts and that, haven't they? <laughs> and, <laughs> sure. So so he go on. So it's a so, so anyway, basically he sorted it out, did whatever he did, and uh, the next shot you see is like the budgie making a noise and swinging it's it's over the moon again, and the the old woman was like happy because she was she couldn't believe it. Yeah. And that does the priest didn't come in and go well. You should feed that bird. <laughs> Give it a bit of millet. It, it was happy. It goes right. No, See you later. No, it was a. So it's it's budge, I mean, budgies are. Um, my mum's got a budgie, and they, they, you know, they're fairly happy all the time, aren't they? So it's got to be something fairly yeah. odd. Right. You never see a budgie sitting down going. I feel like topping myself, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Though? No. Do you know no. you can have like moody, uh, a moody dog. You can you can see a dog when it's unhappy if it's walking yeah. down the street. You can have a moody canary, can't you? And what they do is they often tell the police what you've been doing. They're known for that. Mm. Yeah. So, so um, basically, so that for you is proof that the supernatural exists. A bird in a cage got a little bit annoyed, <laughs> wasn't chirping as much as it normally did. Who knows why? There could have been a little draft up its. You know, and uh, the Laker. <laughs> exactly. That's anyway, a medical term. Anyway, a man just... came in and did whatever he did. Yeah. Yeah. Your Mr. Exorcist, though, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> was, <laughs> this wasn't any bloke off the street. This was Mr. Exorcist. Yeah. Yeah. So and for you, that's the proof that there is. Um... Just because, like, if it was a, a person, you go, oh, they're they playing up for the camera. Yeah, you know, a they... budgie could possibly act like that, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. You say you're saying a budgie would not be trying to. It wouldn't be trying to become famous. No, or no get not on like telly. not like Lassie. No, sure. It was sure. basically a show off. Yeah, or champion the Wonder Horse. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think... I've changed, well, I've changed my tune, Rick, I don't uh, know about you. I have, and I think we should play a record. I'd love to get Mr. Exorcist in. Wouldn't that be amazing? Never dabble with things you don't understand. Sorry. Like women. See what I did there? <laughs> he's turned that back on me. Yeah, I've never had this sort of Steve was thinking, he's not that ugly. Ooh. <laughs>
Blimey. 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 Blimey.
Well, I'm well, just being that idea. It's a Chinese god. You're allowed to say Chinese god from the radio. You are allowed to say Chinese. You're allowed to say it. You say it then. Well, it, you look. It's, look, you're so immature. Read the three of them out. Okay. Um, if he is difficult to find, you should use Quan or the three star gods, Fuck Luck and Sal, all of whom bring wealth and prosperity. So what were the names of the gods again? Because I just, I'm, if I'm making it, a note at home, Rick, well, it's, it's just, it's the Chinese god. Yeah, it's there's Quan Kun, or you can use Luck Sal. <coughs> You can't. What? But it's a god. F U K. It's how it's pronounced. Yeah, I assume. I don't know if we're, if we're pronouncing it wrong. I really apologise. Apologies, apologies if, if we're offending anyone who's uh, of an oriental persuasion. But that's Quan Kung or Luck Sao or Fuck. And any of those gods are available at a Chinese supermarket. <laughs> Near you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Feng Shui. It's an ancient art. You can't give me that look. When you've been saying I've, I've got a round head, I was a bit like, yeah, everyone has. Stop having a go. Yeah. And I saw this picture last week. I thought, God, he's right. Can uh, we, uh, can we, ca can't we just pop it on the XLM website? I'd rather not. I'll go on, Steve, get someone- have you seen that, that man in a jar without a brain? <coughs> Sorry, you have, to, you have to, is that something, is that a product you can buy? <laughs> <laughs> in like, Sainsbury's? Uh, is it a dream you had yesterday? You wondered if you could, can I, uh, yes, hello, um, could you make my dream into <laughs> reality, <laughs> please? <laughs> we can't actually, sir. <laughs> in, uh, plastic would be good. <laughs> So what, what do you mean? In the future, you'll be able to download your dreams and then just like act them out again, probably in the year two thousand or something. Mm. Yeah. Soothsayer. No, there's some museum somewhere. Yeah. That's got this little fella who was born without a brain, and he's in a jar, and it's just that like he's got a really round head. Right. And when I saw this picture, I thought, God, it, 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 it just reminded me of this little fella yeah. in a jar. Oh, and <laughs> what do you mean he's born without a brain? He was born without a brain. So it's a baby. Um, it's not a little fella. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird. Do you know the difference? Do you, do you have conversations with like people in prams thinking that fella's little and he doesn't talk much? Yeah. You know babies aren't like little people. Well, maybe. Well, they are little people, but I mean they're not. They're not very small adults. They're not like midget. They don't do a job of work, is what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. You very there. Yeah. What do you mean? I didn't read about it. I just saw the picture. And this is where you're going mind. wrong, Carl. This is the, always your mistake. You see the picture, you don't read the little caption. But what do you mean? How do you, you think guess at what you think the meaning? But is? how did you know he didn't have a brain? He said something like the brainless man. <laughs> Yeah, but people say that about you. It doesn't mean you literally you haven't no, got no. a spinal. I, I, I bet somebody's seen it and, and knows what I mean. It's a famous picture. Right, like... call in oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. Once again, uh, you win a prize if you can tell us what Carl is talking about. <laughs> Just in general, it's an ongoing competition. <laughs> We're trying to find some CDs to anyone who knows what Carl is talking about. Stereophonics, Vegas, two times. Well, we've had calls confirming that there was indeed, um, a fetus or, or a stillborn child. A pickled born, baby. A pickled baby. No wonder it died. Uh, born without a brain. Um, but everyone has, um, you know, pointed out that it wasn't a little fella. <laughs> it certainly wasn't a little fella. <laughs> no, oh, no. Well, because it had been in the jar for a long time, I think it had aged a bit. <laughs> What are you basing you, that on? You do carry on growing, yeah. 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 Well, your ears and your nose. Your ears and your nose. And your eyes don't grow, so, uh, yeah. you could probably, uh, yeah. I'll dig it out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if, if, like, there was an experiment where they were raising a child just based on the information that we said on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. kind of a person it was like they download, be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what it kind just, of information would they and have? And it took everything literally. Exactly. Was, who needs enemies? Good question, lads. Nobody. <laughs> Six <laughs> FM, one four point nine. I'm Ricky Gervais. Oh, they you? should print a little book of those. <laughs> 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 They're great. <laughs> oh, how you can relate any song or artist <laughs> to anything else? <laughs> Easy. Joyful. Easy. Well, yeah. So uh, me and uh, me and Carl went out uh, for a beer, and it was uh, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah, we, start, myself, we started yeah, off, good. and you met my mate Robin, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, um, some of the stories. Do you want to tell Steve some things about Robin that Robin, you learned? Do you know him well? Yes. Well, um, do you know about his his worm problem as a kid? Go on. Right. He. Uh, what I can remember is he he had worms as a kid. Not sure how you get them. He never answered me. He was getting a bit touchy about it. Right. But I, I, this is like the second time I met him. I think he was a bit annoyed that Ricky told me about his problem. What, yes. now, what, uh, now, straight away, you not being there, instinctively, what do you think went on with this story about worms? My suspicion yeah. is rather like when you told a group of people that Robin had once suckled milk from a cow's udder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told I, that. Yeah. Did you mention that as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th uh, my suspicion is that, uh, like the cow story, the worm story is not true. But and why, Robin... why would he get so sort of 
uppity about it. Well, imagine if, not true. imagine if he, that wasn't the first time he'd done it. Imagine if he did that every single time <laughs> he was with somebody for the first time and Robin was, uh, just met them. He tells that, he will tell that story to anyone. But they do say there's no smoke without fire. <laughs> I also told him- That's a fable. I also- I, I also told him that the way Robin cured these worms- yep. Was because the doctor told his mother, right, to hold a piece of ham or cheese near Robin's anus so the worms would come out for the food, and he believed it. I I'll said tell to, you why, though. I said to Robin used to sit on spam to try and get the worms out, and he believed it. But Steve, right, do you remember that story about th three or four years ago where there was some bloke in the army- he went away to somewhere, Vietnam or whatever. He was messing about in the woods. Um, <laughs> messing about in the woods? Shouldn't he have been fighting? <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Right, and he, w he walked through some lake and I think he'd cut his toe or something <laughs> on, on something and some worm of some sort crawled in the, in the gash. Yeah. And, um, it, it was in his body and the doctor said, we've got to get this out of your body. So what they did was, they said, right, the, the thinnest part or something of your body that things can crawl through is on the top of your head. So they wrap some Where the skull is. So they wrap some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. They did. Ah, that's all right. Thing. So Everyone... he's gone by the toe. Uh, so what we do is, I tell you what, that worm's probably heading straight for the head. We put a bit of bacon on it. The thinnest part of the body is the the, the skull. Of course, it's not the thinnest part of the body. It's the, where your brain case is, isn't it? It's the hard. The skull. There was there was a reason for it. And it was like they, they, um, stuck some bacon on his head and- As ever, the vital piece of information, uh, <laughs> i.e. the reason, Carl seems to have forgotten. It, because the worm was in, in his body and they said every, you know, everyone likes the smell of bacon. Including even worms. A worm, even, a, even a Vietnamese lake worm. They, <laughs> they, 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 oh, they love bacon. Last week, remember last week when I said about the little fella with the bone with no brain and you were proved wrong? No. Please. No, 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 We were saying it wasn't a little fella. We were saying it was a stillborn child. It wasn't no, a little you're fella. You're changing it now. You weren't having any of it last right, week. Right, hang on a minute. Let's just, I'm getting confused. There was a Vietnamese... There wasn't a Vietnamese, there was a Vietnamese snake that went inside of no, a soldier. Worm. A little like maggot or some sort <laughs> that you have to get out of your body because it causes problems. Yes, <laughs> and so in order <laughs> to get it out of the body, they strapped bacon to his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. This doctor. And did that work? I think so. They had a picture of him smiling. <laughs> The bloke. Oh, dear. Honest, honestly, I, I hope someone knows the story. And um, um, right. just it was about three years ago, I reckon. Okay. And, um, yeah, it did work. GI so, GI bacon. So this is why <laughs> I I went. And when, so what the wor the worm burrowed out of his head to get the bacon. Get to the bacon. Right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I this is that. this is why when Robin was telling his story, I, I was a little bit disappointed if it wasn't true. Cause, right. Because in a way, you know, Robin's never been to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I, I would do you really think that Robin, well, as Robin said at the time, Carl, why would I sit on ham then tell Ricky Gervais? <laughs> it's a very good point. Because <laughs> if he was a kid, you d you do daft things like that as a kid. <laughs> right. See, he is the telling Ricky Gervais though. Yeah. No. no, I mean you. You know, you might call up. Yeah. Uh, but no, I keep myself to myself. Yeah. Then you don't get bogged down in the office politics and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Is there yeah. a lot of office politics here? I don't know. I don't get involved in it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Proved your point. So, so, so yeah. when um, we're away and we're like out of action, who, who, other than Suzanne, who will you talk to of the day? How will you get a sort of uh, uh, f feedback from the world? How will you get sort of like input and? I always, if I've ever, uh, if ever I've got like a, a question on anything, the internet's sat there and I can just go on, online and find out. The what internet I'm is is good. It's brilliant, but it, it's not all verified. What do you mean? Uh, it's not all verified. It's not all factually necessarily factually accurate. Anyone can put things onto the internet. It's that you know that's it's it's freaks and things that put on well, here's things one, right? like here's, here's one that I read in the week. Right? One <laughs> about this woman. Yeah, uh, she was a bit of a punk. And, um, to get her hair done like she wanted it. Super glue? Right, no. She mm. got lard. Apparently it's a popular thing, you might, you might know. Um, put lard on your head. Yeah. And you put it in the oven. <laughs> now, apparently the heat that you get from the oven is different from the sort of heat you get from an air dryer. Right? And she had to do that to get the style that she wanted. But anyway, uh, she comes into money or whatever, treats herself to a microwave. 
Right. It doesn't- it's not true. Opens oh. the door, jams the things, you know, like the little catch. So- so the microwave works, she jams it with a screwdriver or a knife or something. Yeah. Pots the microwave on, sticks her head in, boils her brain. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Right. Well, why is that ridiculous? <laughs> boils her brain. She boiled her brain. <laughs> <laughs> she boiled her brain. And this is what's good about the internet. I went straight from that and there was a subject about brains. And do you know that Russell Gr Crowe, when he dies, is- is given his- his brain to charity or something. Some sort of- <laughs> some people who can do stuff right. with it. She gave hers to Pot Noodle. <laughs> Ah, Vesta, yeah. Oh, that's boy in the stuff. skull. Yeah, that's that's not true. No. It's not true, Carl. It's the same as the woman who put her poodle in the microwave, isn't it? And all it's that. just urban myths. They're but, urban myths. But again, where does it start? Someone made it up. <laughs> yeah, for a laugh. They're they're just too convenient. Urban myths. Everyone to uh, you can tell an urban myth not to really go because it's always this happened to a mate of mine, and and the, and the, when you say what happened then, they go, don't know, that was it, was it? Was that it? Was it? Some boiled a brain, and that was it. There was no <laughs> more story. Were there any dates? Have you, have it, times? I, I think it was in Belgium. There's that. There's that. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's that one. That a bloke, right, was going to get a phone call at four o'clock to find out if his business was, you know, okay, right? And if if he didn't get the phone call, he knew he was. Um, broke, destitute. So, uh, 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 dead on four o'clock, the phone didn't ring, so he went up to the, the, the roof, his office, and he jumped off to commit suicide. And as he was passing his window, the phone was ringing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. Think it through. Think it through. Who, who, who told that story? Who told that story? As he hit the pavement at 120 miles an hour. He's the only person who could have known those- that series of incidents. Also, why didn't he wait- dead. As his life's at stake, why didn't he wait till five past? I say I'm gonna give it five minutes, just in just case. Just in case the lines like, are busy. Yeah. And this- and what sort of- what sort of bloke goes out, I'll call you at four, okay, if your business- well, call me anyway. No, no. If I don't call exactly four, then, uh, no, you yeah. commit suicide. Commit suicide? <laughs> I would, because if I don't call at four, oh, that's the end of it. Well, call me anyway. No, that's not the way I work. <laughs> Why can't he just call me and tell me the other way? Well, I'm telling you how I would do it. <laughs> if you're bust, I don't call. Can't he just call to verify in case something goes wrong? What if he's engaged? It won't be engaged. <laughs> just commit suicide at four, please. <laughs> it it didn't happen, Carl. Have you the other one, right? A bloke, right? Uh, he's he's on a uh, train station, and uh, uh, I tell you, how I heard it. Um, uh, he's uh, uh, he's waiting for a uh, crew station, whatever, and um, he shits himself. Uh, as you do. <laughs> and so he goes, oh my train's in five minutes, I need- So he runs across to Millet's and goes, quick, Levi's, 36. The bloke just puts it in a bag, he runs onto the train, uh, he goes into the- the toilet, takes his, uh, um, trousers and pants off. His soiled trousers yes. and pants. Yes. Throws them out of the window, I won't be needing those again. Cleans himself off, open the bags, it's a jacket! Oh. No, it didn't it happen, Carl! It didn't happen, Carl! At what point did he go into it and go, go, quick, Levi's 36, and the bloke went, sorry, Levi's 36, what, a pair? No, 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 no. shall I wrap them? Them? It. It. Shall I wrap? <laughs> Just wrap whatever it is. Do you want to look? No. Do, I'm not looking when you're putting it in the bag, please. Right? <laughs> Uh, well, 36 mm. wise stories, like, well, not, don't say anything. <laughs> I've told you 36 Levi's. <laughs> yes. put it in a bag yeah. and charge me for it. Yeah. I oh. don't want to discuss it further. Yeah. There was one, um... Here we go. There was one about a woman whose yeah. husband died, and she had him cremated, yeah. and made, uh, made like a little egg timer out of him, right. and she said, I did that, so it can still help around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be true. That might be a joke. That's quite sweet. That no, might be that true. That is a true story, again. It was all No, right. not again, because the ones I just told weren't. Nor is the boiling the brains in a bag, curry, microwave. Head story, true. Yeah. They're too, they're too convenient. Will they... you be buried or cremated? What? Will you be buried or cremated? I don't know. Uh, by, uh, cremated. I what do you say? I've, I don't know, it's out of my hands. Yeah, I haven't thought about I've it. I've not thought it through and no, I don't honest. care either way. Have you heard the one so about- we sh Sorry. I'm just worried that we're getting into a macabre world now of- 
ashes, boiled heads. So I think we should play some music, let people just calm down. Levi's. Just think about some of the, the urban myths they've maybe heard, assess yeah. them, maybe they are absolute bollocks. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, they can move on from it. Well, it's just that, the death thing, right? Yeah. There was an argument on there about, huh? do you know that Twilight Zone or whatever it was, Tales of the Unexpected? Oh, yeah. Where the woman got buried alive. Mm. Yeah. They were saying how, like, years ago, um, they'd bury people thinking they're dead. Yeah. And they've, they've recently, like, dug coffins up, and then the people who were in the coffin weren't dead, they might have just been, like, in some sort of deep sleep or Catonic. whatever. And they've, they've lifted the lid off. Yeah. And there's scratch marks yeah. on the thing. Yeah. And that's pretty scary. That Makes you think. I mean, I hope they check these days. <laughs> that's all. Um, I'd like to play a beautiful song now by Cat Stevens. On the pl how, how did you enjoy Edinburgh, by the way, anyway? Because I saw you up there briefly with you and um, Nick Frost, your new mates, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. You know, uh, he prefers them to us now. I know, apparently, I could tell that from just talking to him, it, really. It was just, it was, the way he was sort of looking at them, he like, was just smiling at Nick Frost, he's, it's his new best chum, you love right. Nick Frost, don't Would you? you have preferred it, right, right if <laughs> I went to Edinburgh and, and had to sit with some people that I really didn't like? Would no. you have, would you have been happier for me? No, uh, do you know, but right, I, I, so I, I had a great time with yeah. Simon and Nick and the, and the nice people. But, what but he kept Nick? going, he kept going, he kept going to, uh, oi, oi, Nick, tell Ricky that story. And he th and Nick and some of well, all it was, right? And they're ghost stories. That's he loves them because they believe in ghosts. Oh, it's not, not just they're great well, blokes with great nothing. sense of humour. Just because they believe in ghosts, you go and tell him that. He goes, "How do you explain that?" I was going, "Well, I wasn't there." What was that one you told me? And it was completely wrong. About the, it was. uh... Oh yeah, right. It's years ago. Oh yeah. Uh, some, some in olden days, oh, sure. when ghosts like, roamed the earth. Once upon a time, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Some doctor or something who was into like the way bodies work. Um, they got their head cut off. Uh, who and did the doctor? Yeah, he was doing a bit of an experiment. And he cut his own head off. He, yeah. Okay. And it was about. Um, he said, "When my head's in the basket, I'm going to blink my eyes." Right. Okay. Sorry. Hang on. Let, let him finish. <laughs> and um, so the doctor. Has chopped right. his own head off, and, and he's told everyone, I'm gonna blink my eyes. To no, right. he's in the basket, and he goes like, right, I'm gonna blink my eyes about, f you know, as many times as I can. So quick, count them. And, and they count, and he got to like 15 before he, he, he right. died. Right, now this is how Carl told me that. Till, till Nick Frost explained that, Carl told, you know, he said, right, well a bloke, right, he had his head cut off, and as, and when his head was in the basket, he went, count how many times I can blink. <laughs> and I went, well, that's rubbish. He went, no. And Nick went, well, no, he, he actually said, when my head's in the basket. I, he went, and Carl went, oh, I said, I said, Carl, do you know the subtle difference? Do you see the subtle difference? I have to say, though, guys, I still don't really understand what went on there. I really, you've well, both well, lost me. Uh, the story is that a bloke who'd been found doing, um, uh, doing You a, mean uh, that Carl just explained it and that was a clear version? Because <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what you're talking about, Carl. <laughs> well, this bloke. Had his head cut off for uh, experiments against God. He was a doctor in the, you know, uh, in olden times. Yeah. And when they cut his head off, um, why did they cut his head off? Because um, uh, it was uh, he it was, was crimes against exactly he was executed. Yeah. And uh, uh, he said to his assistant, "When my head's in the basket, I'm going to blink. Count how many times I blink and write it down as an experiment." Right. Carl told it to me like his head was cut off and he went in the basket. And when his head was in the basket, he looked up and said, <laughs> "Count how many times I blink." <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love the difference in that story. Yeah, yeah. Both rubbish, yeah. but, um, you know, one's, one's Why possible you, you and one isn't. Anything, you believe anything that you're told except when we tell you the truth. Right, yeah. here's one. Christ. Ghosts and that we got, we got talking about. Sure. And Nick, uh, Nick said, right, he said, you'll like this one. Huh. He said, uh, my, uh, my auntie, um, was having loads of problems. Why are you in whispering? It? It's not illegal like, to talk oh, about ghosts on the radio. No, but, but it's here in this. Um, so, um, <laughs> the aunt is in the house and that, and, um, furniture's moving about all the time. Oh, God. And they were like, no, oh, this Oh, is... Steve, you told me this one. This is such rubbish, mate. No, come I'm on, let's listen. I'm gonna leave it to you. I'm gonna sit back and <laughs> enjoy it. I'm just gonna watch your face, Steve. Right. Sorry, so, so I missed said, the beginning uh, there, Carl. There's an aunt in the Basically, house. Nick's auntie. Right. Yeah. Um, in the house, things moving around all the time. Oh, and it was just annoying every time she tidied up. It was like, oh, <laughs> It was just annoying. Making a mess. <laughs> it was one part annoying to two parts <laughs> scary. Yeah, yeah. So. so <laughs> <laughs> oh so dear. stuff was stuff was moving around all the time, and yeah. they said, right, rather than right, we need an housekeeper. Yeah. Rather than having the house a mess, uh, <laughs> until we sort Stop this out. Stop it! <laughs> I've got the vicar coming round. Stop moving I love stuff this. around. Oh, yeah, go on. They said that shouldn't be in the pants drawer. <laughs> Let's put all the furniture in one room, right? right. So uh, just have one room that's a mess, and have all the others <laughs> empty. 
Because I love the poltergeist can't really, uh, it can move for wardrobes around, but it can't open the door to put it in another room. Yeah. Poltergeist going, oh, I'm just making this room messy. I wish someone opened the door so I could, f go on. Yeah, but, so, so all this stuff's in this room. So they right? moved all their furniture everything into one room. Everything, they put like the drawers in there and everything, and <laughs> it was really uncomfortable, because they were all like on top well, of each they other. They sat in the room with all the stuff. Yeah, they had to, because that's where the three piece suite was. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh God. Right. All right. Oh God. So they sat there, right, all crumpled up and that, but nothing can move because it's so tight. Things, yeah. I think things were trying to move. Yeah, but yeah Everything yeah. was so tight. It's they just boxed like, that poltergeist. guys. So, um, so anyway, one night they sat there, like sort of a bit awkward watching the telly and that, and um, they hear some banging. Yeah. In the next room. <laughs> so uh, she goes, Oh God, what's that? Oh, he hadn't moved in, had he, the ghost? So, uh... Um, <laughs> to some of the empty rooms. So there's this bang... <laughs> He's moved some friends and family in. <laughs> there's this banging about going on, no, so... This, this, she, this, this, she yeah. gets up, right? Yeah. And what it is, they had the baby in the next room, because there wasn't much room for the cot. Right, so they left the baby with, with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so, they go into the room where the baby is, <gasps> and the banging... Yeah. ...is like, do you know those plastic balls you get that you can chuck round the room and, like, they go mental? Right. The ones that you chuck once and yeah, they keep bouncing yeah, yeah, for ages. Yeah, yeah. That was bouncing around the room. Why? Hitting what, the baby all, had thrown it? Hitting all the walls and the baby was there, stood in the cot, sort of laughing. Right. And looking at the ball and wherever it looked, the ball went. Yeah. And then she said, uh, she said, stop doing that. Yeah. And the ball just stopped. Did it? And it, and it rolled a bit and stopped. Right. So the baby had thrown the ball and it was watching it as it bounced around the room? It wasn't throwing it, it was in control of it. No, the point is, Steve, the baby had been doing it, it would have been the baby all along. The baby had been messing with the furniture. It was so a baby a that super had the power. Baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby that had the power. Special, ba it's special a baby. It's a baby that had the power. It's what, what a baby power? that had the power. What, the, power what's the power of telekinesis. Right. They were then trying to convince me that uh, telekinesis was not like all the other stuff that I didn't believe in, but that was a science. Right. Telekinesis was possible. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's not like. It's not like ghosts and demons and uh, all that sort of. Telekinesis is different. Yeah. That, that's yeah. A science. Um, but. Ne but Nick's auntie saw it, and I love the fact that you're telling me that someone else's auntie <laughs> saw it. <laughs> so I should be, I should be satisfied with that. Yeah, I, I, I should be satisfied with that. I mean, no. so does she still live in one room with all her possessions? No, I think the uh, baby grew out of it. Apparently, it, it grew <laughs> the baby grew out of it. it. So it doesn't use its telekinesis powers no. anymore. Well, no, it's no. like in Carrie, in it. She she was upset for a bit, and then she got over it. Okay, I'm mm. just gonna say one thing, Carl. Um, that was a film. Do you want to play <laughs> a record or? Oh. Get free. All right, on XFM one hundred four. Point nine. Can I just tell you a story that Carl told me a couple of weeks ago? Is this another um, ghost story? Another yeah, it is, story? Yeah. Um, uh, I called him out, I was, what are you doing? He said, oh, I said, I've just been reading ghost stories again. He went, th he said, right, he said, you don't believe in them, but how do you explain this? Right, I went, go on. He said, uh, I'll tell you as he told me it. He went, um, blog, right, just sitting at home, just sitting at home, doing, you know, watching telly with his, with his cat. And, uh, the phone rings, and it's a bloke going, uh, oh, uh, is that fire, uh, in your oven okay now? Um, cos your wife called. And he went, Carl went, well, one, there was no fire in the oven. Two, he wasn't married. <laughs> I went, right. Go on, he went, well. Then, right, there was a knock at the door and there was two sort of people in sort of well, white coats and they, and they kind of said, oh, we've come about that fire. Your wife called us. He went, one, there isn't a fire in my oven and two, I'm not even married. Right? And he said, and they saw the cat and they sort of, they looked at the cat, it looked a bit weird at the cat, the cat came out, and, they looked, uh, uh, and uh, he said, and then he went back it sat down, phone rings, and they said, oh, uh, did they sort out the fire in the oven that your wife told us about? <laughs> oh. He went, one, there is no fire in my oven, two, I haven't got a wife. And Carl went, what do you think of that? I went, that's not it. <laughs> he went, yeah, I went. <laughs> that's the end of the I went, story. What? 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 He went, well, how'd you explain that? I went, explain what? I thought he was going to say, <laughs> a year later we got married but she died in an oven fire. Right? I thought it was going to be that, and I went, That's what? people winding him up. Yeah, or, 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 um, someone did report a fire in oven and their name was Johnson and they looked up Johnson, they got the wrong thing, it was the gas board or that, and they sent around to the wrong person, right? You know, he, he went, he went, yeah, I said, I explained it to him, he went, yeah, why did they look at the cat funny? <laughs> Oh, man alive, Carl. This is really weird, right? I was, um, 
I was uh, in my house once, right, and the doorbell rang. Yeah. Right, I opened the door, and there was no one there. Yeah. Right? And then I looked across the street, there was right, some kids and there were some kids running away. Yeah. Now, how do you explain that? Yeah. There was another time, right, where, like, I, I opened the door, and there was a bat goes, you've ordered pizza. I went, I haven't ordered pizza. And I heard my mate upstairs giggling and putting the phone down. Yeah. How do you explain that? Carl, seriously, what did you, why did you tell me that story? What did you think, what did you think that was weird about that? The fact that it was three different people. Is this all the information? Is that the entire story? Have you, did it was you, three different people. Did you fall asleep and not read the end? A fire that didn't happen, about a wife that didn't exist, <laughs> and a cat that didn't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack, Carl. What? I mean, why? Why did they look at the cat funny? Because what? cats don't don't like um, spirits, do they? <laughs> And the other blokes were ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. So right? these are, these are kind of beetle about type ghosts. <laughs> these are ghosts to walk the to walk the earth as the ah! undead, just winding oh, people up slightly. That's lovely. That is but lovely. Seriously, and a cat that did not look happy. But seriously, why would ghosts <laughs> wander around just like winding people up? <laughs> oh. Maybe something did happen there years ago. Mm. Some fire. Some woman might have died in the house of a fire or something. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it sort of all happened again. Bit yeah. Of a yeah. It's certainly a mystery. It's, I mean, certainly you know, it's a mystery. Yeah. I mean, I can't. I. What's can't, this I... book you were reading? You were reading a book, which is interesting enough. It was. Um, it was the fourteen fourteen times. Oh, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what to say. Well, I'll tell you this, Carl, there is a track that will, uh, that will spook you right out. This is Warren Zevon from, uh, what was it, like, about 1979, early oh, 80s? Oh, great track. Werewolves of London. Play this, Carl. But don't be scared. From 1978, Carl, Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. Are you a fan of that? It's alright, that's great track, track, isn't it? Fans right. of Warren Zevon, maybe if you should know he's got a new album out. Um, as we speak. Although, if you're a fan, you probably know that already. Yeah. If you aren't a People fan, who hate him would yeah. be interested in knowing yeah. that he's got a new album out. Yeah. Do you believe in, uh, I think, Where Lycanthropy? Else? Is it? Is it not called? What's that, sorry? Lycanthropy. What's Lycanthropy? Isn't that wa werewolfism? Really? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you believe in that, Carl? They've, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? They've found kids walking about who are all airy. Because, right. uh, <laughs> cause they've, they've sort of grew up with, uh, wolves and that. Yeah. So, no. You see, two <laughs> things there. Um, Right, uh, you cannot take on acquired uh, characteristics genetically, so if you grew up with wolves it wouldn't suddenly make you hairy. Uh, well, there's two, been pictures, there's been pictures, there's been stories on it, and I reckon most people have, or a lot of people have seen the stories, it's a popular you thing. Mean, you mean the kids that are born hairy? No, no, there's kids who have been born hairy, right? Yeah, that's it. No, but listen, and they walk around on all fours, <laughs> and they drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> Oh, Steve, this is no, too No, remember, easy. listen, remember that time with the maggot and the head? Yeah. Um, getting out with bacon and you were like laughing and then people called up and said, yeah, I've, I've seen that, I've read about that. Yeah, this but is the you, same thing. have you seen an XFM listener up close? Have you ever looked, They studied? drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got to be kept on leads, people who listen to this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. There is. It's comedy you see, gold. When you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish there? Teachers didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. <laughs> they taught us maths. God. Right. Tell a story about the man I'll cover. Right. In the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its yeah. face is well, against it, God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like physics. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> Unexplained. What's no. going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. oh. If anyone has ever seen that manhole cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. What sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research budgets, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to a manhole cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Of a Do you song. reckon it can Let's send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What? 
what, of what value is that? <laughs> I'm like, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, <laughs> it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out! <laughs> fire it! See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb. I don't know. Tie bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, listen, Carl, play another track and then afterwards, can we probe your views on the, the week's news? If you want. We'll do a bit of a white van Carl session. <laughs> Carl, um, I, I met Carl a couple of times in, in our, our, our sabbatical, and, uh, he, uh, said to me once, he said, um, oysters. I said, have you ever tried oysters? I, said, I, I, I don't like them. And I went, uh, he said, oh, it's just, just a thing about swallowing them whole, you know. He went, well, the reason you have to do that is just they're, they're fatally poisonous. <laughs> and if you bite into them, they kill you. And I went, well, of course they don't. He went, yeah. I went, well, of course. They wouldn't. <laughs> what have you chewed on? I said. He said no. I said, well, so you swallow them whole and they're not poisonous. He went, yeah, ah, see. He said, so he said, when you swallow heroin in a in a Johnny, he says that doesn't kill you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh. And then uh, about a week later, he went, I was wrong about them. <laughs> you were. Yeah. I went. Well, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did you say? It's if you eat them and then you have some whiskey. <laughs> They, they turn deadly when, when whiskey comes into contact with them. Yeah, when, when, uh, when they've had a drink. <laughs> when they've had a drink, they get a bit rowdy in your stomach. They right. start fighting, they can yeah, cause get Larry so, 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 what, so what are you saying now? Are you saying you don't believe that? Am I saying what? Are you saying you don't believe Look, that? he thinks he's got us here. He thinks he's got us here. Yeah, I don't believe that if you eat an oyster, then drink some whiskey, you die. You might not die straight away, but... You won't feel. Eventually, 50 years time. If you've got, you've got to keep on drinking whiskey. Uh, yeah, 50, a bottle a day. 50 or 60 years later, he was dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oyster and a bottle of whiskey a day. Oh. <laughs> then, out of nowhere, 40 years Wh later. Where has this information come from, Carl? If, if some doctor called up now. Yeah. And put you right, would you believe him? If it wasn't Dr. Fox. Yeah. <laughs> what about the airy, airy lads? Growing up with the werewolves and that. They didn't grow up they with werewolves. They didn't werewolves grow up with werewolves. You've confused they're about three just different Just a genetic stories, mutation where, the, you know, they were born with a uh, very, very hissute. There were a couple of kids, yes, we know. They didn't grow up with wolves and you can't kill them with a silver bullet. I mean, you're confusing two things. There were you? some kids who were very, very hairy, yes. Yeah. They're in folklore. There were some kids who grew up with wolves, yes. I don't think the two are connected. Yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as werewolves, Carl. You, you Believe me, I saw a documentary on it on the History Channel. You'd have loved it. You, you, you grew the up with a magpie. Of werewolves. You know, you don't flap around, do you, and steal people's jewellery? Um. What was the thing you told me about snails? Uh, have you ever had any, um, any post that, that looks like it's been opened? Occasionally, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, what it is, it's not your postman having a... A sneaky look. A sneaky look. Problem is, right? Uh, slugs. <laughs> the problem, slugs. Slugs at <laughs> night. They like nipping about and that, and it gets a bit cold. And in London, like in the country, they go into the grass, don't they? Right. But in London, it's like, oh, what can we do? <laughs> and um, they go in letter boxes. Right? Slugs go in letter. Get boxes. in letter, letter bo boxes. It's nice and warm in there, uh, dry and what have you. And um, <laughs> these are homeless slugs, aren't they? The ones that lost their shell. When they're in there, they only found out that they love glue. <laughs> they and love they've, glue. They've been eating uh, eating the glue off the stamps. Right. And um, <laughs> people have been getting charged for posts because it hasn't had stamps on it. It's like, well, they put a stamp on it. Yeah. It's like it's, slugs have been eating it. <laughs> sure. And they also <laughs> eat the glue that's on the actual envelope shutter. And it's a real popular problem, this, that, uh, <laughs> letters are being lost and opened and all that stuff. Yeah. Slugs. Are, like, are slugs, like, stealing postal orders and things and cashing them in and stuff? Yeah, again, you know, if there's a doctor, if there's a postman. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, with us two expert witnesses, a doctor and a postman. So, uh, so posties is a real problem. Um, so oh. it's, when we see, when we see, uh, a slug's trail, or a snail's trail. It's glue. That's the glue they've stolen, is it? That's, they've just, that's a little... I'm we, not, I'm not gonna say yes to that, that I'm not follow, sure. But we could follow that trail and, and find the, them, and they'd have a big, sort of... <laughs> big bio uh, letters. Uh, yeah, our stamps and... Yeah, there they are. <laughs> like, birthday cards for our Yeah, but two pound notes. Yeah. 
Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Slugs. Wow. So, oysters <laughs> and whiskey kill ya, and slugs Be very careful your if you're gonna go out this evening, you're thinking of having a whiskey, maybe some oysters, be very, very careful. Yeah, and if you, are gonna, if you are gonna post a letter, please, please do please, not use please. tasty glue. <laughs> Met Carl in the week against I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. Know. You know, you should but then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, "Oh, is this loud with the people?" I go, no, "Save it, save it," and we just sit there. and I'm scared to talk in case he comes. Up. But um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that you know that, that I mean I enjoy. Right. Can you tell um Steve about the doctor? Right. Oh God. Um. What's what? Where, is this something that happened to a friend of yours, or is this? Uh, no, no, I read about it. You read about it. Okay. Um, there's this little lad. <laughs> right. Okay. First of all, it's it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, get the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I didn't say that. I just said it's years ago. Go on so on. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's uh, he's lying in the bed and. Uh, He's, he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor round. The local doctor comes round. And, uh, he says, oh, so I don't know, don't know what's up with him. He said, um, he said, leave it with me. Leave it with me? He said, uh, I'll have a, yeah, he said, I'll, um, I'll, I'll phone up, uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And, uh, so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good, it's all crackly and that, right? Mm, yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying, I've got this kid, he's a funny colour and, uh, you know, he, he's really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what you want to do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you got to do? You got to, uh it's all breaking up. You've got to give him some, uh parrot's blood. Right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parent's blood, but he, he heard that he said parrot's blood. He oh said, right, I'll, 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 I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, he goes to, uh you know, a pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> he says, give us like half a dozen parrots. Sure. Takes them round to the kid's house. Takes the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid. Kid's fine. The kid's fine. <laughs> I never. It, it worked. <laughs> such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such uh, just made up, enhanced, exaggerated. <laughs> Bollock in my life. A load life. of old rubbish, Carl. I mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on, wait, I you, just need to, I give, just need Where to do I get blood from? From his, give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents, some, some parents' blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Carl. Where was this? Where did I you read this? I stitched you up. You know when he said, he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do yeah. you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. <laughs> Carl. But where did you read it? it? That, that was on the internet. <laughs> what? About where is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. Hmm. I didn't see that. Is this, um, I'm a celebrity getting me out of yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. And, um, they were all scared and it is so Leave easy. it with me! Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah! Uh, leave it with me! <laughs> well, they were all scared because there's a snake and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they, before they, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went. Give it half an hour on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, okay. right? Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh -huh. um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just like kick sand in its eyes. Because <laughs> yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit like annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't <laughs> do any research before they went. Yeah. 
And that's so your, your, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that, because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, we should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he, you thinks this, this up? he thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this an idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing uh, our exposure of myths, and, and Legends of Rockfall Tale, we exposed that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no, they, they were never any good and yeah. the kids today, oh, I don't we want to ex that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart is a great artist. This, uh, He's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was, when he was rocking. When he cut the mustard. Yeah. 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 Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practicing, because it, it worries me a little bit that he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you know yeah, what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they, pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah, really. Like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the problem. I always feel them. I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah, you know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, spurious? Did he, he break right. his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th I think he's. Uh, he was all right. He, he lived to a. See, yeah. I'd have shouted if I was that doctor. I'd have shouted. That down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. You parrots, sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but d d did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like, No, 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 we're going back to the late 70s if there's a phone <laughs> call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl, they weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or, or in the Victorian age. Come mm. on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? <Right. laughs> I'm intrigued to know where this is. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah. Because you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what were you, theses. What were you looking up that then? What were you, what were you looking always, I always look up weird stuff. What were you yeah. looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? Why, there was what? this woman with a weird head. <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you doing? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard, like, someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a, with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact, I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dillon's or somewhere and there's these, there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? It's all there. Yeah. So what, you typed in weird head woman or? <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird, weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. Did, you, did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 7,000 uh, hits, Carl <laughs> talking to. Well, it's all there, isn't it? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about, um, the, what's the name? The, the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost, this? uh, lost postcard that's, uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think like yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. 74 years late? It took 74 years. And that three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time? <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There's no way You see what that. we mean? But there's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always, it's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, well they're they holding back because they're slow because the postman slug is useless. His round takes him 74 years. Then he's got to go back to the beginning he's got 74 years and they can't carry the bag. But that's why they go, that's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <gasps> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, did, did you did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Uh, Cause presumably the, it was- It a, wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's uh, It was, it was a penny wrong, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> Don't know. See, these are the questions no, you no, should no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no, no. if it's the postman's fault, 
The post the office postman. can't turn Who was only three at the time himself, wasn't he? He was the... No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You you're asking questions, though, you see? That's, that's true, you see? So, t um, y you're interested in that where sayings come from as well, aren't you? Because yeah. you, you told me one of the week, what that, I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D Let's do, do this We'll first. do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later. But what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. Do you have, you heard that? That, have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Wh wh how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've, maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to ba throw the baby out with the, the bathwater. bathwater. There might right. be something you can just change yeah. and you don't want to, yeah. yeah. A similar, you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm -hmm. And, um... Pre or post phone. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Ages and ages ago when, like, you know, the bloke worked in the house, you know, he was, like, the coal man, and then you had, like... <laughs> no way, it's important. Then, then like, the mum is, like, uh, you know, she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. yep. And, uh, and you've got, like, the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So, what happens is, back then they didn't have, like, fresh flowing warm water every day. Mm. So all they could do, they could only afford to have, like, um... One one full big bath of fresh water, so they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, "Oh, I've had a right, you know, I've had a tough day at work and that down the pit." And uh, his wife would say, "It's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You go and have a nice warm bath." So because yeah. he because he gets the bath first because he, he gets the bath first because he's the grafter and he's right? covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's like minging by the time he's finished. Yeah, right. And then the wife says, "Oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweaty now." She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got like little uh, little grubby knees and stuff. Needs to have a bath. <coughs> yeah. It goes in the bath, right? But because the water is so dirty, sure. They go and empty the water out of the window. Can't <laughs> see the baby in it. <laughs> Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how. It, that's where it comes from. Because <laughs> I heard this, I just, I'm just, I'm just. What do you think, Steve? Steve. So, <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of, I mean, oh, that doesn't explain where do you why you start. Well, You're that, struggling, aren't you? You're struggling where to start. Well, firstly, I can't see how we've now applied this to. I've you been know, the thinking of this. I've been thinking of this for days, Steve. Waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These coal mining parents did yeah. be negligent. Yeah, I, I love they've left their baby because, in the bath because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal. Yeah. Has you go bath. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first. Yeah. That's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second, yeah. and then the clean little baby. Yeah. I think I think we should do him last because yeah. he's but he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just going to throw the water out. Yeah. In the bath. Don't check. Have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's not in there? No, I'm not Don't even going to waste my time You'd checking. You'd see it. You'd see it. I'd be able to see You'd a baby. You'd see a baby if in a there. If a baby was in here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to look, to be honest, Jack. Not With all that bath. Look. Yeah. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, itself Jack. Too. We have lost three children this way. <laughs> Don't worry. Where did you read that? Acid. Right, tell the other story that you totally, you totally believe this as a true story, don't you? The fella with the, the, um, being killed. Right, do you know how the other week we were talking about some fella who had <laughs> his head cut off and he said, uh, when my head goes into, into the basket, I'm gonna blink a lot, see how many times I can blink. But if you remember, when Carl first told me that, it was, uh, um, I think it was Simon or, um, uh, Nick that had to point it out, he goes, no, that's not quite right, Carl. Carl told me it, that he had his head cut off and when his head was in the basket, it looked up and said, count how many times I blink. <laughs> yeah, sure. But he believed that as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he was yeah, happy, yeah. he was happy with that. Sure. Do you know Sorry, what I mean? Sorry, so, so, yeah, you, a couple of weeks ago there was a guy, he had his head cut off and before he had it off he'd said, I'm gonna blink to show yeah. that there's life after death and, and, and he, he did, done it. He did 32 blinks, yeah, right? Sure. So, 
you two were sort of putting that down the other yeah, week. Yeah, we were So, I looked again on the internet? At some other website. Mm. Yeah. And there's a guy Sorry, it's the website, just to clarify, the website is the place where you bought that property on the moon, didn't you? Because it was a bargain. <laughs> right. So, um, <laughs> this guy- Finger zumped. Look, we'll see who's been gazumped when the, when this world ends. Yeah. I've got somewhere to go, yeah. all right? And I know you'll be calling me up, saying, "Oh, can I come with you?" Have you got, got no, like two square foot? foot? <laughs> no, I've got eight. You're gonna have to stand <laughs> deadly still on the moon <laughs> in your two square foot. I've got about There's no acres. place for Suzanne. It'll just yeah. be you. Twelve it's off, it, love. It's well, all it's all those people with big heads and web feet that have been buying it all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, right. Go on. Anyway, play a record. Tell us a story after it. We've been chatting for far Sorry, Carl. No, there's play a record. Play a tune. We'll come back with this. What's this? Another ghost story? No, oh, oh let's play my, one of my favourite songs of all time. I'm going on holiday and getting into a lovely, serene move. Serene Sorrento is probably from that. Uh, it's Neil Young after the Gold Rush. Beautiful. Still to come that competition as well. Look forward to that. Carl's quiz. Yeah. What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Tune, yeah. Neil Young Dynamite. after the Gold Rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry. Go on, Carl. So just take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's what's the story? Right. So I did some research. Right. <laughs> Let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off to so show the brain that life, can still- Or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So y you weren't having any of it? Well no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But you know, no nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that we're was terrible. We're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this? The, the 1970s? <laughs> when well, you say a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of? Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So- <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when you watch Nears Could go over yeah, This was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so and even before that, which is yonks, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough, and he's, but no, he's resigned to it. It's, it's a day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Who were? So. The jailers? Whoever he was the asking. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get out, that. <laughs> so he said, no, look, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out. You know, okay. he said, do yeah. us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut me head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, cause there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You guess <laughs> it, go on. So, uh, <laughs> They got Norris McWhirter down. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then, I'll yeah. see you in the morning. Yeah. See you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it's in yeah. or when but it he was. He knows exactly what was said. said what, but he knows <laughs> the intricacies. <laughs> all right, then, see you in the morning. <laughs> mm, bye, little kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm all right. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's here's a white line for you. <laughs> got used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, I go on. And they cut his head off, and the body walked thirty two steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. Thirty two steps. Incredible. 
And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the white- it walked along the white line, did yeah, it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did thirty-two steps, and then started to stumble a bit and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was do. a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When- when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what- what do you reckon you can do then without an head? Uh, how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would- yeah. You could not- Distinctly take thirty-two steps. Mm -hmm. The body. C well, don't. Yeah. Ah, is yeah. the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And uh, you no, know, you could have thirty-two steps. Right. So a you don't believe that. I'm doing a bit of line dancing. Right. You don't believe that. But <laughs> something that you do believe is that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Wow. Well, mm, insect <laughs> to. Uh, human <laughs> is is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. J j there's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So you're making out as if like they're a totally different like species. Being. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am making that up. I mean, call Rick, me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about, <laughs> I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings, yeah, that is, yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the, the cockroach is, is very- you've got another hour to put Have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, we, I've got that feature educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right. Do you know the- do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita. Yeah. I see well, what you've done, I see what you've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know, like, how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in with topics every week, and this week I've got uh, hang ghosts. No, hanging bacon is one of the topics. Say that again. Hanging bacon. Hanging bacon. All, all the titles. Francis Bacon. <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging bacon. Well, you've right. certainly intrigued. Go on. Me. What's the another title one? Uh, Hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, I'm going no. go for that one. Could if, I, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title, yeah. No, I'm going to go for Hairy Chinese kid. And I think. the final one, yeah. a Alien gives man a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I alien gives burst. man a beard. I am going to burst. Right, listen, Carl, you've got to tell me. Right, to, first, right, let's do it in reverse order. No, we're order. not, not going to do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. The, the, I mean, that's this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour, okay? The listeners have just uh, been subjected to rubbish and, uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've got to do Alien Gives Man a Beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um, Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? <laughs> well, this feature is you telling me something. Well, teaching you something, educating Ricky. Right? So, are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well, into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? There's no point because look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away. So I'm not wasting my time making stuff. Right. If you don't like well, okay. It. Let's play. Let's play educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go right. Wah wah Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Educating Ricky. Right. What are we going for then? Hanging the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. Alien gives man a beard. I think Alien gives man a beard. I'd like to do that. Right. There's this fellow. I think it happened in America. Uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. <laughs> and uh, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has. <laughs> you sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light, and I, gr I, I got back in the car and I grew a beard, and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is- He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> ah! the, the UFO had taken him for three days, yeah. but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had happened yeah, is, yeah, he yeah. took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um, so, right, okay. I mean, was 
Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones anything to do with this at all? Did you, were you, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Here. Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent <laughs> for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk, what if he was lying? He'd got knocked unconscious, mm. he'd had a car crash. Just lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days and that with his mates. that was his mates. excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna- what- Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Uh, yeah. uh, Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away for a minute because of the beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have, that's- <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played So, out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learnt from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learnt so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no, uh, what do you mean add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this, to this what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right? Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're gonna get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that. Do you know, like all our rules have a code. Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right? Do you know, like how here? Do, like, do you know? I've, I've, I've no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know, like <laughs> over here? I'm listening to Capital on these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got Foxy on from yesterday. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, let's let's bend that. No way, it's great. <laughs> no, I, I want to hear about airy Chinese kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. Okay, play a tune. Go back to Chinese, Chinese kid. kid definitely. Some, some doors. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Uh, take it back to the sixties. Uh, this is a tune that a friend of mine sent. If me. you touch a UFO, you get done. Soul Kitchen from the Doors. Shambles today, this. <laughs> David Bowie, Slow Burn. Yeah. Quite a, quite a Eno trilogy yeah, feel about it, all, Lodger yeah. it and sort of low type, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Enjoyable. Um, now, okay. That's stressful, isn't it? We've, I think we've got things working now. We've had people coming in and out, just shaking their head going, shouldn't have bought that desk. <laughs> but it's all sorted now, I think. And, uh, oh. I'm, you know how it I'm took, sorry. um, about what? 25 minutes for them to come down as well, though? Do you feel like we're maybe quite low in the pecking order in the building? Definitely. You know, it's like Capital First, Capital Gold. They can shoot off to other sort of pirate stations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People's yeah. car radios, then they come back <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I had a job at Richard Sounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Light fitting was, uh, buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, <laughs> but we've got, um, thanks for staying listening. Um, right, okay, educating Ricky. What have we got? Every Chinese kid, go on. Right, yeah. This is the, uh, I didn't want to do this. What really. do you mean you didn't want to do it? Well, I wanted to give you three and I, I, and I gave you one. It was like the alien uh, man gets a beard or whatever. Yeah. And Which was total rubbish, so uh, this one should be better, maybe. Hairy Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about hairy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Haven't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not, there were some people that were born a, a very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson type mind. Right, well, this is like a sort of, sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people aren't that hairy as a, as a nation. <laughs> No, seriously, that's that's a well-known fact. <laughs> oh you, they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So this little kid who was born over there, um, he was like covered in stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy. The rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of. What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it thick hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of uh, uh, like a pony's mane? So he just looked like an Ewok. You know what I mean? Just like hanging down, sort of straight dark well, it hair. Looked, in the picture, it looked like uh, it grows it from downy? his eyebrow. It grows from his eyebrows quite thick, and then it just goes all the way over. You his don't head. think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just, just hanging all everyone. over him. Yeah. And um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird. Happening, uh, happening in China, mm. where, where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was the scientist speaking <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> the press, the local press and that were getting him down calling him monkey boy and all this. Oh. And, uh... Um, thinking Chinese press. But the doctor... <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're cruel, aren't they? The it's doctor, like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah. And the doctor said, um... I was st Carl talking through all that time where we were just like talking to each other then? Because I, I turned around and I still saw he was talking. <laughs> Go on. So anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. Yeah, and they were like being tight and taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said, uh... Throwing him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> <laughs> and he said everybody should just treat him the same and uh, I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um... Yeah, so that's, that's the, uh... That's, that's the end of the story. That's not a story. Why? Well, I, but I've got nothing, I don't know what to say to that. So someone was, someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest, and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, I, that, I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean, it, it's sort of like, bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean, that's not a story, is it? Some great adverts there on XFM. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Absolutely. We, some, we have to give away these, uh, three pairs. We have to give these away, Rick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got three pairs of DJ I know, but this turn up with this, this is so jam-packed. I think we've planned too much for this <laughs> we show. We have indeed. We next week, this is, I, I think we have a little bit flabbier next week. <laughs> Rick. Do less, do we, less. Rick, can we chill out next week, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go on, um, then. So, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, any, any ideas, guys? Any questions? Sort of DJ Shadow related questions? Any Shadow? DJ Shadow. Or DJ? Questions, what Carl? Does, any ideas? What does then? the word DJ mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too easy. It's it? uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something I do know. Go on. Right. But I, I can't really get a question out of it. Go on, just tell us. There's a shadow somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already good, isn't it? I'm loving no, it. Already. No, 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 right. There's a shadow. I think it was in America. Yeah. And uh, it's on a quiet road. I, I'm guessing somewhere like Boston. That's what I, I well, imagine. <laughs> okay. Right? No, 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 no. Somewhere yeah. like Boston. And people at night used to see this shadow moving about and they'd go, what's that? Right? And, and it got known that the town, the little local town got known for this shadow but it didn't cause any problems. People what are you to... talking about? Well, it was <laughs> Just like... you've lost me. What are you talking no, about? No, do you know like some places get famous like, uh, Scotland's got the Loch Ness Monster and that but no, it doesn't cause any, yeah. but it doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't exist, go on. Right? So there's this shadow walking about on the road. And, what? Uh... What do you mean? No, what's he, again? <laughs> Rubbish. Right, so he's Nonsense. walking about. Where did you read this? Where did you he's see this? He's walking about, this was on the internet and I'm Oh, sure. sorry! <laughs> sorry! Right. I thought it was shite. <laughs> I didn't know it was on the internet. Right, so this shadow is moving about and God. uh... Independently of an object. Yeah, and the, and the local mayor and that is like, yeah, it's a bit weird but it's not harming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor involved! <laughs> hey, was he mayor? elected to that post? Hey, hey, mayor, we got a problem down here, seems like a shadow. <laughs> uh, well, it's not causing any work. No, it's, <laughs> it's just causing any problems. Yeah, go but on. That's, but that's the thing, it was left for years and then it did start causing problems. <laughs> I see, that's it. If you leave these shadows to go unchecked, <laughs> Rick, they go crazy. Yeah. You let them run amok in the yeah. city. Yeah. You've got to stab what around did it do? on what did Roman it do? shadows. What did, what did the shadow do? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? <laughs> it was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> oh, I'll, fi I'll find out more for that next week. <laughs> Right, that'll tease Oh, them. you're a maniac! We'll do more on that. <laughs> we haven't had time for educating- Please never have children. Right, listen. <laughs> you are Just a promise maniac. me now you'll never have kids. Look, right. we haven't got time Okay, listen, a... alright, DJ Shadow, have we got time for these- to give these tickets away? Yeah, if they just call up, we'll, No, um... I'll tell you what, I've got a question, right? Go on. Where do you th where does Carl think this may have taken place? If you've been listening to the show, where do you think this evil shadow has been running amok? Let us know. The number, Carl? Uh, ooh, Good question. 08 700 800 1234. So, Excellent. Uh, but that's it. We are that's actually it. out of time. We are indeed. Have I, got, have I got time for a song for the ladies? It's a bit tight. I was Why? told to finish it's now. Too. I know, but we've got to get finished early today, so. Why? Just because we have and we're wasting more time talking about why we have to. Oh, this is pathetic. So, <laughs> the call up. Uh, where did I see the ghost? Yeah. And you've got to pick the tickets up from reception. You can go tonight see DJ Shadow. Shoddy, That's it. this right? is shoddy. Right, see you then. <laughs> lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's a story about a girl who uh, <laughs> she was deaf, right, for for four years, and um, 
It happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or was it? About, what, but I think it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Yeah. Uh, she was deaf for about four years. Having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand. Mm. Cause I don't know how they do that. Yeah. But she was having an argument. Well, and a man pushed her against the wall. Yeah. And she banged her head and her hearing came back. Okay. Uh, was she wearing a Walkman and it fell out? And she'd realise, oh, that's There's what. no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something right, then? so I knew you'd say this, <laughs> right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just, no! <laughs> if no. you ask someone something they don't the answer, they don't tell you something else, just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. How do birds fly? Wow, if you're gonna do that, tallest building is, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well, that, that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away. <laughs> when we asked you a question. Yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, what do you mean? What she, okay, so, oh. So she, her hearing There's no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. <laughs> or you don't know. Well, there isn't one, is there, really? It's a bit what, weird. But the doctors, only did thing the doctors not look into it? No, I think they just said, oh, that's good. <laughs> But, so, again, I don't- <laughs> where did this information- is that- if you read this on is the that net, it? is that all they put there on the There was once no. a deaf woman who hit her head and she and could hear. Came back. It was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there three, oh, like- yeah. was there I've three got that book, yeah, it's a good book, that. Was there three yeah. more pages you just couldn't be bothered to read off? Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit and it Was said, there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures, I just read going, it. Ow! Look, Ow, I can hear. if you don't want to know, if you don't want to learn, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages ago? times? In, I'd say in the seventies. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? And, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? No, it's, it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh, yeah. he's electric. He's electric. And, um... If he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time. Ugh. And he'd be having a bath and everything would be alright and then the power would sort of switch on in his body and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so... <laughs> what do you mean, so? What is that so- what does that so mean? You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Like, electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they-, they, they but it's, there's not, a, it's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they-, they, 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 they <laughs> not his vault. <laughs> it's not his vault. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something about keeping I think it we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way round. <laughs> I think we should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play it. Educating Ricky. Finish. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are. Oh. oh. I'll tell you what, though. Talking Genius. about talking about ghosts and that. Do you know how I'm into them? Yeah. yeah. Right. How weird do you think this is? Right. Well, it's not true. Before you say it, play a record. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Uh, <laughs> go on. Right. It's this woman. <clears throat> oh. I don't even know if it's ghost. Really, it's just a bit weird. Sure. Yeah. Right? Sure. There's this woman, yeah. and she's, well, she's not a woman, she's a kid. Sure. <laughs> okay. She's, sure. She's walking down, like, a, a street in her area, it's a nice day and everything, everything's normal. Um, she's walking down, and a woman comes up, cycling past, right? The woman on the bike looks at the kid absolutely terrified, right? right. Got a really scary face on her. Yeah. The kid's thinking, why, why is she doing that? Yeah. Right? So anyway, she thinks nothing, nothing of it, goes... You know, I think she was playing in the park or whatever, goes and has a nice day. About 15 years later... Oh, right, yeah. She's... I don't know, I think she was going to work, right, on a bike. She's riding her own bike. Riding okay. her own bike, cycling down the road. Oh, yeah. Looks at the kid. That's the thing that happened, like, 15, 20 years ago. Right. It's her on the bike looking at her as a kid. Right. Not, yeah. not, not another child. No. So right. it's her, she's seen well, herself. Uh, what, Carl? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where to start. Firstly, where does this information come from? But I mean, wh why do you ever con I mean, I don't know what part of that you think can be true. I- I don't- I- I'm honest, I'm- oh, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. What are you talking about? <laughs> bit, bit weird though, isn't it?
But it's not true. It didn't happen. Nothing happened like that. She said it did. Well, Who? she's wrong. Who? She said she saw herself. She saw herself as a kid, didn't she? Did she come and, on uh, and as an adult when she was a kid? <laughs> did, did she stop and talk to herself, <laughs> or did she ride on by and think that's a bit weird? There's me as an eight-year-old. <sighs> I won't stop. I'll be late for work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm late again, the boss said he'd be in trouble. Yeah. Oh. Well, and where is this information? Was it? Did it happen to someone you know? No. Nope. You overheard it on the bus? No, it was in, uh, it's in the 14 times. Ah, oh, right. Well, uh, okay. that's the answer. Good. We've okay. got to the bottom of that. Right, good. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Now, what do you make of David Blunkett accusing... That's, that was the main bit of the story, wasn't it? Yeah. But this one, right, we have sort of talked about it, and, uh, you weren't having any of it at the time. What? This, this next bit of science I'm telling you about. Go, Go on, on then. Right? Um, remember when I told you about a lad... He was living at home with his mum and dad, right? Everything's, you know, normal life, go to school, that sort of thing. Yeah. Then, I think his mum and dad had an argument, and it kicked off a bit, and he thought, I'm sick of this. It's happening all the time now. They kept having arguments. So the kid ran off into the woods. Mm hmm Oh. Yeah. Right? God. Now, he, he left, he went and ran in the woods, and he ended up living with some monkeys. Right. <laughs> right? And he thought, this isn't a bad life, you know, there's no arguments going on. Sure. He was getting on with them, um, <laughs> and the weird he loved thing bananas. is, this, <laughs> this is where the science bit comes in. Oh, sure. He grew a load of hair on his body. That's not true. It's not true. It is true. It's an acquired characteristic. It's, it, 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 it. <coughs> I bet someone will back me up on this. But th no, no, you can't. You you can't grow hair like that. You might get a little bit uh, more downy, or they might uh, the erectile tissue might, uh, you know, they won't fall out as much that would, you know, but. You don't actually grow a big mane if well, you're cold and you're a human. Well, he did. He did. This lad did. I know it sounds a bit strange and that, but he, he was living with the monkeys, um, <laughs> and because it was cold, his body reacted listen, to Listen, listen. He was no hairier than he would have been if he was walking around naked on a cold day, with or without living with monkeys. The it, fact that he was living with monkeys makes no difference. No, I know, but I'm trying to get, you know, picture it in your head what it's like. Although Mickey Dolenz was always pretty hairy. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, he was living with them, and, um, he went into town or something one day... Oh, yeah. ...to get some food, <laughs> and the people there were like, hang on a minute, that isn't a monkey. Mm. Um... Well, he, went, he went in naked. <laughs> no, he was there covered in hair. Yeah. yeah, but naked, but covered in hair, so it was decent, it was, it was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they, that was a weird thing. They thought it was a monkey in the shop. And then so went, presumably he had a big long beard as well, because he couldn't shave, could he? No, no, he just covered. He looked like a monkey. And they were happy to serve the monkey, <laughs> were they? There's a the monkey, he's How buying did he a newspaper and some milk. How did he milk. walk? How did he walk, Carl? Did he walk like, upright or whistling along? The, just pi to the picture that I saw on the internet, he was on all fours, but I don't know was. if that's when he was running he was. away after he did, did sort of, you know, realised he was a kid. But this was a picture. So he was a kid as well? He wasn't even like an adult with the beard? No, he was a kid. Brilliant. Brilliant. And the the beard went, kicked in a little bit. So earlier. listen, so the Go people on. caught him. You're an idiot. The people caught him, yeah. shaved him, right? Got it all off, didn't grow back again. Right. It just, it You're grew. an idiot. Well, like I say, people will have heard this story or read about it. You're an idiot. And they'll email in, they don't let me down. And they'll agree that you're an and idiot. The, no, no, they'll, they'll have seen the story. You're an idiot. So that's a little bit of science. <laughs> you're an idiot. The weird thing is, right, looking, looking around in the week at weird stuff on the, uh, on the internet, yeah. there's this woman who's got a big head. Oh, yeah. And, um, she was fed up with it because when she was walking down the street, it was so big, she couldn't hold it up. Right. Right? She couldn't hold it up. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, keep, shut up. So, she when, she, hold up. when she was walking, she... Her eyes were hurting because she had to sort of look up all the time because her head was that heavy. Her chin was sort of balanced on her chest. Right. right? And she'd have to peek up, yeah. So, uh, she goes to the doctors and this was after years and years and, uh, said, you know, I thought I could put up with it but I can't. It's <laughs> How big eyes. was her head? It's big, it, I don't know if it was like big because there wasn't a picture. I don't know if it was just big or a lot of bone. So it was heavy. <laughs> heavy right, bit. like the elephant man, just so, outcrops. Yeah, right? yeah. So, uh, so the doctor said, yeah, um, we can sort that out. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll have to take your head off. Right. Okay, no, okay listen, so listen keep to going. this. Listen, okay, keep going. Because no. I, again, I, what you don't seem to understand is I, I have the same reaction to you when I see it. Yeah. What? Right? You're quizzical yourself. So I looked at it, they took her head off, um, chipped away a bit of the bone, mm -hmm. made her head lighter, put it back on. 
Right, play the Smiths. They took asked. a woman's head off. Yeah, this is asked by the Smiths. <laughs> yeah. And if you'd like to ask Carl something, details coming up soon. How's that? Good. I've got, I've got a couple of things under the banner of uh, colon. Then educate me. Yeah. Uh, we've got. Um, this is interesting. Right. Do you yeah. know if you have uh, an operation on your brain? <laughs> right. What yeah. they do is the. I mean, this is why I'd never go to the doctors. I don't like doctors because this sort of stuff freaks me out, right? They can operate on your brain, and what they do is they put you to sleep first, cut your brain case open. <laughs> your skull, yeah. yeah. Your brain case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then wake you up and operate on you. So you sat there with your head open. Yeah. Messing with your brain and you well, don't no, feel anything. Well, there's no nerve endings, is there, in the brain? But still, it's not right, is it? <laughs> is it what, you think they do it for fun? No, well, but... They go, oh, go on, Reggie, wake him up so he's all freaked out. Well, is, it, is, it, is it necessary that you're awake, do you think, or...? Well, they need the brain active, don't they? Yeah, but it is when you're asleep, you're having mad dreams. I had a mad dream the other day. Go on. No, I might tell you about it later, but there's no sense to it. But, so your brain's still, your brain's still- <laughs> okay. this conversation. Yeah, I mean, it'll turn out, I go, no, Carl, I was there, that wasn't a dream. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. but, so, I mean, if I had an operation- On your brain, heaven forbid. Well, <laughs> operation anywhere, I'd like to sort of think, well, I'll have an injection, I'll go asleep, but when I wake up, it'll all be sorted. Yeah. yeah. The fact that- your brain the case is open. Open, and they wake you up and you think, oh, is it all done? And they say, well, have a look in the mirror. And you, and you, your brain- See, I don't think they do that. I don't think they try and frighten you when you're doing an operation. Yeah, I don't think that like, you go about your business and they sort of follow you around, dabbling. Yeah. No, but it's almost like they are having a bit of a laugh with you. Right, well, I'd just like to say now that they don't. Anyone who's going in for an operation on their head, uh, do not ever listen to anything but Carl what, says. Wh why have you got to be awake? Because you'll be bored anyway, you'll be sat there. Well, they, they give you a out. telephone directory look and they say, look how many Macs are in there. We've, that's the Scottish telephone directory. And, you know, time flies when you're counting <laughs> that sort of thing. No, but do you know, like, when you- when What are you- what are you telling me? What are I'm you asking me? I'm just saying how weird it is. It's weird, isn't it? It's like, do you know when you go for a haircut, <laughs> right? It's a bit embarrassing. Well, I don't anymore, but when you go for a haircut, it used to be a When bit you go for a haircut. It used to be a bit embarrassing when, like, they'd wet your hair and they'd make you have that sort of- Hitler cut because your hair's wet and I used to hate it and I think do you have to do that? <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know it's what I similar, mean? It's very similar to uh, open um, skull no, surgery. What I'm yeah. saying is it's almost like barbers like to do that to make you look daft and feel daft for a bit and there's women coming in and out and you're sat there with a daft haircut. Yeah. And this is what that reminds me of. Do you think that do you think they do it in a shop window this brain operation? I'm just saying it's a bit weird. Do you think, why are we doing it in John Lewis's? <laughs> Just so more people. I love the idea that that's what doctors are doing. <laughs> Let's <laughs> make this guy look a bit stupid. Yeah. Open his brain. Look case. at the twatty look from his brain <laughs> out <laughs> of his head. Take a Polaroid, Reg. Take yeah, a Polaroid. Take a Polaroid. Look at him. Look, 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 <laughs> at, look, at, look at his face. Right, do, look, right. Clock his face when I give him the mirror. Get this on camera. Put Carl, this fake nose and glasses. Sorry, on. is that? Did you teach me something then? Was well, that education? I taught you that your brain, your brain case can be open with your awake, and you just sat there, sort of letting them get on with it. Brilliant. I've learned that. I'll never forget that. Right. Go on. Anything else? You'll love- let's play a song cause the next one is amazing. <laughs> what, even more amazing than that? Yeah. <laughs> play a song? Yeah, bit of Bowie? No email still, by the way. No, I don't think it's working. It's not working today, Lady so Stardust. We can, we'll have to do a phone in for Rockbusters. Off Lovely. the Ziggy Stardust album. Alright. Uh, old woman, about 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, she's normally fit and healthy and stuff, nothing wrong with her, she's having a good life. And, uh, one day, she goes for a check to the doctors, yep. just to check herself out, because she's yep. getting on a bit. Yeah. Uh, says, take your clothes off and that. So, she does, and, uh, checks her out, says, yeah, you're looking good, you're looking good. Uh, turn round, uh, he said, oh, God, he says, you got a, a tumour on your buttock, right? So, she goes, oh, what, can you do anything to sort it out? So, they go, yeah, 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 we could book you in for an operation, it's best if we remove this. Books are in for an operation, operation day comes, strip her down and that, they're all stood round, the doctors, start to operate, it only turns out it's a pork chop that she sat on five years earlier and it had stuck to her buttock. Right, Carl. <laughs> I right, can forward you. I'm, I'm, I'm honest. Not, right, I'm, no, I'm, listen. Okay, no, 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 serious. Right, okay, Carl. I'm telling you now. I'm leaving. I'm no. never. I'm never doing this show again. No, I'm serious. Honestly, You're talking. I, I, I've never had such. 
are you are play record play record <laughs> i can't believe it what do you mean you can't believe it stop, stop the record stop the record stop the record right okay right what do you mean you couldn't believe it no when i read it i said i've got to tell this Richard woman I had a pork chop stuck to her ass for five years you mental case <laughs> of course she didn't I don't think I did answer it. I just said, you know, the odd, the odd thing. <laughs> you just said I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> little things, little <laughs> things. Like I, I ran home the other night and said, oh, I've just learnt something today. She goes, go on. And um, do you know Lego bricks? Oh yeah. The name came about because some kid's mum, the kid was messing with the bricks, and she said, Lego are them, and come and have your dinner. Play record. It's got to be rubbish. It's got to Play be rubbish. It's always rubbish, isn't it? Man? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they're Scandinavian for a start. So, so the Scandinavian. Well, there's no yeah. Let go. <laughs> Thanks for that. Whereas Lego was yes. uh, event when a mother had sent someone to get some, though there's no name for them, she went, can you go and get some? There was a gap. He went, yeah. oh yeah, I'll go and get some, because they weren't called anything. Brought them back, started playing with the <laughs> and then she went, look, give me those. He went, no. She went, let go, you idiot. Yeah, the actual explanation, various people have emailed us in or phoned in now. The company was set up in 1934. It's a Danish company, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Lego comes from the Danish words leg got, which means play well, and it was later discovered that it was also a Latin phrase that meant I study or I put together. <laughs> <Yeah>. Didn't they? <sighs> I mean, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Why? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you today? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just, what, big, what, you're fed up with people, um, uh, uh, taking issue with some of the stupid things you say? Lego was invented by a mother going, Lego of that. What are we going to do with all the buildings? The earth might collapse. What do you expect people to say? Well, Even nice. our listeners know you're talking rubbish. And some of those d d aren't allowed to wear socks. I mean... Listen, right, last week... Got an idea. I can see it in your eyes. He's got a brilliant idea. Wait for it. Go on. No, no. It's something... When I was looking on the web, yeah. found something out. Go on. Um... It's a story about yeah. a woman who had a baby, <laughs> who had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> ah, what? A, a, a woman yeah. who had a baby who was having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was no clearer right. when you repeated it. No, go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the common good. Right? Pursue this line of inquiry. Right? Because I don't know where it's going, or play a record. I I am actually torn. I don't know what to do. No, I remember seeing it and thinking I've got to tell Ricky about that. It's brilliant. What? Uh, should we, what should we do? Should we should we go with it? Is it I mean, it's like it's entering into the abyss. It's opening Pandora's box. It's, <laughs> it's peeking. It's going down to the cellar. I've got a couple of questions though. Go on then. Well, come down there with me. <laughs> okay, come down right, the cellar with me. Okay, right, Carl. What, 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 first of all, it was on the way, what, what, what do you mean? The, the baby was what? Had another, but was it, she didn't give birth, they didn't, the doctor didn't find that one of those set of Chinese dolls up here. It's Russian, Russian's dolls, whatever that's, they're that's, called. That's what I pictured it like, those, those dolls where you take the head off and there's another one in there that all look the same, but no, the story was, <laughs> there's a woman who's- No, don't just say it again, that's a headline. That's not a story. There was a woman who had a baby, who had a baby. <laughs> yeah. That's not a story. That, um, imagine handing that in as a, th as a thesis to loads of the BMA. Hey, are that? There you go, and, uh, yeah. read that. That's a, said, that's a children's rhyme. Yeah. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. What do you mean? So the ba- she had a baby, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, that bit's fine. We're yeah, okay with that. That's normal. That's normal. A, a totally woman had a child. Yeah, totally normal. She gave birth. Fine. Yeah. Next. Well, I, I, I don't know that much more, apart of course you from don't. the fact that huh? the baby's like roaming about, <laughs> and then uh, twelve, like twelve months later, she's like, oh. Interesting. So the gestation period of the that baby was actually three months more than an adult. Yeah. Excellent. It's weird though, isn't it? So was the headline "My baby's twelve months pregnant"? <laughs> what are you talking about? Twelve months later, it had a. What are you talking about? Forget it. it. No, you haven't, you haven't even finished the story. That you said, and twelve months later, you didn't even finish the sentence. So what do you mean? No, I didn't. I didn't read any more into it because I just saw you that didn't and I thought, read that's, what? "That's weird." And then I just was thinking, "Oh, like imagine the kid at school at parents' evening." <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And it's like, well, your kid's pretty both good. Ten. Now, now let's have a look at your work, sort of thing. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be weird? <laughs> but what? Did the child have a baby? 
Yeah. Of course it didn't! Play record! We shouldn't have got down in the cellar. <laughs> we should have I just can't. left the cellar door closed. I, I never learned. Monkeys, Pleasant Valley Sunday, brilliant. XFM 104.9, Carl Pilkington. This show is mission. monkey heavy, it isn't is it? Indeed. It is monkey heavy. Carl, if you were president, would you sort of make a compulsory to maybe have a little, little monkey? Everyone has a little monkey of their own? Little chimps out and out, old age pensioners? It's not a bad little, uh... It's funny, you know, cos there was, um, <laughs> a, s a story the other day, uh, when I was looking for monkey news. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah. There's a story about a couple who, who couldn't have any kids, right? There's something wrong with them, but they really wanted a kid. And they got some, uh, dodgy email address where they could buy a baby online, oh, right? Yeah. It was someone who would have a kid and you could buy it for three grand or something, right? Yeah. So anyway, they got one, they got picked and they're like, brilliant, there's the money. Got the baby and everything, they were loving it. Um, you know, playing with it and stuff. As it got older... Feeding it. <laughs> It got area. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut the f- Oh, car. Turned out it had been sold a chimp. <laughs> you, you maniac. You stupid mank twat. How Don't earth? talk shit. That is as if. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Didn't know it oh, don't <laughs> talk. Are you, are you mental? <laughs> you I love the fact stupid. That, that didn't make it into monkey news. I know, yeah. Uh, they- well, that, it's a bit sad though, we don't like to bring- They bring bought- the feature down. Yeah. But and anyway. how long was this into- It got hairier! They're born hairy! <laughs> no, they're hairy. not born like humans then develop hair! Cause they go, hold on, we better chi we better get the chimp stuff kicking in now, cause we're in the jungle! School photograph, do I like, hang on a minute. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Oh, you kids. are just the- Mad, the, the rubbish. Mad, isn't it? Mad, isn't it? <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Imagine, oh God! But Just anyway. imagine if he was in charge. We did put him in charge of the country. Go on. Talking about this the other day. Yeah. Um. Oh, what was it now? <laughs> this, listen, the fella. No, listen. Do you want, this, all right. All right, no, oh, hold on, all right. All right. He's got it now. Go on, go on. This fella goes yeah. to the doctors. Yeah. Right. Oh right. Okay. Right. If this isn't any way apocryphal, stupid, illogical, impossible, right? You are never ever speaking again on radio. So make sure. This is at least possible. I, I'll tell you what, I'll even give you improbable, but possible. So if anything that breaks the laws of the universe, or logic, okay, that's all you have to avoid, on you go. Right, so this fella, right, he goes to the doctors because he's got earache. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, if a chimp's living in his brain... <laughs> that he go gives, on. Go on. So he's got earache, he's sat in the waiting room and it's all, his ears all bunged up and it's hurting a lot and what have you. So the doctor comes out and he goes... Right. And because he, his ear's all bunged up, he doesn't hear it that well, right? So he thinks, it must have been me, right? So he wanders in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Anyway... Right, I'm gonna hate this. I can just feel it in my bones. Steve, I'm gonna let you take over. Okay, let's, so, go on, let's hear it. Come so on. the doctor says, uh, sit yourself down there, right? So he sits himself down, he goes, uh, right, uh, take, your pa take your pants off, right? So he's thinking, that's a bit odd. Anyway, he, uh... He heard that, though. He, <laughs> he... he he, uh, apparently he took his, his tackle off. The doctor, like, did some operation. What, there in the waiting room? <laughs> <laughs> no, in his office. In his office, yeah. What? Um... Wait, wait, so, so he, so he removed what? His genitals? Yeah. In, in his office? Why, 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 Carl? Why, Carl? Because he hadn't called him in. Oh, he's calling the bloke who wanted his testicles <laughs> taken off, and he didn't do it. You, you, you... <laughs> <laughs> what? Was... So, so the doctor went out... And said, Mr. Uh, Jones, who's here to me to whip off your cock and balls, just here and now, right? Bloke comes in, didn't it? It must have been me. So the bloke with the, we wanted his balls taken off didn't say, oh, I think he said me. So he, so he didn't interrupt then. So the bloke goes in, he starts taking his testicles off and he doesn't say, I'm here for me. Down. New Year's Eve I taught him something, right, about... Uh, dead people. No. You know, the things that taught me, I was saying you're talking shite. He says they found out your soul weighs an ounce. <laughs> your soul? Yeah. Your soul weighs an ounce. Right, who, who found this out? I read it. Your soul weighs an ounce. Yeah. There's no such thing. A soul weighs an ounce. You're talking to devil. Alright. <laughs> Have yeah, you got any yeah. monkey news? 
Um, so what did they do? They 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 measured they they weighed someone who was alive, and they were wait for you to die, then weigh you again. There was no. someone there was it's someone now who you've lost an ounce. You know, so it must be your soul shooting off to heaven. It was someone who was really ill, and yeah. they said we can't do anything for you here, but we've got a bit of a idea that we want to do. We've been waiting <laughs> for the year. Stuck him on some scales. He said, right, you weigh nine pounds and an ounce or whatever, because yeah. he was wasting away. <laughs> he died. Nine pounds. <laughs> right. Fine. Well, that's proof if proof we needed. Talking uh, shite. Monkey news. We might as well leave it. Now, come on, no, come, come on, on, tell monkey news. No, it's, it, it's nothing uh, that great, really. Is it worth playing the jingle? Quickly. Go on then. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right, it's about a monkey. Four, 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 four. four, four, four. It's about this this woman monkey who was born in 1834. <laughs> right, half monkey, half woman. No, not true. It happened. Apparently, it was Impossible. in the it was in the Daily Mail. Right. <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I christen uh, this, uh, thing a Victorian Ape Woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian Ape Woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head and on the back of her legs <laughs> and her arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Save so stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she, she was... didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like arse sticking <laughs> out the back of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, well, good because they didn't have opposable thumbs. So uh, uh, she could speak three languages. Yes, she, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, absolute twaddle. All right, well, that's... more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A it Victorian there. monkey Let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. I was worried we wouldn't have the old magic in 2004, oh, but we're still talking shit. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> Bollocks. Oh, chimpanzee that! Oh, you'll like this one. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out like a lot of monkeys' names, like that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there. And you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway. It's actually called Crap. Its name, right? And so it, they're, they're they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But this one, right? And um, it's called Crap. Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No Go on. Is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some uh, umbongo, and that's all. <laughs> uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's got to be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's got to be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well, that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? But I, you what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, 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 what? There's got to be a third Why is that news? That story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, do you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I don't know. It didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but he didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied at having read that? Did you not have other I questions? I mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh... Anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but what do you think of that then? 
Well, I don't know what to think about it because I don't know what I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know. I don't know that that's news. I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean, I don't know where to start with that. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that. Right. Um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh God, seventeenth century. But it ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in that place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew. Well, there's no point in getting it on VHS. The grudge on VHS. You're having it. Throw it back. Right, and. There's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right? And I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, are you familiar with this? And, uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story. <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know. Is he a zoo in Hackney? Is he a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was. But it, it, it was like- Is going, there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, get um, on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff, and um, <laughs> the p the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that. And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it. They saw it. Nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, "Get fingerprints." What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart. Attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is. Yeah, it's Brian. It's Brian the monkey. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, I don't. Understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Yeah, DVDs. I think it said watches and stuff. What breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe. Are you sure somewhere. it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How was he breaking into homes? They're good, aren't Up the they? drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. Well, yeah. I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to... there was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if, in Hackney if. Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch, which would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that, uh kept getting on buses, not paying its fare. Not paying its fare? And just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl! You're an idiot! <laughs> well, that, that wasn't in London. You're an idiot! That, that was in America. It wouldn't somewhere. read the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh, well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the inspector Carl. will notice my hairy hands. Oh, Carl, you're such a fool! Well, Pillington. Uh, Carl, Carl just had a news flash that an infinite number of monkeys in Hackney are nicking an infinite number of typewriters. Yeah. We don't no. know what for. At this stage, we've got no more information. And they've, they've taken back an infinite amount of graduate on video. <laughs> yeah. so this is yeah. rubbish. <laughs> Chimpanzee that monkey news night. <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, uh, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. There's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. I'm just probably, telling internet. you. I'm, I'm short names on the internet. I'm short <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. <laughs> okay. I love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train's sort of coming on the right lines. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains coming and that. I hope British Rand are listening. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, in the end... Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, 
He lost a leg for some reason. Couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company happy with that. <laughs> I'm sure they they, they they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. All right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman. It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before, before trains, probably. Well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation <laughs> of their news before they give it out <laughs> as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> no. Oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face <laughs> and transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you. You never. He always, he always has um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeve. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes. You're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth and it comes out the the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with, what's wrong with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why you, your, your IQ is sort of about eighty. I think you might be. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Nice to have I read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. All right. So, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, he lives in Morocco. Right. You, I'll just warn you now. You, you're on thin ice from last time. Okay. So make sure. Is this real? It's been. Don't say anything stupid. Think about. It. As you're saying it, think to yourself. Oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So. Go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little monkey working working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, mm -hmm. do a little bit of magic, people loved it. Mm -hmm. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there were so many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do you use, what do you yeah. do? So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- What, well, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh wh who, wh where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you going to see tonight? I don't know. Is that, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they exactly. They have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his heart walking around getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on, because in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey. Said, "How about we?" Uh, <laughs> See, no, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So, what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So uh, the monkey was in agreement. So he said, alright, go on then, right? So, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey's like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat. And, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh -huh. And, uh, just before filling up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, all right, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's sound. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh -huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. 
pay some money. He goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, it, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. <laughs> so, uh- That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let Carl right, finish the story. Be, it better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, pump four. And the fellow says, what are you talking P about? Pump four, four? isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use, no, I mean pump four. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at pump four. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You. Sticks his head out of the door. Yeah. The monkey's given it some. Uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just- let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts. So, it number 86. It, it, number, number 86, 86 drove- He drove to Spain. You are- uh, honestly, Carl, I- you must know. It was an automatic. Right. How Carl, did he- how You did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey- mad, That's the thing with his feature, He gets stopped though. at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Was he got a passport? No, 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 he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Well, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, and, uh, record because I can't- that's, that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. Um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that- Got a- got a decent job in a train station. Um, can you think of any of the other- Well, that's just yeah. some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean, so that's what you got to compete with. So, even though this is quite amazing, um, Just I, tell us! I know the monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got a, another one, you know, it was knocking about with some, uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> they decided to, you know, get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it pressure from her parents? They had a- they had a good do, and uh... They <laughs> had a good do! I love the spread! I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh, celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's- that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because- but it's not true. <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not- on an over website, official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind romance. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in the tire. Yeah, he saw it. <laughs> yeah, he went. I have a go at that. They go. We got to marry her now. Yeah, her parents came and said, "Do you just? Yeah. Did you just shut my He was in a zoo, tire? knocking one off. She went. I can do that for you. Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess so. The monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. No, oh. bride was, <laughs> not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was <laughs> no. I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, like right, you know, right. Legit, I, I, yeah, I'm single thoughts. now. It's like you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure, looked lovely, by sure. the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, How did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see? You know uh, uh, the the. This is the guest in- I hope they didn't ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. Tips <laughs> with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I- I really- I, well, I apologise. Play a record. Come on now. Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to save this link now. Monkey news. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff, <laughs> right, on monkeys, um, and most of it has been is uh, bollocks. No, has been has been like happy stories. Oh, is this a It's not. Is this gonna be like our tune? Our monkey tune. That's Simon Bates, and uh, welcome to our monkey tune. No, but do, do you know what I mean? We've we've done we've done stuff about a monkey that <laughs> robbed a bank. Yeah. Why uh, is that happy? He had a great life after that. Right. What, in Marbella? Yeah. Alright, we did, uh, the one who, who, uh, saved someone's handbag in a railway station. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lovely marriage, couple of marriages. Couple of marriages. <laughs> couple of monkey marriages. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, it was the one who got a job in a railway station. Yeah, the hairdresser. The one who set up a business in Spain. <laughs> 
I don't even remember, I don't that, remember one. that one. But, I mean, yeah, I'm willing to believe that that happened. Go on then, Carl. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today's isn't isn't that uh, isn't that happy really? It's about uh, some monkey. I think it was a chimp. Um, Who's an ape? Go on. It tried to. It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> What are you talking about, Carl? I don't, it it I mean, jumped past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? He, do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, "There's this monkey went to Russia um, <laughs> to do some business, I know. do some stuff, I don't know bit of monkey to... business." And um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> they were furious. We wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh. No, joking. So it was taking a turn for the worst. What, couldn't even get into a, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff. Um, you know, sharing drink and what have you around a little fire. Um. <laughs> They broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a you know, you know, roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his he mate. He said that in Russian, though. <laughs> what, 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 what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, he didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, like, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that, I mean, they, they, Fat class leaders sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and. But they've got drink McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so sure he probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, there was a bust. Um, <sighs> what? There was, a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left uh, little chimps out there, got arrested, and they thought it was a real fella at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know. He's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station and uh, the boss was like, what's going on there? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so the uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going <laughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What, did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just, like, bat, you know? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the, uh, give you the story if you want. Uh, there's the headline. What is it? What's the headline, Steve? I don't want to see it, but... The headline, this is once again from supposedly reputable news organisation Ananova, homeless monkey arrested in Russia. Uh. <laughs> did, sorry, did you read on, or did you see the headline and make up that whole story? It's, most, most of it is there. What, what isn't there? What what bit isn't there then? Uh, no, I think I think you know uh, Steve can have a look over it, check it out and stuff. Point but out it, the embellishment was... for me, Steve. Will you? Well, what it doesn't say is uh, <laughs> that the police didn't realise it was a monkey. That's what I was guessing. That's what I was guessing. Really, that they got it back and they said, "What are you doing? We've got a monkey." Here. And they go, "Yeah, yeah." Oh God. There's some more uh, monkey problems in the week. Have you seen the Alfred's advert with monkeys in? No. There's a new advert out for Alfred's, selling bikes and stuff. Yeah. Got some monkeys in it. It's yeah. caused an uproar. Why? People are saying it's, uh, you know, dressing them up in tracksuits and that is, uh... Taking the mickey out of Manchester. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not nice for the animals and that. So there's been loads of complaints about it. they get a free it. bike or something, do they, I imagine? I think they kept the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the monkey news? It's been a bit quiet, hasn't it? I've been what in the last eye three out. months? Okay, uh, there was something that I found last week about uh, one that was in an old people's home. Um, <laughs> it, it escaped from some zoo. It was wandering about. It was enjoying itself, and then when it got to the night time, it was like, "Oh, what am I going to do?" <laughs> and the first place it came across was like this old people's home. Yeah. Went in there. I think it was there for about a week and a half <laughs> without anyone realising. No. No, no, no. No, no, it did. No, what, what, so, so the, the helpers and the nurses and the, the social workers and the, the matrons and all that, they thought, 
Well, uh, Mr. Sanders looks a bit hairy. <laughs> but, I mean, that happens, you, you know, it comes out of your ear and your nose when you get to about 70. <laughs> and he stooped over, yeah, of course he has, he's got bow legs, yeah. And he eats more fruit, of course he does. Well, that, that's when they, that's when they realised. Why? Because the, someone in the kitchen said, hang on a minute, getting through more bananas than we know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right then, so, uh, there's this monkey, right? Right. In Canada. It's in a zoo in, uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right? And, uh, what happened was, all the, the people in the zoo, uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do, uh, sort of spice the day up a bit, right? Yeah. So they left. Embellishing. Uh, no way. This is a new story. Let him do the news. Let him yeah. do the news. Okay. So they they left. Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news. Well, right? I, I, you I, I, interrupt I, Moira Stewart. It was about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say right. There was a monkey, right? <laughs> right well, in then, Canada, on, right? right? Just finish okay. the news. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada. Right. Yeah. Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder. Right. And they said, let's let's leave it for the. Uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So, um, anyway, they, they passed Wh it around. Won a BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were, like, filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh... Annoys me that he calls them monkeys, though. He they're was, not monkeys, they're like, he was, a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was, like, <laughs> uh, filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. Right? No, he didn't! Just let- this is the news, what are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> <laughs> so God, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab hand at it. He was doing really good shots. It really <laughs> annoys me. Let's hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right, so he started, uh at night, like, when the zookeepers went home, he started filming, like, other monkeys on- on the go, like, like, whilst they were at it, right? And he was filming them and what have you. <coughs> the Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You know yeah. it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this, like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh, um, yeah, this is- uh, uh, honestly, so, uh, you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So, Can I stop him now? So they thought, like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who- who aren't at it enough, do you know what I mean? They have problems or what have you, so let's give them the videos. That is so me. untrue! This is so untrue! So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey! So it's so then? untrue! No, Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> So oh God! Is, you're talking so much shit again. So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Honest. Look at me! Don't keep talking. Look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this it's news? All you. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that b by chance one all this. Oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 two, they go. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this is good. No, this is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So oh, this is ridiculous. The, 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 let me just recap because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him just, saying stuff? Can like you just, go? <coughs> it's like, just like you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes um, because what happened was um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and the animals God. and the animals are uh, happy having him around because he's not a human. He's just one of the gang. Do you know True. what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like you know ostriches. Right. And <laughs> shit. I, I really there was uh, so and do you know they have a problem with pandas in in Japan. Yeah. So they've they've sent him out there, filming uh, filming a bit. of- Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, you 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 really annoy me. There's Come no on, please, way this I, is happening. Can we it's just hear the absolute, end? Why can't he just find a real story about a a a, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. end. The end is he's really that he's, he's going to China. He's, he's filming the pandas and what. No, he's it. not. They wouldn't send a so, monkey director. Well, they would that. not it's send a pointless. monkey director. It's so right. monkey news. If you've uh, only just started listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor fool. Um, Monkey News is where Carl um, reports for us all the latest monkey activity. A headline or a word or someone, someone, someone over, he overheard in a pub and then totally embellishes it and makes it ridiculous and impossible. He <laughs> believes it though. He believes every word he's saying. Let me say that before you hear, when you hear this, whatever it is, I haven't heard it, twaddle, 
Um, remember, Carl totally believes it. Go on. Right, so anyway, right, I think it's in, uh, in LA this happened. Right. I think. Why, why does he think? Uh, so these people are in a, in a restaurant having a lovely meal. <laughs> There's one of them short and hairy, but it goes <laughs> totally covers from top to bottom in a space suit so he didn't know it was a monkey. It's so, not one of the customers, one of the waiters? So, th so they're having a, having a lovely dinner, probably one of the best sort of dinners they've, they've had, right? Yeah. Mm. So the waiter comes over and it's like, you know, can we just say that I had a lovely meal and that? Right, it's the chef. <laughs> of course it is. So, can we see uh, the chef? Yeah. So, so it's, can, can we just, you know, see, see the guy who cooked it? Of course. Yeah. 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 Short fella, hairy. So We're the waiter said, to be honest, the waiter, much. the waiter said, look, he's busy, you know, he's got meals to cook and what have you, he hadn't really got time. So it only took a minute, he said, no, I prefer, you know, So just, this is like, a restaurant in LA that I'll, serves brilliant food? I'll pass, I'll pass your message on and what have you, right? So, um... So he sends for, so, uh, Monkey P.O.Y. So it's a bit odd, anyway. <laughs> so, so they go, so they go out, right? They go, uh, they go out to the car and they notice the, yeah. uh... The kitchen doors open. Yeah, right? yeah, of course they do because they're, they're going to discover something that I don't know. So they just go, oh, on. this um, just just out of interest. This uh, the, where this um, chef train before before we see him or reveal you know what he might look like or mm. like to eat. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so well, anyway, so uh, so they pop their head in and think we'll just we'll just nip in and go yeah, you know not? love 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 fruit salad or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So they stick their see head the in. human. We better see the human chef. <laughs> you never guess what? Go on. A monkey stood on a chair, right, <laughs> cooking veg. <laughs> Right, so anyway, so they're like, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Questions. What do you mean he's cooking veg? What is he doing with it? Well, he's, he's stood on a chair by the, by the cooker and he's, yeah. uh, chopping, st chopping stuff Oh, he's, up, he's chopping it as well, no? He's just like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a little, uh, you know, he's it, it, got the, the bosses in there, they're, they're like a bit shocked. So he's a bit panicking because he's got this monkey working for him. So they say to him, what's going on here? We didn't know this, this is what's going on, you know, you, why have you got a monkey cooking stuff? So he said, well, the it's early, a monkey, I should point out, who probably doesn't need instructions from its girlfriend. <laughs> oh, forget it. What else you got? Monkey news. Yeah. Well, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Oh, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have so some monkey news. Do some monkey news. You made enough noise there, Rick? You want to? Sorry, but it's, it, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f- Right. Um, I haven't read this through properly, so- Oh, for <laughs> fuck. No, no, oh, I'm just- assumed that. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? basically, right, it's- it's, um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, innit, now, chat rooms. You get on there, you can Right, have a if chat you say someone was having a, <laughs> a meeting with someone, Please they wanted to meet- Right, okay. Please don't preempt it. Right, okay. There is no- there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate matter. and Does, understand. Right, it doesn't matter. Do you want to know the story? <laughs> You and said, that, you said that Did the they get married? It was three months later, she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want a though. divorce! This is what annoys Bobo. me, Bobo! You, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they're, if they're given the time. No! That's this not is, it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare It's a philosophical monkeys. conundrum! Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the- it's about- yeah, yeah, yeah. Infinity. Right, so this one, this one, then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and all Who's that, that Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were, they were looking over it, trying to look for, for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like really strange things, like instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar, right, it'd be like... Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet? Right, on? okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later, Seriously, mate. That's gone. I'm just going to listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's let's, online. Let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How, you, you are, you're nearly, you're, you're ill. You're nearly, you're, you, okay, right. well, I don't have the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying, wear something sexy, they'd say, make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute... Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying, should we get married, they're saying, how swollen and red is your ass?" <laughs> Do you yeah, stupid fool. Do no, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> monkey news. Yeah, monkey news. <laughs> oh, monkey, monkey news. <laughs> right, if you're a new listener, this is where we do a bit of monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine him giving these 
chance on a news programme, yeah. like Newsnight Review or News at 10, uh, over to Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, all right. This monkey's gone mad again. Go on. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of picked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> that, mm. I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Well, right. He's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's, uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh -huh. right. Oh, yeah. The one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is he speaks, right? Oh, God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And uh, it also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> Any lot I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh gosh! Right, oh. That, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, "Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer?" Exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. But the thing is, right, you're saying about the the infinite thing again about mm. monkeys. If you put them in a room with a typewriter, they'll come up with Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah. I'd sort of agree with that, right, with monkeys who can't do other stuff, but this one I reckon's gonna be busy taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think monkeys that are boring. <laughs> Is there a boring monkey? Is there- would you ever have a chimp and you'd go- it, it, Suzanne would go, I've got your birthday present, and you have it, it's a chimp, it's a chimp fella, he's about, you know, about a sort of like a middle-aged chimp. No, I, I'd love it, I'm talking Would you ever go, the... I'll tell you what Suzanne, that one's boring. No, no, but I bet- the monkey would get bored, I mean. Do you know what I mean? The monkey would be bored. I'd be loving it. I'd love to have a little monkey. Right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is... <laughs> you really would, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you buy him a camera, he'd be happy again, wouldn't he? Well... Yeah, but that's just it. You wouldn't get him to- It's like... If you can do other stuff, you don't want to do the boring stuff. Forget the typing, forget the monkey's typing. Talk about this monkey that's a photographer. No, what but you we are in a way. I'm, I'm just saying... That that would be happier. Monkeys that have got nothing else to do, if they can't take pictures and that, and they can't go on chat rooms. They're happy to sit in a room typing away for, typing for away. infinity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he's got maybe a little exhibition to put on. Do you, do you think- Do you know most- do you know that most chimps and apes and monkeys still actually just live in trees? These are in laboratories and zoos and things. You know that, that that's not the norm. These these monkeys yeah, yeah. walking around, sort of chatting and riding bikes. Yeah, you know that's not natural. Exactly. No, I know, but it, it's, if it, if you left a bike in the jungle and then came back a few years like there wouldn't be monkeys riding around on it, and a book. If you left a bike with a book in the basket, right, and you went away for ten years and you came back, there wouldn't be a whole new transport system and schools. <laughs> no, they'd eat it. They'd mm. throw it round and eat it. All right then, so what you're saying is you can't- you see, what I think is, right, and don't take this the wrong way in that, right, Stephen Hawking. Yes. Right? Now he had a bad illness. Now, <laughs> I wonder if <laughs> he'd be- illness. I wonder if he'd be as bright as he is if he didn't have that. Right. Because he's had time to sit down, he's like, well what can I do? Yeah. We've gone give him a book. And he read it, I like that, G give us another one. Yes. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Yes. Now what I'm saying is monkeys, <laughs> yeah, right. they, that, this one here, Coco, which I think was a gorilla. Right. Right. That wouldn't have been happy on a, on a little keyboard, just doing that Something all day, like. because it'd be going, well I could be out taking pictures. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record! Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Play a record! Yeah. Done. You're an idiot! There it was. There's the catchphrase. Once more. He is! He's an idiot! Bit of monkey news that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right. Good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down, um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, 
that it sort of sits there, and it goes through people's air, makes sure it's clean, and uh, people are loving it. Right, people but so, so, it's a, so it's a pet monkey. It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it, it's, it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job and then- So what does it say? It says, Junior fifteen pounds, stylist thirty five pounds, monkey <laughs> sixty three pounds. <laughs> so it didn't quite follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe it did start But it off. looks good, its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang yeah, on. Yeah, but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because that's what I thought when I read it about having yeah. a good haircut. How often right. do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, and it was run by sort of, you know, these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh, yeah. But they'd, uh... You know, you're going what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for a haircut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You'd you don't say, have to take it. <laughs> no, I know, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, know. for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I haircut. I don't want to be hassled. Yeah, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack <laughs> next to a railway station. <laughs> so, um. Can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So, anyway, that's all, yeah. yeah. I didn't quite follow why. He, he, he's still. He's still. His, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his. doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um. <laughs> he's walking about. He wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there. He was training, this yeah. is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then- It's just the, it's the, it's the embellishment. You don't- walk in- he walked from a jungle to an hairdresser's. I mean, you're an <laughs> idiot. You really are an idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser, if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said, this is relaxing. Apparently he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right, on people's heads. They said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's right. put him on the payroll? What do you mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm -hmm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Cane. Yeah. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Yeah. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for, like, salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And nits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets, when it gets <laughs> deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But but a good monkey news, you know, yeah. backed up with uh, with good tabloid <laughs> with hard, journalism. With so, yeah, with solid yeah. evidence there. So now that's I think we maybe we should start marking the monkey news, Rick. I don't know what you think. Give it marks out of ten, maybe. Uh, for both interest and validity. Well, for interest, I'll give it seven. For Carl's uh, Carl believing that there was something to this monkey, thinking it had a job and getting yeah, paid, but it was also <laughs> doing kind of perms two and colouring two. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> Now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm hmm Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this- no, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yep. yep. Everything's normal, everyone's yep. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in, with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof. Up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. Uh, so, so just, if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay, let's right. hear the end. It's a, it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A man um, comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. Shut up, Rick. Let me let him finish the story. Starts 
waving a gun around, yeah. right? Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish you didn't come in here, it's not gonna be a good day. I'm told he's the man. Shut up! Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what, thinking, in English? In English? Yeah. I in English? So. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's be all bad news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? <laughs> He's telling yeah. it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it yeah. wanders in, right? Uh, go, goes up to the robber. Where did it, where did it come from? Shut up, will you let him finish the story and then ask questions, that's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so, sit down, sit down no, and finish. I'm not having this. And it Here's does, the end it, it, does, it does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are. You have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in, whether- was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking- think, Carl! Think! I know it's mad, that's- that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how- how like- how monkeys are, are pretty, you know, they're mental. Yeah, <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you- think? They've never seen the monkey since. What, did he have a get- getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish. Well, I, Steve, Steve emailed it in, he's got it off the net, and the funny oh, okay. thing is, Can the I funny thing is, the yeah, the funny thing is, um, it, it wasn't just him who sent it. I had that a couple of times, so a few people obviously read the story and said, you know, that'll be good for monkey news. It doesn't say anymore, it doesn't say if he went off to Spain, it doesn't <laughs> say, you know, what, you know, if he's on crime watch, it yeah. doesn't say any of that, it's just saying that's what he did, that's the story. And that's what Monkey News I actually, is about. I've heard that they're making a movie version with Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 so I look forward to that and Judy Waters. So that's that's this week's Monkey News. If you've got any, you know, well, anything no, don't in, bother. In your that's the end. No, that is the end. That's the end of Monkey News. No more Monkey News. Sorry, what was the what was the sorry, sorry what was the Monkey News? Quickly. There must no, 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 no. We got to save Monkey News. We'll have to do that when we. Uh, when is we're it next quick? Gone. Is it quick? Going into the record. Uh, what the Monkey News? Is it quick? Yeah. I, I can tell it to you quick. Quick then. Right. Jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that. Go. Shambles. Hurry up! There's a monkey in India, right? On a, uh, railway station. Waiting for the train. <laughs> no, don't mess about because I've got to get through it quick. There's monkeys, monkeys sat there. And, uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something. <laughs> goes running off down the platform. The police are chasing them. Monkey steps in. Trips the fella up, pins him down, police come and arrest the fella. He tripped over the monkey. Okay, he, play a record. He didn't. He tripped over he the didn't. monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f Right, well, uh, this monkey news story, right? It's about, uh, this fella. A couple of fellas in Texas. Yeah. Uh, sort of running a, uh, running a farm. Yeah. Right? Just they definitely fell as well. How tall are they? Can we just let okay, they are human beings. These they, two are human beings. They, 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 Times against us. They're the street. running, running this farm and that. And uh, yeah. anyway, so they're outside getting the cattle, and they, he turns around, right? It's just that cow's. A couple, so. couple of monkeys walking about. So he knows what's going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, so it's in Texas. They don't know what to do with the monkeys. There isn't a zoo. It's fairly barren there, isn't it? You know what I mean? Not much going about. Yeah. So the other fellow who runs the farm with him says, "Look, we need a bit of an hand." Right? So, uh, said so let's teach them some stuff and the monkeys were happy with that because they were lost anyway, right? So they had- uh, <laughs> They had nothing to do. They were bumming around, they were looking for work. They'd hide a motorhome, they'd fly yeah. out of their way. Maybe it's like the Hulk, they're like Bruce Banner <laughs> exactly. wandering around going, I need some- need some work. You won't get angry, will you? So no. anyway, right, so they taught- um, they taught these monkeys how to ride a horse, right? So they- 
They've both got, uh, <laughs> Sorry, you are sure Charlton Heston's not gonna pop up? You sure you weren't watching a video last night and thought it was a documentary? Uh, they've both got a horse each, right? They've been given, like, a little lasso and all that. Oh, goes, oh yeah. don't talk right. shit, Carl. So, anyway, it's going well, and it carried on for about two years, this, right? It's, it like, you know, r rounding up the cattle over yeah, there yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um... The two fellas are chatting going, it's worked out well, hasn't it? Right. right, if there's a hostile takeover and they sort of like buy up 51% of the shares so or something. So they said, for this to continue, the monkeys are getting old a bit now. We need a, we <sighs> need a little wom woman monkey in here to sort of get some kids going <laughs> for like the future farm yeah, people. Forward right? planning, yeah. So they get a little woman monkey. They in. decided to only to hire monkeys <laughs> from Ireland. Why not? It's working. Why mess with someone when it's not broke, right? <laughs> so they get, they get the little woman monkey in. Uh, they have kids and all that business, right? Mm. But the problem was, right? When they first got the woman monkey in, it was like, well, which one's gonna have the woman? Right. right? So, they started sort of fighting a bit and what have you. Yeah. But because they'd seen the owners of the farm don't, with like don't guns Don't tell and me stuff, the baby monkeys didn't want to go into the family business, weren't enough to be a lawyer. They had a bit of a shoot off. <laughs> Shut up! They got two monkeys, right? And don't tell oh, Because they'd seen the owners, they'd seen the owners with guns and what have you. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that sounds that So sounds they, had a bit of, they had a bit of a shoot off. Yeah. That's how they, that's how they sorted it out. And who won? I think it was George, the one called George. Right. So they had, I think they had seventeen kids. The farm's still running. So that's that's like the the last little monkey news. There, good little Rick, happy ending to that one. If you were to rub your nipple against his lips while I held him down. <laughs> right, come off it now. Come on. No, I'm not doing it. Bruce Springsteen, Thunder Road, last track on Next Ends with you, Steve. <laughs> You can check this all out on the webcam. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought I got my fingers. <laughs> Get his arm out of the way. Get the arm out of the way. This happened on scum. This is scum. This is scum. This is scum. Mary's dress week. It's the big one. It's what people tune in for. At they probably tune in about ten to these days for monkey news with uh, Carl Pilkington. Can we hear the jingle? Only four to go. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's about a, uh, it's been emailed in to me. Right. right. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been I busy. hope it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908 and the person saying it's, you know, it's a good story and that and uh, they surprised they haven't picked up on it yet. Right. <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right? Yeah. Um, in 1908. In London, <laughs> apparently it was meant to happen in in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why, right? And it happened in London. Yeah. Anyway, four hundred meters. Right, it was meant to. Uh, <laughs> there was a fella who was who was going to do the run, right? And the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy, right? It right. was like a new. Okay, uh, there's these are the few things it cannot be. One. He injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. Uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. Um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm gonna go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this, this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's gonna do it. Gonna is he hairy? Nice little, is this it? bloke hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run. And, you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win. And suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm, right. he's eating a banana. <laughs> and oh, there's a fella, just... there's a fella in the lane next to him. Yeah. Right, he's going up. Who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. Kiko. Right, doesn't look familiar. Who's he? Yeah. You know, Weird. Know, what's Weird, going on? It? What's going on? What's yeah. going on? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Who is it? I mean, I'm not, what is it? So they go in. <laughs> So they say, well, he might not be that any good. Do you know what I mean? He might not be good. He might. It's just a bit short, anyway. Doesn't matter. He's only three foot six and he's hunched over on his knuckles. So, I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't think he's going to be any good. <laughs> so, so the race starts. Oh, he's putting his finger up his ass. That's weird for a runner to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fellow that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah. had our money on the favourite. What's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. <laughs> right. right. Long arms, long arms. That trophy's higher than. So anyway, God. he's so... only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. <laughs> so, so I'm they, suspicious. Go on. They had the they had the picture in the paper the next day, sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but quite hairy for a run. Oh, for f I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite hairy for a run, because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s make them faster and no. they're going, how did he manage it? It's really hairy and that. So anyway, he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people 
who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli Olympic Committee, look further into it. Turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. Right. No, don't keep talking. Shut, shut up, up Jim. Shut up, this is monkey news. If you can't handle the news... It's news from 1909 and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. <laughs> right, be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right. Now don't the thing is... Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic Committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of, like- <laughs> oh, SHUT UP! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing- <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. DON'T TALK SHIT! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to Athens? Well, it's, it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? right. I do not believe it. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Right, you f are you, uh, familiar with Undreth Monkey? Keep the talking. Undreth Monkey? Undreth. Uh, yeah, like as in, like, uh, one more than 99. Hundredth. Yeah. The one hundredth monkey. Yeah, have you, are you familiar with that? No. No. Uh, uh Anyway, thanks, that was well, monkey news. We'll, we'll uh, that, next then. week, Adam and Jet. what do you mean you're gonna leave that? Well, I thought it was a popular phrase or something. <laughs> what, hundredth monkey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a popular phrase? What, what, why? What? Because you're gonna do songs and phrases with it next week. We've said it once before, hundredth monkey. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, it says the expression hundredth monkey. Well, do it, it anyway, it what's comes the from? story? Well, it's from the 1950s, right? Mm. And the way the, they got it, because, um, <sighs> they were following some monkeys about, right? And they started- <laughs> Who was? Who was? Who was? was? Journalists. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just to see what what they're up to. Now. Okay, so they're following some monkeys around. Yeah, <laughs> what was it? What a documentary. Anyway, one of them. Come on, come on. One of them washed some potatoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Let's <laughs> leave that. Right. Let's <laughs> leave. Wait, let's leave. Wait, 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 come on. A monkey what? washing potatoes. Can we leave that one? No, you cannot. You've got to do it now. <laughs> they're, they're following a what is it? Like, like, sort of like a family. A is it a family a of monkeys? Like, or it, was a... it was just one chimp, and it was washing a potato, and he thought that's a bit odd, right? Yeah. And oh yeah. It turns out that 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 ended up teaching another monkey yeah. how to wash a potato. No, they do it. They do. They go down and wash them in the sea because they like they like the taste of salt. And the it's, weird it's, thing it's, is though, they when, pass it got, on, go when it got to the hundredth monkey, right? Even though it hadn't been taught how to wash a potato, yeah, it automatically knew. It knew what to do. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? It, it was in them. It was in them that, that they knew that when they get a potato, they had to wash it. That isn't the monkey news. I'm just I'm just saying that's where the expression comes from. But you don't even know than that. So well, there's a couple of things there that it could be a, a, another upshot, and you know, an instinct is is part of your genetics and anything else. Washing a potato, but, but you can't pass on acquired characteristics. So that's nonsense. If you mean that. Uh, someone was taught they had a child and it knew it. There's no, there's no chemical oh, memory right. as such in some So that wasn't even monkey news? No, the, the monkey news, you know, we've, we've covered a lot of stuff. There was sad, <laughs> there was sad, sad stuff, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, there's some funny stuff in there, you know. Yeah, yeah, Um. Do Robert, monkey Robert, news! Robert Roberts and that. Um, football team. A monkey football team? Yeah, in, mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. Uh. Got all the, uh, got all the team members here, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> all the different things. Um, little goalkeeper. Apparently he's on transfers from some other club. But the bit that got me attention is, apparently he's a holder of PhD of physics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look at that? Well, the goalkeeper? Yeah, just the goalkeeper. The, the others haven't done that much. <laughs> the others haven't done that much? Well, I believe that he's got better exam results than you, Carl, but... I don't believe he's got a PhD in physics. Good Obviously, guy. do you know what the name of the team is? <laughs> Coconuts. <What? laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, so if the Telegraph are listening, that is the sort of quality entertainment you get. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right, there's this monkey, right? Yeah. And it had been. Uh, do you know you hear about monkeys being badly treated and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, it goes into this, this home. It's 14, this monkey. It's called, uh, Matty, right? Goes into this home where it's looked after. What uh, do you mean, home? Just like, uh, just a little monkey home, right? Okay, so, so zoo? Yeah, kind of, yeah, but they haven't mm. got any other monkeys there, right? What have they so got there? They've got just other animals and that, but, but not that many monkeys. But anyway, because, mm. because he's there on his own, again, you know, it When gets... you say monkey, do you mean a chimpanzee, by the way? Because you usually do. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't believe that um, journalist thought this was scripted. Amazing. So, uh, so anyway, yeah. So it gets it gets sort of pally with the people working there and that, and uh, <laughs> it's smoking fags. It's having a drink at night and all this. Right? What do you mean it's having a drink at night? How? <laughs> it's all here. It's all here, Steve. I mean, we haven't really got time. But well, you know, don't say it, it's all here. Like it's proof. You've got another stupid story that well, someone has put onto the internet. Someone sitting at home in their bedroom mm. has put onto the internet. So it's having a fag. Yeah. It's drinking a lovely glass of Bang Rock Station. <laughs> yeah, Haven't the wine that's perfect for a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's loving life. It's forgetting about its past and everything, right? When this this other monkey comes along. Oh, oh no! Trouble's brewing. Go on. Right, that comes in. Something said. <laughs> <laughs> right, forget it. Then. Forget, forget it. No, no, forget it. Forget no. it. No. Forget it. No. You're gonna love this one, Steve. Go right? On. Uh, yeah. So last week we were talking about. How, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right? Yes. No, no, leave it there, oh, Rick. We haven't got time to go into right, it. So, that's what happened. And that's what happened. He lived with the monkeys, he went airy. That's, anyway, what, happened. that's what happened. Looked into uh, some other stuff about, like, airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right? So, uh. Um, Trouble's brewing. L loving his job and that, but. It's, qu it's quite a lonely. Sort of job because you don't see many people. You're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So anyway, wow. he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to to a human. Well, that he is right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Is well, it dangerous? What, what do you mean? What type was it? Do you just mean it let him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp. Yeah, yeah. It was I a don't chimp. even know. So it was a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Does so it? he it's gets a story. pally with him, right? So he gets pally with well, him. Well, they go on holiday together. Well, no. I mean, it starts on off. Starts off just checking each other out and uh, you know probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right. Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh, you know they, they're getting on well and that, and then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Right. So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks he could he could live at home with me. This because yeah. we're getting on the storm. Yeah. Right. So he texts him home, and before is you this know the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? I think it is. <laughs> I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried because he's already imitating him when they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> Single white zookeeper. Oh, brilliant! Right, so Go anyway. On. So it's moving in and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah, uh, <laughs> PG tips. As a, <laughs> as a, uh, it finishes the day off with a. Oh with a, dear! Finishes, <laughs> finishes the day off with what? With it does, a, a it doesn't have to move a piano at one point, does <laughs> he? He finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> he pours himself. A, is he wearing a smoking jacket? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Carl. You're, you're listen, a maniac. Listen, mate. no, this is this is why it attracted me. It's amazing, right? <laughs> right. So he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of, um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice So it's the opposite head. of the kid. Well, no, yeah. This is what but I'm that, saying. But that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he's shaved know. or if How died. did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you All can right, see well, if okay, I've gone wrong. Keep going, keep so going. anyway, so, well, um. So this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because he's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the zoo. This is such <laughs> so, rubbish. So the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he friend. says there's no point you coming in to the zoo because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back so he said, you stay at home. So you are ju you're talking such Just a let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me- I, I'm fascinated. It's, it's, it's nearly over amazing. anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary, Carl. So, <laughs> it, he's walking up, right? He's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy. Um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go away, Steve. How does he do that? <laughs> well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, but, but, what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's but, built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well known. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So it's not a quick joke and just a oh, 
put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how- I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> and he- Oh. That what is- What was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th- maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing, <laughs> I love the fact that- He's not gonna be talking with her. They're not gonna be playing, like, Trivia Pursuit. Maybe, maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> I don't- I, it didn't go into that, it just said it, that's when the trouble started. Oh, play a record. Right. <laughs> Is that what Suzanne did when she brought you in? <laughs> oh! What is it? Chimpanzee that. Oh yeah. Chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, well the last one of the year. <clears throat> it's not that good, but this is all that's been going on all week. Yeah. Uh, little monkey. Um, what happened is, it's this plane, right? Aeroflot, I think it is. Russian airline. Um, having a good, having a good flight, everything's going normal and that. This is gonna be liveless. The, the pilot, sorry I mustn't interrupt my side. The, the, was, how tall was the pilot on this flight? Okay, listen, we've had a few complaints, people saying, don't but, interrupt, but don't but interrupt Steve. monkey news. Okay. Don't interrupt okay, monkey news. Okay, I won't then. Through. It's like okay. the weather girl complaining whilst Trevor McDonald's doing the- Okay, alright. Go on then. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, the, you know, the flight's going well, food's been served and all the rest of it. Anyway, someone gets upset about not having many nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right, they've not got enough nuts. Oh, they, okay. hand the, they hand the nuts out and that. One of the sort of passengers is going mental. Because what, what's, he, what's he saying? He's just, he's just What going language mad. is he talking though? Is he Russian or English? So anyway, there's a bit <sighs> of a fight going on. A fight starts happening. People are going, what's up with that little fella? Right? The little hairy bloke. So, uh, they, they sort of drag what's wrong, him. What's wrong with Bob Hoskins? And why is he screaming? Why isn't he talking in his usual Cockney accent? Why is Bob Hoskins screaming and grabbing at nuts? So, um... You've ruined it. Right. Come on, come no, on! Oh, it, oh, it. Am, am I ruined? Right, Rick, turn his microphone off. Okay. He interrupt right. you. Right. So anyway, so there's a fight going on. Nuts are going everywhere. Right. So um, anyway, so they they manage to tie him down. They get him on the floor, tie his legs up, and that. Right. His little legs. Get him to the. <laughs> get him. To <laughs> Come on, come See you on. later. Have a good Christmas. No! Oh, how dare you! Finish the story. All that happened is they got back. Uh, it turned out that he shouldn't have been on the plane anyway. Why? His passport wasn't valid. Right. Um, and you can't cause problems on planes and that. So he got put in a cell for a bit. It turned out it was a little monkey. Uh, right. Quick question. How did he complain about the shortage of nuts? Yeah. He just was going mental. Right. He didn't actually call over a stewardess. He just. Well, how did, he, how did he get on the plane in the first place? Right. What ticket did he have? Have a good Christmas and that. But yeah. you know it's rubbish. You See must you know that's rubbish. All you must best. know that's rubbish. All the best. You must know that's rubbish. Where is he going? Excellent. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right. Uh, right, they were filming a documentary, right, this telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Who? Which one? Which one? Which I one? Dunno. No, what was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Africa. Right, where, when was this? I haven't got a date. Okay. Recently though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, if you want it. <laughs> okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads? I don't think so, no. What happens? Halfords, they've, they've, uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um... Yeah. And what happened? Packet. Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly. <laughs> Bicycles and, and motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the average. What happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at him. Look at him. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, they, uh, there was a load of hassle because they were using these monkeys in this Alpha advert. <laughs> yes. Right. And what happened? Get to the point. It turned out there wasn't a problem because there were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen. Let's get let's get back on. <laughs> there were mechanics in the first place. <laughs> right. Listen. Right. So they're making this documentary. Right. And uh, they stumble across a, a little gang of uh, little gang. <laughs> Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed, I'll hear that. I know, well brilliant. What do you want, a cake? <laughs> Come on! Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. 
<laughs> just tell us the story. All right, then. All right. <clears throat> so, anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> Right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. This is if you were looking forward to monkey. Got a hide your love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9, I'm looking to with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, monkey where news. Where where everyone's we? composed. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right. Right, where were we? We would just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay. For making a documentary in, uh, in the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on! All right. Um... A little gang of monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on! So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing, all nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't- they're not running a restaurant, they've not got any barber shops, <laughs> nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business, yeah. So anyway, uh, mm. the- what- what normally happens is the monkeys st stick with the partner. <laughs> <laughs> they already do what? They- they don't sort of sleep around in that. Once they oh, find right, the- once they find the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they stick- they stick with them, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And, uh, it's- it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oily. Oh, and it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So, uh, followed it round. <laughs> and, uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! It's a little monkey prostitute. And it was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> What a load of old rubbish! <laughs> it's charging on bananas. <laughs> what was it? A boy or it was a woman? Little woman monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh, that is genius! Has this documentary been televised? Mm. Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. <laughs> no, and that's all the information you've got. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and is that that's um, that's one banana for everything? Now, half a banana is for Just oral. Uh, a poor job. Right. Um, if you want full-blown uh, monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. Sure. Sure. So, uh, Let's just play a song. Quickly. Go on, then. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! Right, it's about a monkey. Four, 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 four. It's about this, this woman monkey who was born in 1834. <laughs> right? Half monkey, half woman. No. Not true. It happened, apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail. Right. <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, I christened uh, this, uh, thing a Victorian ape woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian ape woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head and on the back of her legs and her <laughs> arms. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Save so stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she's... she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like arse sticking <laughs> out the back of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, well, it was good because they didn't have opposable thumbs. So, uh, uh, she could speak three languages. Yes. She, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, absolute twaddle. All right, well, that's... more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A it Victorian there, monkey let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. I was worried we wouldn't have the old magic in 2004, oh, but we're know. still talking shit. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news ya. Well, there isn't, uh, I've been away, haven't I? Oh, uh, there's been no monkey news, you can't get... No, no, but I haven't had, had a proper chance to sort of, you know... Um, Carl, your monkey news is of spurious towels from the 17th century sometimes, <laughs> so let's have one of those. No, let's so have a so monkey the, who dressed as Zorro and they thought he was uh, a woodsman, but when they took his head off he was only he was a four-foot hairy chimp. <laughs> let's have one of those ridiculous stories. Well, we've, we've done that, though. But uh, do you want to go back on some of the ones? Oh, for just recap? what no, is the monkey one. news? There must have been some monkey news this right. week. The only thing that sort of stood out, do you know, like, they're having problems... You're just making this up! 
Where's not... your information? Where's the piece of paper? Where's the document? What is this? Because I've been away, so I haven't got anything. Right, look, let's just hit, let's, 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 but let's it's hear bad it enough when he's reading it, he gets it wrong. When he's just riffing, it's going to be absolute twaddle. Let's hear it out. Right. Do you know, like, they're having problems getting new, new um, people to be policemen? Oh, for... Go on. They've, uh, in America, they're taking them on to, uh, sort of join the SWAT team. <laughs> They've taken what on? Some little monkeys. Okay. Uh, giving them walkie-talkies and all that. And, uh... Well, they can't talk. <laughs> they're just walkies. <laughs> <Did I> ask... <laughs> yeah, they're giving them some walkies. What do you no, mean? What, what was... being given commands and that. And, uh, they What, at... so it's one way? They, they tell them, they've got the little thing well, strapped to them? They're good at, like... Getting into small, or some sort of, you know, small places and that, and sort of, you know, cracking stuff and all that. Like I say, it's just half a story I just picked up on. That's not a story. Well, what do you want? Monkey news. <laughs> okay, so monkey news, please. All right, all right. And <laughs> let's hear the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right. <laughs> now before, before oh, I went... and again, and again. Go on. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Brilliant. All right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the, he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> yes. yeah, and then remember. he nicked the robber's loot and backed out. Yeah. With a gun. Yeah, he sort of stole, he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He Did took he the weapons, he took all the weapons, there was like a couple of robbers. He managed because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in. It was like don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Well, anyway, so anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, now what was that that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he no no no? So um, so the follow up is, what happened is the monkey had the guns. Had the cash, which was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Sure, right. It went back to the zoo. Right. Uh, you, all right, Carl, you're talking. Sh shut you, Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out the official? Imagine thing? if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't. It wouldn't happen. I don't. Wanna, I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go get him. He's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates? His monkey mates. So they've all got a couple of guns each. <laughs> oh, Carl. Uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I cannot Just stand that, it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to do him a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going. Tell him that. I'm right. not going. Now step I can't- Step out for a minute. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, don't ridiculous. listen. Step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. No, please, I need to hear, I need to right, hear the end of this. This is monkey news. This is important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room. He cannot, he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we give you some cash? Yes. And they go, oh. Sorry, th well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds right. say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, we'll give you some money? Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. <laughs> right, I'm listening out there, you could, this is ridiculous. Go! What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeepers? They were probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um. And what happened is, I think, uh, I think that, I think they were happy with that, I think they left and that was that. They, they, they wanted to get out of the zoo, because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I, I don't- uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place, this one? Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed, he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape, and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no. he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I I've got a, I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> 
I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right, what, I mean, Carl, think, think, please think, right? So this, this monkey, right, he leaves the zoo, right? He, so he leaves the zoo, which he can do, presumably, what, they leave him the keys or what? They're chatting to him, they might as well. He goes to a bank, what, what's he, what's he thinking of doing? Sees a robbery, probably by chance. He probably wasn't tipped off, was he? Or has he got one of those police scanners? Probably got one of those police scanners. Well, I think he was going to the bank to get a mortgage to uh, build a, a large. Sorry, uh, I think he wanted an extension, didn't he, on his uh, cage? Think of that. And so he, I love the fact that he hands out the guns and they do a deal. <laughs> it's uh, honestly, <laughs> you've got the best. You've got the best mind working on radio today. It's incredible. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's, there's been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that. Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me 20 quid. Yeah, well, that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's there's, there's one in there. New music, new music. New, new monkey news <laughs> from last September. You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Police, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey. And, uh, You're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> well, you know, the, yeah, the, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zoo-keepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> I thought it was fascinating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just gossiping, I understand. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, it's tuning in. What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so what the zookeepers did was, they, uh, they said, I know how they'll have kids. Are we letting that go? Come they were on. just chatting, are we just letting just, that go? We're letting it you know go. what I mean? You, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So, um, so yeah, so the zookeepers were like, yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids. Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do, t to sort of do to egg them on, yeah. um, bought, um, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. Shut up, Gervais. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got married? Uh, yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it! That's this is why I don't- Right! That's the end of monkey news! <laughs> that's the end of monkey news! Don't do that again, you've got no features left! Why don't you like that? What? Well, it's not a story! See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids. And come on, they got married! That's the end of the story! What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you he mean you didn't make a mistake? Wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, that the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts. So they, they, they bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just to and it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa. Be it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> Play a record. You got no features left. Have you got? I mean, have you got anything interesting about a monkey or an ape so we can do chimpanzee that? I know something that a lot of other people will know, but I'll. I'll... Well, well, let's do it then. Chimpanzee. Chin what's it called again? Where should we do a jingle? Well, <laughs> do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that! <laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's your interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about. Um, this monkey, ages ago, <laughs> of course. uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp, right? right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> do you know it? What do you mean, do I know it? Oh, now it down, it loads got... of chimps are caught with woodbines. Right, he, he got having caught a... having a fag. So it was sent to court, <laughs> and, uh... Well, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did it get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent and get in 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. 
because it was it was go so back a minute. Wait a minute. Well, whoa, I mean, whoa, 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 no, whoa. No, I don't know the. F- that's that's as much as I know. So there's no point questioning. That is as much as you know, isn't it? Quite literally. <laughs> Sorry, but why did he go to prison? Uh, it's it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag. <laughs> In a built up area. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if it got it himself? Even if it just. What about if it, if it earned it himself, just like moving tyres around or mucking mucking out the zebras? I don't know the full story. That's you don't know the full story, do you? But do you think. <laughs> you never do, <laughs> do I you? I presume it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad because I just Carl, thought, well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like, the, where I got it from and you Trump can- Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just, uh, <laughs> and he, he did. Okay, then- Oh, chimpanzee that! Another one next week. I don't think so. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, there's this, uh, card game going on. Right. <laughs> In the, in the, uh, <laughs> a, a, a big hotel in, uh, in Vegas. Right. right. The Lux, Luxor Hotel in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, there's a major car game, all the, all the big players and that. Sure. We're, uh, we're involved. Mm. Right, they're all invited. Mm. Anyway, so they all, uh, they all meet up in this dark room at the back of the- Oh, <laughs> there we <laughs> the go, dark room. Dark room. But hairy fella. So, it was, uh, it was brilliant at poker. I'd yeah. say it's a, it's a big game and that everyone's been waiting for it, so it's played in the back room, not, not in the main entrance bit, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I say, it's dark in there and what have you, and, and the players went in, there was already someone sat in there, right? Right. But, uh, they couldn't, short bloke. couldn't, couldn't <laughs> quite see Was he a short hairy bloke with slightly longer <laughs> arms than legs? <laughs> couldn't see him Were his, it... where, where his arms slightly longer than his legs, couldn't strangely enough? Couldn't see him with it being dark. Was he ha- holding his hand of cards with his feet? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, oh, so God. the cards were dealt, right? Cards yeah. were dealt, game's going on. <laughs> his cards with his feet! <laughs> Game, game went on for hours, right? Look, no one's listening. The th- terrible thing is that not even we're listening to I Carl know, now. I know. No one, of, literally, no one is listening so to Carl. It's so insulting. There was a lot of smoking going on. It's right? going on. A lot of eating, a lot of eating and nuts going on. <laughs> that was a bit weird because they don't normally get through as many, but for this night. <laughs> so, I'm. Um, f- come on, let's just play Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you maybe Christmas time. Goodbye. Yeah, right? Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! Okay, monkey related news from Carl Pilkington. Right, uh, do you know the monkey that went into space? Yeah, yep. It happened in 1958. Right. Now you know that. Yeah. Yes. What did he do next? What, what did, what did the monkey next? do next? Yeah. One appearance on uh, Celebrity Squares and it was like forgotten. Right. <laughs> yeah, cut a no- novelty record. Yeah, well, just like Rick Waller. I'll tell you what happened. He, uh, uh <sighs> he got back. And all that. <laughs> God, <we're> like, <laughs> heroes welcome. NASA sort of said, you know, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where a lot of people think think you know it all ended. Sure. Yeah. But NASA were like, well, hang on a minute. We spent he's a trained. lot of time. We've trained him up and stuff. So he's like, you know, he's saying, sure, sure. You know, I've learned a lot. I've still got it all. I've kept it all. I know what to do. So they said, right, we'll use you. So he turned into like a bit of a trainer. <laughs> we want to send you out on the top of an organ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put can on you, this little bellhop outfit. Can, can you smoke fags? <laughs> yeah. I'll have a go. So, it was, they were getting in new monkeys. You know, the, the main man at NASA was saying, can you teach these the same? He's going, of course I can. Do you know what I mean? I remember it all, I know what's going on, I'll tell him what button to press, what to do in emergencies, that sort of thing. Um, it was technically, sort of, employed by the army. Right, can I, can I just can I just fit in here? I, I I don't know the story, Carl, and I, I might embarrass myself here. You've got an army of people out there that have probably send me uh, an equally um, deranged email from a different website. But I'm pretty sure when they sent the monkey into space, it was to monitor his physiology. He didn't he didn't <laughs> press any buttons or learn to dock or take off. It just it was just the effects of weightlessness and space on um, basically a primate. I'm pretty sure. He was tied in with electrodes to mm. his head. Mm. So, yeah. well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I could be proved, but even if that were the case, and he had learned to press one or two very basic buttons, definitely not. 
definitely but not. even if it were the he case, I'm pretty not. certain they wouldn't have brought him back to train up Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> right, definitely. Go, but go him on. Going, Neil, what are you going to say when you come out there? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I was thinking of just saying, I know, I'm on the middle. Hello, it's made of cheese. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't what say about, that. I've noticed that you've got little legs, yeah. right? But mankind stepped forward. Well, how can I put that? I was just going to say, oh, I'm on the moon. It's great to be no, here. I wish you no, were here. I've got things out there, man. Yeah, go on. Anyway, basically, he got back. They sorted him out with a nice pension. He mm. was happy. Um, because of, like, the rank that he got, he, the, he was like, you know, he had loads of, uh, medals and stuff. He <laughs> said, right, we'll make him a colonel. He got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. like I say, he got a pension. Um, I was at the end. He died in 1969. He was ba uh, buried with his wife. He passed away. <laughs> his wife! I'm sure, I'm sure it just goes on to a different website yeah. about something completely different. And yeah, you're talking like, about Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, 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 His page is missing. Oh, dear. So... Well, that... W Carl, I'm... Like, if someone could call in, did they train Like the Dog to sort of, like, you know, dock and re-entry? He never made it back, did he, Like? Well, they didn't out, bother. They didn't week. even bother. Didn't bother back. They just sent him up there, and then they didn't have technology to bring him back, and they just went, yeah, that's there. That's brilliant. Well, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Really? Yeah. What do you think of that, Carl? Rubbish, isn't it? You sort of brought it down a bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the little monkey made a colonel. Hero. Big hero. What was he in? What craft was he in? Uh, Sputnik. Just hang on a minute. He was in, um, Jupiter AM. Yeah. Let me see that piece of paper. Yeah, I, I, I can guarantee there's nothing there about his, his training other than Let's hope he's not sick on the control panel when we shoot him up at 400 Gs. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's I love funny. the fact that you think that this monkey was a high... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do, do you, <laughs> when, when you think of these things that are in the monkey's face, do you think of the planet of the apes? Like they're sort of talking sort of chimps and gorillas and they're, they're in tunics on horseback <laughs> with snub-nosed rifles. <laughs> what do you think of? Just a little monkey getting on with it. <laughs> He knows his job, he knows what he's got to do to get on with it. Look, he's pressed the button, watch him press the button. This takes me back. Do you remember 1965, I think it was? We're going to use him to train other DJs. <laughs> yeah. That's it then. Goodbye. Thanks. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, excellent. So, Monkey News Time on XFM. Carl Pilkington, the man in the hot seat. Carl, what have you got for us? Okay, uh, Monkey News this week. Um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Uh, now do you know, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you... Might have a swim and yep. stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. <laughs> it's, it's not called a manicure, though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty then, treatments. Yeah. Right? If look good and stuff. Yeah, well, look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well, that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about... <laughs> Is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Oh God! You're a maniac! Like, oh, for Christ! Oh. Let's just. <laughs> Of course it's not! No, 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 it is, because think about it, right? <laughs> no, not think about it! What do you mean, yes, it is? Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps! what do they do? Get a loan? Right, if a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest... Yeah. Where would you go to? A place that's run by humans that don't, what, don't, they don't know what chimps' needs are. No! My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr <laughs> and Mrs Chimp, went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what, we need a spa. I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> but they've expanded point. over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> they've all, Go! They've, they've all heard about it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the, the top and bottom of it, right? Oh, Christ. The I problem don't... is... It's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. 
the monkeys that go there are loving it, they're telling friends and stuff, they're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the, the problem is, it's this little, uh, little monkey, little man monkey and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. Who are sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship, they can play around if they want. Well the problem is, they're not married, right? <sighs> now- Some Trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is, because it's his name that's down on all the- all the Carl, stuff. I, all the forms. Actually, Let him finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's going to happen? Sure. What, are you, getting this, where away, are you getting this from? What? Internet. Carl, I don't know where to start. No. This is the. This no, is just, the, uh, can we just hear the, the end? This is ridiculous. So the problem is. The, the, the female girl, monkey is worried that the male she's, monkey she's worried. is going to die. What's going to happen with the happen? business? What's going to happen? Of course. Right? Now- What do you mean the business? The, the, the health There isn't a business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's <laughs> name, it's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh, the woman monkey has got some kids, but because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not going to be handed down to them. And the court- they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that, they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't want to check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. And they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they- where they've got the- the, uh, the little health thing going on- So that makes it more believable, this Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there, they've seen the success of it. Sure. And they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So- Give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play record. That's the worst- that's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are- there's something wrong with you. Play the jingle. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! Right. Um, Come on! Come on! It should be ready, Carl. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's the, uh, uh, Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, ooh, the bomb. No, no, that's not the first. Um, come on! No, but it's always difficult, isn't it, to, to sort of find something that's good each week, right? Last week, we did the chimp- It is for us, yeah. Did, it, we had the chimps who were running a health spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, we've covered the one who, who nicked a car to go on to Spain. Yep. To, to wow. sort his future out. All- all shite. Uh, the hairdresser, I think he's- you know, we've done that one, the little monkey hairdresser. This week we're looking at monkeys, um, that they're using- they, do you know like monkeys, they, they, know, they know- they know how like- I've lost the will to live, Steve. Oh well I don't want to do it. <laughs> but, right? but, well come on, just- come on! What are monkeys good at? What are monkeys good at? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> running small businesses, <laughs> cutting people's hair, uh, and driving cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right, is like weighing up the situation. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, God! If you stick them in a- in like a- a field with loads of like, obstacles on it, right, they're good at sort of, yeah, I can get over that, and I'll climb over that, I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere, I've thought- oh, Somewhere! Come on. I've thought we can use that, we can use that skill, right? What? And what- what- the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of, uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test. Yeah. And the ones that score above 80, right? Get to produce this show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> Right. How do they join the army and what do they do? They just, um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them, they do that, they do a cross-country run, they do, um, the a IQ cross -country test. cross-country run? Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Long, yeah. Slightly longer arms, shorter legs than usual, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, basically then, then they taught how to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh. You're talking rubbish again. This, this came, this came through literally you know, pretty late, late on, so- So you've not had a chance to cooperate all the facts, as usual? Just have a look. <laughs> right, uh, it's the intro- the bit I'm looking for is, well A, why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Yeah. Why do we need monkeys in the army? And secondly, why are we giving them guns? I'll yeah. just check to see if any of that- I don't know if we only let gays in recently. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, just have a look. I can't read it. I, I, there's too much pressure. But I it's rubbish. It. No, 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 just, have a, just have a. But have it's a rubbish. Look. They don't get. It's, again, it's the way that there are things. That, that, that you, there are there are animal cores, right? There are horses. There are dolphins, sea lions. Uh, you know, there are lots and lots of animals in the army, but they don't have to pass <laughs> an obstacle test as such, and they're not taught to fire guns. Right, we'll you straight away assume that they're going to be there's going to be uh, loads of squads of men and then just one little monkey in the middle. <laughs> like you know, he did, he's came second on the test. He's in. <laughs> he's in, boys. What do you think, Steve? You've you've read it. Well, as ever, Carl. This is an arbitrary email sent by one of our listeners. You know what Ricky and I think of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we're not really basing this on hard evidence. We're basing it on the ramblings of one of our listeners. Rubbish. Once again, lazy, rubbish, uncorroborated, nonsense. The stupid test that you got wrong. Rick, that <laughs> sounds like monkey news to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cue up the jingle. Hang on. All right. Perfect. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> right. Uh, let's have a look. This one's from uh, <sighs> from some woman, right? Yeah. And she's um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride. Right. Mm. Lovely day. Weather's good and everything. What year? She's uh, just a couple, a couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training. <sighs> Right, done all the training and stuff. Mm. Uh, got a brand new bike for it. Got a little puncher outfit and stuff. All set for the day. Right, it's a nice day. She sets off. They all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton. Yeah. Right, so she's, she knows the route and that. Got a little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right. Okay. I'm stopping now. Um, if uh, a cyclist overtakes her <laughs> and it's going really fast and it's sort of hunched over but it's got like lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles and they can't tell what it is but they just know it's a, like a uh, little hairy um, fella um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs which is weird isn't it because cyclists usually shave their legs and this bloke had really hairy legs but um, and it won they gave it the medal it won three years running they gave it the key to the city uh, it had its own game show and then someone said hold on though no, this fella's all hunched over and he's only three foot five and his arms are longer than his body uh, it's a Chimp! If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. More monkey news next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And uh this tricycle <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that. <laughs> There's always oh. one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it. Little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just <laughs> go on then. Well, the tricycle comes whizzing, whizzing past, whizzing past yeah. Him. Strong legs, didn't they, Tim? So she's thinking that's. But didn't get a chance to see the thing. Oh, yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, God! You bald mank git. Go what? on. Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. <laughs> so, so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And, um, they got talking, that's, it was a nice day, nice race and all that. <laughs> said, did you see, uh, a little, little thing on a tricycle? Thing? <laughs> well, 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 person, surely, just a human. Did you see that, no, did you see that bloke on the bike, tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out- Tricycle? Yeah! Well, what did you say, thing? Well, no, it's, well, was no suspicious. I mean, why didn't you say, did you see that fellow on a tricycle? <laughs> Anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um- We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, I can't I stop you there again. It. Right? If it turns out she doesn't lose, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our <laughs> chimp, it used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing no, 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 it- no, no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. <laughs> yeah, sure. She didn't, I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, Turns why, why, out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. Of course not. Because now the owner of the chimp wants to enter it into the Tour de France. In, uh, in oh, 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. <laughs> I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. Oh, God! 
How, Steve, help me out. How did it get hold of the tricycle? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, that's fine. That's, that's, that's not an important know. point. Look, that's important. How What's the it... with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to... How, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle, but more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride on Follow, that day? Just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and stuff like that. No, he hadn't! It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in 2005. No, it doesn't. Um, but there's something about animal rights. If if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> no! The animal rights is that it's cruel to make a cheap ride a bicycle. Not, Not if it wants that it's to. it's prejudice that it'll go, is it because I is hairy? You idiot! Right. So. Wow, that is the worst, that is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f- Right. Now, uh, it was back in the 1980s. Right. So it's quite topical then. Mm. Um, yeah, okay. When did this happen then? 1980s? Yeah. Yeah. It's about a, uh, Colombian F1 sort of, form you know, Formula One driver. Uh, apparently these races were going on, right, and, uh, someone kept winning them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay, forget it, forget it. No, don't do it. It's cause it's rubbish. Cause it's rubbish. Right, so someone kept winning the races. So, uh, uh, this, this, um, this someone, this, this human, um, that kept winning the races. So this human being that kept winning the races, um, Carl, what was his name? Um, his name is it, it's Jimmy something. Yeah. But How tall is he? Well, Just something interesting. No, 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 no,
And then he goes, right, there's a lot of lipstick and that knocking about, a lot of makeup. Right, okay. No, no, there's no way. No! Because, so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's and ridiculous. He and he's finish. going, well, if it's there, you know what I mean? So, so, while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there, he's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> that, right? You are a man! No! no! I know! It's gone too far! No, it's gone too far, Steve. Right, uh, Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right, the story. So, Turn mine off as well. It's gone too far! Turn him off. Just let him finish. Right, so the thing is, right, it's this monkey wandering about. It's got lipstick, it's got mascara on, it's looking pretty I good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking alright, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right, he goes, right, here's my chance. It's looking good, 247, out the door, through the reception, the reception man's there, he's like, alright, Kirsty, right? Don't <laughs> talk shit! You know what it is now, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! <laughs> right? Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online, right? I didn't no. have the internet, so it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought there's loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff. I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So, I said to my dad, do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys? Brilliant. <laughs> this is a- no, this is what Trevor McDonald does. Turned out- <laughs> Quarter to ten, he goes, <laughs> yeah. She's got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happen? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, sorry, yeah. Mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched, living in Manchester-like. <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp. Um, that's a thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> so doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh God! Tried it on with his wife. That's <laughs> <laughs> a thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife. I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh, I'd call him up, but he's one of them who like swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good- it'd be good to get him on and C just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. a lot of work, that. Yeah, well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work, are no, we, Steve? No, I mean, I'll you get know. myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, oh, you know, I so. have a word, I have a word, I'll sort it out. Yeah, try yeah, and sort that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, sort that out, yeah. Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story then, let's let him say in his own no, words. No, but there was another one as well, uh, some fella- When you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but there's him, and there's some other fella he knows who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh I think he said he went, my dad went round one day, I don't know why, right? Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where, this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answered! <laughs> is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answer in the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag eyes before he'd shaved? No, sure, no, it wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway, go on. Um, then. This is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this going to be like? Well, Steve? let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uh, another phrase we've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have. Don't teach yeah. your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chin pass the jaw if you're tucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> God. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it? Really, mm -hmm. oh, I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Doctor Fox? Doctor Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, he, he must have wanted to scream and go, "You shouldn't be in the Radio Authority." My parents listen online. I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, 
long time ago, right? In yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Having a good life. Good. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? <laughs> so, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry, I just, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon <laughs> either your dad's been around or... Is it- this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out, it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. From <laughs> 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 the rough bit! From the rough bit! I love it! Like, we, they went into a middle class area. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant! From a rough part of the island! <laughs> so, the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah, yeah, of course, and they carry chains. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love all this conjecture! They've got flip knives and this tattoos. Go yeah, go on. So, basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas? <laughs> this is Right, calm down, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh god! What do you mean this is it? Forget it. No! Forget don't it. forget it! Carl, do not no, press that! Switch the record off! Oh, Switch the record off! Christ. Switch the record off, Carl! What, what are you talking about? What did they do? Oh. Let's do Christ. business with the bananas. Yeah. So, they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll, we'll flog them. <laughs> So, that put a stop to it then, the people, the monkeys came, they didn't have money, they said, give us some mon- you know, give us some bananas, um, and it says, uh, So what, they exchanged bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business <laughs> no, it's comes not. from, little business no. is set up. Right, there, oh God. Carl, you know what, you know what the time is? Bong. <laughs> monkey news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Imagine if Trevor McDonald started like this. Yeah. There's- there's been a lot of stuff going on on that, with monkeys. Oh, yeah? I've also- I was mentioning earlier how we're sort of making the grocher- the, the, gro the feature grow a bit, uh -huh. right? So, I'm thinking- oh, I haven't told you, Steve, either. I've actually been asked to write a thing about monkeys. A poem? A no, what? no, for a magazine called, uh, Something Apes. Right. They it want me to do, ape. they want me to do, uh, like a column, 500 words. About, about apes. About monkeys? Anything I want on monkeys. Anything. What are you gonna write? Don't know, if, you know, think about it. Well, give him a typewriter, I can't with <laughs> Shakespeare eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could anyway, write about that, why didn't you write about that? You don't, the fact that you don't believe it. You don't believe that an infinite because, number of monkeys because, could type because you were Shakespeare? Because you reckon most of them hadn't read Shakespeare, so they wouldn't know the, some of the spellings. <laughs> exactly. It wouldn't happen. You idiot. Get on with it. All right. right. The, uh, there's been a few things, but one that springs to mind is, uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. <laughs> right. okay. This is brilliant. <laughs> yep. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yep. Go on. Uh... Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh, I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Found a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. <laughs> Go on. They're having a good chat, alright. They've found mean? monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out- they've got about 534 different words that they're using. To, like, have a chat about stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah, what do they chat about then? Just, you know, things that monkeys are worrying about. Just, <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know. Who does your hair? <laughs> you going out with her again, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I the... mean, that, that Were they was... discussing the humanity? Did you see that programme on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can walk up right. Yeah. But on, what, Did what, you see how well he was? Do you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um Not sign language, it's but- It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys, he heard some, you know, some explorer was over there. 
cutting through the, the woods and that. And he heard his name, heard and he thought, that's what he went, what do you want, Riley? It wasn't me, I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say, I always snod grass, where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. Right, we've got to be quick. Go but, on, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet, because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing. Mm -hmm. Um, the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? The lab fella was busy on the phone or something, yeah. right? And um, mm. typical. It's wandering about. It goes up to a, a PC that's in the corner, a little computer. Types down, my name is Marty. Right? Mm. So the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, Have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Let right. him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him finish. I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come I on. Don't he know said, what to do. Uh, He said, Have you done this? He says, Done what? He said, This on, on the screen here saying, My name's Marty. Right? He goes, What are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate, saying, you're lying, you did it, Monkey's sat there, typing, this isn't a practical joke, my name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? Um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh, I, think we, I, think I, I, I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. He's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat, chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, has he right, got his own website yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Have, have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a wind-up. It's a joke. It's not even- you haven't even got some of the facts wrong. It's just a wind-up. Have you noticed the date? Is it April the 1st? It is April the 1st. You are joking. That it was sent. You're an idiot, Carl. It was sent on April the 1st, Carl. So you're saying the monkey knows it's April the 1st, but you and don't believe- it's wind-up, yes. Yeah, I think the- I think the monkey is, has thought, I'll do it on April the 1st so that people think that it's a wind-up, but in actual fact I am a monkey that can type and read. Right, haven't got long, you better give the winner. We got monkey news coming up. We haven't really got any monkey news. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you there's, mean? There's nothing going on, seriously. Don't talk- what do the you mean? The last few weeks I've been telling you. No, 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 I- uh, Right, right. This really annoys me when you say there's nothing going on. Because you call it monkey news, but it's not yeah. monkey news. You have stories, uh, dubious but stories- But shut up a minute. About chi- it's always chimps, which annoys me when you call it monkey, because they're apes, right? And it's often from the 18th century. Mm -hmm. So it's not news anyway. So don't tell me there's no monkey no, news this week. No, what I'm saying is, if there's monkey news worth doing, I'll know about it. <laughs> And there isn't anything, <laughs> right. so let's leave. Right, right, okay, you are gonna give me some monkey news, well, or- Okay, right, right I'll tell you, I'm telling you, you are gonna give me some monkey news, or we're not leaving. Right, well, my mum sent me some. Right? right. I got a little letter from her doing the usual sort of stuff, telling me what she's been up to and that. Uh, it was a little thing about, uh, somewhere in Lincolnshire or something. Right, good. Do a bit of, uh, do a bit of monkey throwing. <laughs> oh, God, uh, what do you mean? Because some fella got attacked by one once. And sort of to remember him, on this certain day, they go, oh, it was today, wasn't it? And that fella got attacked by a little monkey and that. And the, uh, something about chucking monkeys about. That's horrible. I don't know if they're real, I think it's just like to remember. All right. But that's, that's the only sort of stuff that's knocking about out there. <laughs> but it's not, that's not I've monkeys. got my mum and dad on it, looking all the time. <laughs> yeah, there must be more monkey news than that. There isn't nothing going- I mean, there's- there's bits and pieces. There was a bit about Donna Rare, how when she has a kid she's gonna let a gorilla look after it for a week or something. But apart from that, it's- that's it's dead out true. there. That's probably true. Well, I don't know what that means. She's, uh, well that's it. Apparently, well, it's not uh, true. She's not gonna let a gorilla look after a no, child. No, it is. Apparently a, a fella works with him or something, and, uh... This is rubbish! It's not rubbish. How can she let a gorilla look after a baby for a week? Well, forget it. Sorry, have you that's ever heard her speak? <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, this uh this happened in uh Pittsburgh. 
right? Uh, there was a rock band, and uh, they sort of they've got this studio in in Pittsburgh and what have you, mm. and they're laying down tracks and stuff like that. And in the in the studio that they use, right? There's this uh, this monkey works there. Right, cool. <laughs> I love the way he throws that in. Like, cool. like, cool. like, like he throws that in. This monkey works there. No, it's just got a little gig there. He sort of uh, it, mm. it carries the equipment in, guitars. Stuff like that. <laughs> he doesn't. He does. No, uh, he doesn't. He just sort of cleans up after the bands. No, yeah. he doesn't. Emptying the ashtrays. Doesn't that happen. Sort of stuff. It doesn't does. happen. That's, that's the gig it's got. Anyway, right. <laughs> Gets women out of the crowd that they want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with one arm. <laughs> so anyway, right, so the, the band's in the studio, right, yeah. and uh, one of the band members brings some A&R fella to the studio to have a listen to the latest track, right? Yeah. So they hit play, and uh, you know, they're all there going, yeah, brilliant, this is good. Oh, no. Anyway, so the fella says, yeah, I like the track, I uh, especially like the, the bass on it. <laughs> right, right this is bullshit. So this is uh, rubbish. So, so and they haven't laid down a bass. So, track? so, so this is. Have you heard it? So <laughs> I the, know, the, Carl, the please don't is, do right, this to so me. So the A and R fella goes, and yeah. it's like uh, it, the band members are stood about, and they're going, "That's good that he liked it." And they're saying, "Yeah, but what's he on about with the bass?" So no, it, this is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. Where did you get this from, please? Because we never Where get to the end. Get, this is it. absolute so, nonsense. So they played it back. Yeah, right? and it's the chimp playing bass. So, Definitely not. So they were like, that's weird, we haven't got a bassist. Anyway, so they go, well, oh, whatever, right? So we haven't leave. got a bassist! <laughs> yeah. So They so, go, whatever, let's go Oh, home. forget it. <laughs> Play the jingle. Uh, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A particularly aggressive jingle this week. Wow. Yeah, looking forward to this monkey news. <laughs> Carl. Right. Come on. So, what's the name? What? We've done. <laughs> Sorry, what, what? What? Brilliant. We've done. Uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who like got involved in crime and stuff. Yeah. 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 Right. We had uh, the one on the train station yeah. nicking a bag. Yeah. We had the one who went Don't into a that bank. One. Who cares? Went into a bank <laughs> and walked out with the money and stuff. Yes. Right. Didn't happen either. Next. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them. If they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime and stuff. Oh, this monkey news update! <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is... Yeah. It's got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, you mean wild animals? You mean... A zoo? Yeah, yeah. A zoo or a kennel or nope. something that where they've... they've it's been mm. uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. Yeah, it's a prison. Is, it, is it... does it have fraud cases? It's got- it's I, mainly- I, 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 Mainly sort of animals that are attacked things, and it's mainly violence, I bet. That's my- That and- uh, that and feth. Say it again? Stuff. Feth. <laughs> say it again? Feth. Say it again? Robin. Uh, no, let's go back to the, the, the- that word. We're gonna keep doing it. You've got- we've got Robin. six minutes. You're gonna say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, do you say it? No, well, you no, say then it you'll first. know how to say it. Well, alright, Robin then. It's been caught Robin. Say it again though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So, uh, they've got this prison, <laughs> right? This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not gonna say it? No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And, uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys. Right. That are in there for life. <laughs> Cos that's- the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off for the eleven. There's eleven- I'll give you the bit of paper, cos I thought this was- <laughs> now, you, th you thought it was a bit weird. Now, Carl, what uh, what are they in there for then? Because I mean, they're in there for life, so I'm assuming Robin, it's murder, Robin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Premeditated murder. <laughs> they're not. They're not crime bosses, are they? They're not. not are they? Into are kind they of the prostitution and gambling? Are you sure they're not? They're just the pawns and the and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree, going. Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery. <laughs> it's I not. Wonder if, I wonder if they get them. <laughs> right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just as ever the back of a fag packet found in a toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly. If, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort because it does open with the headline Parole unlikely for inmates of monkey prison. <laughs> Officials say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail. Officials? Now what kind of people work <laughs> at a monkey jail? Ah, Where do you work? Ah. 
Um, uh. It says officials say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the, Daily, uh, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Montebello blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for 18 months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All basically, 11 monkeys, they were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials believe part of the problem has been caused by thieves training monkeys to help them. Lorry drivers training monkeys as guards for vehicles and itinerant entertainers oh, using ill-treated so monkeys as and part it's of the, It's the monkey that takes the rap. It's a shame, that, isn't that it? That is awful. They didn't know what they were doing, did they? Oh, so there you go. What do you think of that, though, Carl? What would you, what would, if you, if you could visit them, like Lord Longford, or something, what would you, what would you say to them? You go there and they, you, they, you get a visit a week or summer, you know. So can you get us a video? <laughs> 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 All right. Have do we got mean? monkey news? Have we left monkey news behind? Monkey news! Come on! What happened? You can't offend monkeys. I tell you what is annoying. What? Steve's told me about a film that is about a monkey going off with a woman. Mm. The Charlotte Rampling thing where she It's a film takes... called Max Monomour. Yeah, she has an affair with a monkey. Go on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You wouldn't like Don't it. Go, we can't go into You wouldn't like monkeys. it. You wouldn't like it. It's not, it's not like, it's, it's weird and it, you wouldn't, do, Carl, it's not like a nature program where he wears a bowler hat and can talk. Okay. The nature programs that you <laughs> seem to see. <laughs> yes, yes I'm gonna think that I've seen that one. <laughs> no! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do monkey news. Well, monkey news this week. Play the um, Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, ya f- Right, it's about this monkey that was knocking about in the 1950s. Right. Um, just, uh, <laughs> it was known in the, sort of, <laughs> LA area, right? Um, and apparently, um, again, I haven't really checked all this out, I've just picked up bits that, that look interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, wore a golden mask and, like, a cape and a, a leopard skin belt and stuff, right? So people didn't know. He, he was, was a monkey. monkey. Of course they didn't know, yeah. He just thought, they thought he was this bloke who was going around and he was helping out crime situations and stuff. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. So, one, this disguise, that, that you see a, a, a three foot six bloke with arms the length of his body. No, but that's the funny thing, right? They knew, they sort of thought, it's a bit odd, you know, he's stocky, yet extremely flexible. Yeah, and hairy, because he only wore a white mask and a belt. And a distinctive jawline and stuff. And then, uh, right. apparently, like, he used to sort of get to his... Nothing we say gets through, does it? You've, you've, you've decided you can just picture this monkey going around solving going crimes, and just it's... Telling you. Let him finish the story. Time's running Jeez. out. So it sort of get to its crime by, like, swinging from the trees and stuff. Of course stuff, it would, right? yeah. Well, people just thought, it's a normal fella. Of course. Then what happened was, he... This is the bit that's gonna annoy me, isn't it? He helped some fellas out, like, you know, and for a reward, for a reward, they were like, do you want some money? You know, you've, you've helped save our lives during a crime and stuff. Mm. Do you want some money in that? And he just went straight for the shopping bags, got a couple of bananas and apples, <laughs> right? And as he was bent down, looking into the bag, getting the bananas and apples, they pulled his mask off, little monkey. So he wasn't allowed to work for the police anymore? It, it ended there. Sure. Weird, isn't it? Right, I'm 30 now. <laughs> I can only remember been off two times. Oh, his memory's going as well, you'll have to climb <laughs> off. <laughs> and both of them were when I, when I was at school. One, school? What's one, school? One when it was windy. <laughs> Why did yeah. you have time off? Because it was windy. But to be honest, Carl, that lasted no, no, for wait. seven years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time wait, off wait, at school. Wait. Why did you have time off because it was windy? Were you windy or was it windy outside? No, it was, it was a really, it was like when-, when Your auntie wasn't out of the window, was she? Yeah. When the winds were bad in the seventies and my mum said, oh- Was it- whoa, 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 whoa. I remember space hoppers and flares, I don't yeah. remember the winds being bad in the seventies. <laughs> well, my, my mum just said, uh, you might get blown into the road, so don't- do <laughs> She had so much faith in you, didn't she? As a human being. Is that why she got fired from the pie shop? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming in today, I might get blown into god, the room. The, oh god. The funny god. thing it was, right, Steve, they, they had this, this thing going at school, because a lot of people used to wag it back then. Right? Used to what? Wag it, sort of not go in. Yeah. Right. Right. And, um, 
they sort of tried to make it interesting for you by giving you a an education, a certificate, a certificate right. if you yeah. did a full week Re reward for the rest yeah, of your exactly, life, yeah. achievement, that right. sort of that sort of carrot, and mm. also like let you go home at three o'clock on a Friday, Brilliant. right? If, if you'd done a, like a full week and that, yeah. Right. Mm. So it was a uh, it was lovely weather all week. Then it just ch sort of changed on a Friday. And I got up and it was all windy. It was windy said, as for Friday on Saturday, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, don't, don't, you know, if you don't want, don't go in because, you know, you might get blown into the road and that. So I said, all right, then I'll stay off. And, uh, so why did you, uh, I told you to hold, hold on to a fence or yeah. walk you there? What's this don't go out <laughs> Immediately and give up. I love this getting blown into the road. Is that based on your cats that kept getting blown into the road? Well, so I got to, got to school on the Monday, right? And the teacher said, Took right, long time. today, uh, to punish you, you're the only one who wrecked the whole week, right? Everyone else came in, you didn't, so everyone else is going home at three o'clock today, but you're not. Brilliant. Serves you right, and, uh, and I wasn't bothered though, it was great, because I said, well, you'll have to stay with me, won't you? Brilliant. And it was great. So all I did for half an hour was doodle and stuff, it was great, that afternoon. Yeah. And that, that was ages ago, that was like when I was about eight, and that's one of the times I was off ill. Yeah. So it was, but that wasn't even ill, that was wind. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, right. yeah. so I'm growing up on this estate, and there was a there was this woman about four houses down, right? Who's a bit rough, <laughs> all right? Didn't sound to you. Oh God, no. Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. Like being a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What did she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. Tattoos. Look like Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which, even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try we'll and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did he get a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have still using horse in it. <laughs> no, what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of leather? Yeah. Um, oh, that's great. I did Big out. Jake <laughs> come <laughs> looking <laughs> for it? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, sorry, let me get this up. This was before the lynching stopped or <laughs> <laughs> Let <laughs> me get a horse from. What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But we'll keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin rustling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? Until... Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> open the patio door as well. Be... Looks like we got us a runaway. <laughs> what <laughs> do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I'd... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's always so... to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it. It's keeping it as well. Oh, oh so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, okay. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper. Just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's play a record, let's play a record no. and come back to this, because the story's gonna just wait, unravel wait. and unravel, it's yeah, yeah. Hours. Let's it play gets a track, deeper Carl. and deeper, it's yeah, like an on, onion, Carl. isn't it? We've <laughs> created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. I, mean, I, I come just, from the West Country, I've never just, heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and a, 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 a rediffusion telly and this horse yeah. going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really... I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, the God. classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pot. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Well, 
Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Lou Reed, Velvet Underground, and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So we were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and uh, we got on to. Uh, um, we got on to uh, genetically modified babies. But and then somehow Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got on to, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was. Because you lived on an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, look, I don't know if that's you relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but you. Well, well, what I'm on. trying to do is like make a picture for you so you understand. What did she what look like? Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be poor. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I've never got that close to it. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from I don't know where. There was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they, they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did well, they, they didn't get have caught? it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse no, in No, what there. happened was I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity. Right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money. And they came out with all these ideas, and I thought, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget, well I don't know. I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making over it. You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some, because uh, she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups and uh, get some soil out of the garden, planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did, they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they wouldn't have survived. <sighs> but I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough. So as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they were feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where- no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay or in like a house with a Central you know, heating. three piece suite and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> <laughs> telly and that? No, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't go to school much because me mum and dad had a caravan. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> no need, is there? No need when you've got that sort of fun at home. Yeah. I used to just go away for weeks. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, honestly. Where'd you used to go? Port Maddock. But <laughs> 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 and um, so you didn't go to school much. No, I, I did, but not as much as everyone else. No. How many holidays were your parents having? Oh, what, what, what was their income that they could- No, my dad used to work nights, and uh, he used to travel back, because to Manchester from Wales, it wasn't that far. And Manchester he used to, do, to Wales? He used to do four on and four off, so me and my mum were like, loving it. But what, what's- what, what, Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port Maddock? Down the road from Port Merion, where they filmed The Prisoner. Right. Also, so that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, location-wise. So what did you do then? You you were in this little two-birth caravan on the back of a- Cortina estate. Right. Well, what was it? What was the car? I want the. Uh, what was Granada, it? Granada. Four Granada. Four Granada. What are we talking? 1980. Yeah, 82, 83, 80, right? 4, 85. Okay. And you in, you in the car down there? Da down there. <laughs> park up. Yeah. What was it? What, what was Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port, Port Maddock. Maddock. I remember Ruth. It's just, oh yeah. Uh, it's just a holiday camp. Yeah. And at an arcade and a beach. I was, I was loving it. Yeah. But, um, so, so of the 52 weeks of the year, let's assume, I don't know how many weeks you take off normally for holidays anyway, let's just say, I don't know, you go to school 45 weeks of the year maybe? Generally, most kids? No. Nah. Less. A bit less than that. How many weeks would you say you actually spent in school? Well, how many weeks do you have off for summer? Well, we just, we'll work that out. That's what about we six off for summer, about four, three for Easter, about three for Christmas. Put it this way, I'm surprised they're not Welsh, to be honest. Right. So there was there more than was in Manchester. Did they not, did the school authority not come and check you no, out? No, they didn't. Didn't get in Manchester, I suppose they didn't care, did they? Not really. Yeah. They're lucky you turned up at all. Why did you just turn up for the last day when you could take in your best toy? <laughs> did you just know that when you could take in any I game? Just, just play with everyone else's. Why, why, you know, why break my stuff? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. Well, this point. answers a lot. This does answer a lot. The fact that you spent most of your time on the beach as a kid. 
Uh, teachers were no good at my school. We were right. talking about it yesterday. About so you were teaching them a lesson by going off <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. And uh, did you go to university? No. No, 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 no. Did you go to sixth form or college? No. When, when did you leave school? When I was about 15. Right. What, you just went on holiday and didn't come back? <laughs> I just got a job early, didn't I? Cause Where I was it? Port Maddock? Getting there. No, I was a printer. BM yeah. Print in Trafford Park. Have you ever seen, like, a bald pet? No. They, they, it's weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Because my mum, um, we had a cat, we used to get through loads of cats because we lived there. <laughs> oh, God, it's starting early today, isn't it? <laughs> what do you mean? It's got only ten no past one. Cause, cause what we are you doing? No, Running a restaurant? We lived on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what do you mean? No, we lived on, like, a main road. Oh, yeah. Right? So yeah. we used to get through a lot of them. Dad kept there saying, is. you know, stop wasting money, you know, it's, it's not Stop good. wasting money, not wasting yeah. cats! Right, so, um, anyway, we had this cat that was ill all the time. Mm. And, uh, He's just bag of noodles, probably. <laughs> yeah, Emily, <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm going to witch house. Wrong. Oh, God, bloody hell. Wrong. Don't, so, don't let me go to the Pilkington. <laughs> and it, 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 for some reason it kept being sick all the time. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that is nice, that's definitely nice. So, my mum... Thought, kind of thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and she yeah. shaved it. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I know, I know you're not vets in your family, but what correlation did your mum think there was between you being sick and shaving it? Because it kept being sick, and it was a pain to wash, because it kept getting So she up. wanted a dry wipe cat. So. <laughs> Why didn't you just varnish it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's weird, it's but weird. So, so, now, so now he's cold and sick. No, but do you, no, not, I mean, not all of it, she left sort of the back half, but sort of from, from its waist, sort of- I love that! Shave it, cos it's sick on itself! Yeah. And, that uh, is it's, it was the weirdest looking thing, I mean, no, normally I like cats, I'm always like giving yours a stroke on the head and that. Yeah. But as soon as she did that, it was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hey. touch it, and then- So now it's sick, cold, and hated. Yeah. I love- I-, I Carl. It must have, I mean, the other cats must have been taking the mick out of it constantly. It's just making things worse. Did it get, I'm hoping that it got run over and was put out of its misery. No, I think it, I think it got alright, that one. Or is that the, yeah, it did get run over. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, dear. <laughs> How many cats do you say you've got through? I'd say when I, whilst I was living at home, I mean, it's, it's still on the increase even though I'm not there. <laughs> so, I, whilst, whilst I was there, probably five. Oh, God! Oh, wow. oh. Yeah. and were you upset each time, or you just got used to it? It's, it's one of them things, isn't it? Like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like the elephant man or whatever. Yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of, oh, look at that. Did I tell you the time when, uh, the doctor said uh, I was gonna die? Alright, keep talking. Right, ages ago, um, must have been about fifteen, right? And, uh, at lunchtime there was this, we used to have a choice of stuff to do at lunchtime, right? We used to have, um, like a, like a burger place that had an arcade machine in it, right? So we used to go there and play on that and have a burger. Or, there was this baker's, right, that my mum worked at and, uh, did great cakes and stuff, right? So, um, she used to like bring some home and that, but she couldn't always bring them home every night because, you know, they'd, they'd cost money and she used to get them for free. And they used to say they'd rather chuck them away than give them to the staff because there's a chance that the cream might be off. Right. Right, so they used to chuck them round the back. So I used to go round the back with my mate and eat a load. Brilliant. Scavenger yeah. eating out of bins. <laughs> no, it was really, it wasn't out of bins, they were still in trays, but they just stacked them up near the bins, right? So this got out, I mean it used to be a chocker. Uh, once the school found out, everybody used to go there and it'd be like, well, have a cake. <laughs> <Les> master crawling <laughs> through, yeah. fighting the kids off. Right, so I'd have, uh, like, you know, you just eat, I don't know, six jam donuts or something, and then you'd spend your dinner money on the arcade machine. Brilliant. Right? So it was a good, good afternoon, really, right? So you'd do that, and this one day I must have had six or seven uh, jam donuts, a few Congress tarts. Uh, <laughs> Start. Just, I love them, it's me, I can't get them in London, right? So I'd have some of them. Uh, if anyone can get a Congress tart, um, for Carl in London, please let him know. So anyway, 
this day, that, that was just a normal day. Do you know what I mean? You'd once, yeah. twice a week, you'd have a load of cake. In your life, yeah. yeah so anyway. Day in your life. Uh, were, were the frog boys there with the, with the <laughs> webbed hands and the big heads? So, and the horse in the city? Uh, yeah. But the day after, one of these days, I had really bad cramp in my belly. Right? Yeah. I was like, in agony. Could yeah. hardly walk, so I said to my mum, oh. <laughs> You could hardly stagger to the free cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I was in absolute agony. I said, I think, I don't like doctors, but you'll have to get a doctor in because I don't know what it is, I can't walk. She gets the doctor around, uh, I won't say his name, but he said, uh, he said, well, doesn't look like he's got long left. Blimey. So I was a bit like, hang on a minute, I've only had a few cream donuts. Yeah. My man was panicking. Sure. He went, my dad came in from work, she said, oh, something's really bad with Carl, I think it's serious, it's, you know, the doctor said he ain't got long left. So he said, what, he said that and just left? So she said, yeah. So I'll have to call him then. So he called him up, said, uh, what's all this about, you know, Carl hasn't got long left, how long's he got? So he goes, oh, I was only messing. He's just got, he's just had some bad cream. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, the thing is... <laughs> I um, like the fact your mum didn't ask any questions. I know. <laughs> she didn't get into detail. Know, know, well, I, can I, you I, explain I, more, Doctor? No, I got us you off. I, no, but uh, she doesn't. She I, doesn't no, like no, I'm, you know, I don't want to diss you or your family, but I imagine if I was there, I'd have known the Doctor was joking. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I sound very arrogant there, but I imagine he went, what's he been doing? I had about six cream grounds. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Uh, he hasn't got long to live then. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think the Doctor did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love the idea of your mum just let him go. Yeah. Terrified, thinking, yeah. well, I'm not going to probe him. He sees that's it then. Dad comes in. Hi, honey, I'm home. Anything happened? Uh, the doctor said Carl's going to die and then left. Go on. Watching a programme yesterday. Uh, and it was about these Japanese snow monkeys. And it was all about how animals learn things that aren't insti instinctive, particularly sort of primates, because they see other people doing it, and they start a culture. And they can pinpoint when these monkeys, when one monkey first went down and got in the hot water springs and stayed there because it was hot, and the others copied them, and now it's, a, it's part of uh, almost a culture, you know, that, that won't be handed on because it's not instinctive, but has to be learnt each time. And, uh, you know, and uh, they, um, they groom as normal like other monkeys right but they're, they're really intelligent and um obviously the reason they groom other people other other monkeys is because they eat the mites but the, also the monkeys have learned they like being groomed okay so they showed this one monkey it went to a deer okay and it was grooming this deer to get its mite off it right but then it didn't eat it it held it in its hand it went over to a monkey, put the mite on itself to show the monkey had a mite, and got a free grooming. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. That is extraordinary. Because it gave up the food, knowing that if you put one there, this monkey would look for mites on it, yeah. and it would get a free grooming, and it was like having a little massage. What do you think of that? It's not bad, I've got some better stuff coming up later. <laughs> On but, monkey news. On the official yeah, monkey do, news. Yeah, do you see that, do you see what, see what mine though, mine's true. I mean, that's an interesting and extraordinary... It actually happens. It's social behaviour amongst primates. Uh, so I saw it. I saw it. It was, you know... Did it rob a bank, Rick, at any time? It didn't rob a bank, and it didn't open a hairdresser's. <laughs> See, that's, that's what you're letting you... That's what you're letting yourself it's not, it's not quite good enough, is it, my monkey news? No, I've got some... See the difference where I, I named the species, explained it slightly, told you an interesting fact, mm. as opposed to, there's this monkey, right? And, uh... Look at him looking at you. Yeah, it's... He's not interested, Rick. <laughs> can I tell you now, can I try and describe for people the face that Carl has? I'll tell you what it's like. It's like if you draw, um, some eyes, a nose, and a mouth on a balloon, and then inflate it to about half full. That's what Carl's face looks like. That's what his head looks like. It looks like a face you've drawn on a balloon. Very small, the rest of the head huge. It's, it's just that today I'm a, I'm a bit tired, right? Mm. That's one thing. Why are you a bit tired? I just haven't been sleeping, right? Why not? I don't know. I've got a lot going on in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if this would be like The Simpsons, if we could actually look in there, there would be two monkeys grooming yeah. now. Uh, Plus, you've, you've been talking about, like, stuff that I can't relate to and that, so I'm... Well, writing poetry. Like what? Reading books. Yeah, what? doing poetry and stuff. I never did any of that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? At, well, at school, they didn't, they didn't bother. They tried to get us to write more, right? <laughs> Right. By, uh... Giving you a pen? Well, they, they used to give us these school diaries. Yeah. Little, little red book. And 
it was a way that they kept an eye on what you were doing out of school hours. Right. right? So some kids would write down, you know. <laughs> Stole a bike. Yeah. Burn a house down. Yeah. But when I was at school, around that sort of twelve age, I, I didn't get up to much. You have no money, there's no you can do. So every night it was the same thing, I'd get home and you, I'd have to- I'd have to go to the shop, right, and get some potatoes and some bread every mm -hmm. night, right, and I kept taking this into school. Sorry, w w was it Dublin in the 17th <laughs> century? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean every day you went to the shops and got potatoes and bread? <laughs> That's- that's kind of what I had to get all the time. That's, <laughs> what, what why? What did you have? Chip sandwiches? <laughs> yeah. Right, and, so uh, you went to the pit- yeah, you went there. So I kept- With I kept putting that- stick. <laughs> yeah, I kept, yeah! I kept putting that in the diary, you know, every night saying, <laughs> went, to, went to you phase. That was the name of the shop. <laughs> yeah. What is it called? You phase. What is it? You or you? Like H U G H phase. H U G H, yeah. Oh, is that was his name? You phase, right? right. You used yeah. to go there. Get the potatoes and bread, bread and that. I have to find someone who's named a shop after themselves. <laughs> I'm not going to say what we sell. It's named after me or nothing, or I'm not opening. <laughs> Mainly potatoes and bread. Uh, yeah. White sliced loaves, King Edwards. And the teacher used to always say, just write something different in there. Make something up. Because yeah. like you know, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through to Friday, every night it was just went to you phase. Yeah. <laughs> went to, to you. So you sort of, you, you Are you sure, to... sure it wasn't an advert? Sure it wasn't paying you to say, uh, get my name in the book? <laughs> yeah. The only t the only time that it changed and she said, oh, that's that's made it a bit more interesting, was when it was my birthday and I had to buy a cake. Potatoes and a cake. And she said, oh, that's good. Yeah. That was my 13th birthday. My mum said, I got home from school, she said, oh, you're 13 today. Teenager, big, big turnover. Go and get a cake. That's your experience of writing? No, what? Well, no, that's your yeah, experience that's... of your 13th birthday. Oh, by the way, you're 13 today, go and get a cake. Yeah. Brilliant. Big surprise? Was yeah. it a big surprise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is brilliant. So, I love it. That's that... the only sort of writing. Well, yeah. and they never asked you to write essays or stories? Did anything? you never write a story or a poem or a... The stories I did earlier on were, you know, you, you made them up, but it was that thing that I'd, I'd always end them with, <laughs> and an alarm went off and it was all a dream. Every right. one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they didn't. They didn't. I mean, it was a bit of a. <laughs> what was going on? Some potatoes and some <laughs> yeah. bread. I went yeah, and it was all the no, 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 no. Then I went to shops and bought some potatoes and yeah. bread. But did did you ever do anything that write about an adventure when you were a spaceman or you were in? You know, you were uh, a cowboy or no? Uh, all the teachers like had scams going on. So like. <laughs> In English, right? <laughs> you'd go in there, and the teacher would say, "Right, what we're doing today is got a load of brochures from Thompson, but they say like 1983 on the front. So I've got a load of stickers here that say 1984. Let's see how many you can do in half an hour." You are joking. Did you go and to school with Oliver Twist? <laughs> Sorry, you are joking. I'm not. That's what they did. So the teacher must have been getting like a freebie or something for helping them out. You is this honest? Honestly, yeah, that's what. It's that is fantastic. They were all at it. They, all, all <laughs> they were all. Other than Mr. Fagan, you had. Yeah, and then when they saw Karate Kid, they had uh, every kid washing their car, going wax on, wax off. Hurry yeah. up! Yeah. I'm teaching. I'm teaching you something. Wax on, wax off. Paint the fence. So I'm just saying, you know, that's that's why I'm a bit quiet because you're talking about stuff I can't can't relate to. And why and why didn't you sleep last night? I'm just. I, I haven't slept well for, for since I was about twelve. <laughs> Do you sleep well, Steve? <laughs> but wait, 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 you can't let that go! I haven't slept well since I was twelve. What but do you know, mean? Do you know, like, a proper... I used to love going to bed as, as like, a kid. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, oh, am I gonna sleep tonight? And I'm, I sort of wake up about four times. Right. Whereas when you're a kid, I remember really loving, like, going to bed. I'd, I'd, what, there was one time where I actually laughed. Myself to sleep because I couldn't believe me luck. <laughs> Is there something wrong with him? What do you mean you, <laughs> do you laugh? Know, yourself? I've never had it when you're when you're really tired and you get in bed and the pillars feel yeah, it's all cold. Yeah, and, and it's like I can't believe this. Yeah, and I, I, it happened twice. Once when I just went to bed and I was really looking forward to it, <laughs> and also when I, I helped my dad out once, like through the night, he worked at like at this paper company, right? And uh, <laughs> I helped him out and I got in at about four in the morning with him, got in bed. And I just was like, I, had, I, I was laughing my head off. I had to put the pillow over my head because I, I couldn't believe me. Look, like I, I was like, oh, this is great. This, I'm going to sleep. 
I, I just have to say, life up north is so extraordinary. No, but you must be the easiest kid in the world to please. No wonder she knew she could just go get a cake. It's sort of like, uh, what, what was he expecting for her to say? He was expecting an extra hour in bed, <laughs> yeah. but we got him cake as well. <laughs> go I love that. Any supper, brilliant. Uh, brilliant, yeah. It, your own it, bed. How long was it before you got your own- what did you, you used to do before? Just some straw in the corner? No, it's just that- that thing of when you're really tired and- And do you ever do this with Suzanne though? Do you ever laugh yourself to sleep with her? <sighs> no, that's what I she mean. She can't sleep because you're chuckling away. I'm just- I don't know what's up with me. I've got a lot going on. Carl was in heat this week and uh, they mentioned that he does this thing on Sky. What is it? Uh, it was- this thing with Richard Bacon, some programme about watching telly, and you yeah. just talk about what you're watching, mm -hmm. and that. And he was annoyed, because he said, because his parents are there, and so he's not doing it. He's not going to turn up, because they he mentioned it in heat. And so his parents might watch? Yeah. Why yeah, are you I worried about that? I don't like him watching stuff, do I? I told you. It well, dates back to when I did Little Donkey at school. Sure. I don't want people watching me. <laughs> what, did <that> just <laughs> renew us on Little Donkey? What happened? It was just, you know, I was there to play the drums and that, uh, in We Three Kings. I mm -hmm. uh, was loving it, you know. I got a bit carried away. How old were you? About thirteen. Yeah. Right? Really? Probably. Yeah. About ten? No, about ten, probably. Isn't yeah. It? Six. Um, Jesus. Between six. Where and old were you? What school were you at? Uh, <laughs> okay, you were playing little yeah. donkey. So, yeah. And, uh, no, 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 no. No, you but it was one of them schools where everyone sort of was in the same one. Do you know what I mean? Oh, a Manchester school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just what the one do you mean? Well, it's like you. What, you're sweeping chimneys in the day and then one hour of learning. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? What school were you at? Was it infants, junior, or secondary? They didn't really do that. It was what one way. What do you mean? You that. did that. They still have to abide by the laws of the land in Manchester. No, but it was a, it was a lot more like like you had infants, but yeah. you also had like the older lot. There's kids there. When you're in the younger year and that, you'd see kids and talk, you go, is that- Talk English and use terms that people do when they're, they're talking about schooling. I don't even want to talk about this. No, how old were you? What, what, oh. I'm thinking, I'm guessing maybe six or seven or eight. So you went from thirteen <laughs> to six? Yeah, but like I say, it's hard to remember because- <laughs> Imagine if you were giving evidence <laughs> in a trial. Yeah, 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 yeah. How old were you? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, I can't really narrow it down other than seven years either way. You know, theoretically, yeah. he could get called up for jury service. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're on- Excellent. A lot of mates who I had didn't have enough money to go on holiday and they'd just get a present for the summer holiday. I would like- I would no, just yeah. like- I, Of course, they've got an education, so- it's Yeah, but about. Carl, the thing is with Carl is, right, I want to give him gifts. Yeah. I wanted to be have, a, have the loveliest Christmas ever. I wanted to go pony trekking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to just- Scare the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so many things we don't know about, Carl. That fell off one out of fate, and uh, the woman didn't know what to do. She couldn't handle the horse. It was running off. I was hanging underneath, getting a kick in the head. No. Really? Now, hang on. What age were you? This could explain a lot. <laughs> I was about six. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, I think we got oh, to the bottom of it here. Oh, no. He got <laughs> kicked in the head by a horse, uh, lived in a caravan, and had to live in Wales half the time. Oh. oh. Then no wonder this is your favourite time of the week. Do you look forward to this all week, these two hours? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> My mate, right, he, uh, he, was, he, he was religious. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I, I'm not really, um, but no. I mean, you believe in ghosts though, and shadows pushing people off bikes. But go on. But it's the same time. I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore, and he said he was going to tell me dad. Yeah. I'm <laughs> effing and jeffing. So he said, if you come <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, I love that what kid that, uh, yeah, he hasn't got, got, uh, got the idea of the protection game. <laughs> There's nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion or I tell your father. <laughs> right, so, uh, so I went to church with him and that, and then the next week he said, I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it, it's when I got kicked out for messing with the tennis ball in the pews, right? I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> well, go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Well, no. No, we, come, come on. We'll it. come back that's, to that. that you okay. had a tennis that's ball once in pubes. <laughs> no, in the pews. pews. In the pews, pews right. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing, it's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> Sorry, and so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades? <laughs> No, but the it's called, What's it's called the crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh -huh. right? right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Brilliant. Right. So I went on the Friday night, it was brilliant. They had Sabutio. 
uh, <laughs> play table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember, God gave <laughs> yeah. you all this. Yeah. Well, it's sort of you know enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games. You can play uh, table tennis and, mm -hmm. and talk with your friends. Yeah. And blah blah blah. So yeah, that's all right. I so, think you'd be happy in a young offenders institution. <laughs> You get to clean the uh, toilets there. But as don't well. forget, Carl. I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. And my mate said, if you go for four weeks, four like weeks in a row without missing a day, yeah, uh, you get a free badge. And, I was and like, salvation. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know? Right. That's yeah. 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 So anyway, I go on the Sunday. Who was this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go on the Sunday, it's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. That's how they trick you. No sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> they trick you. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. I just, just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> and, Brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> 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 well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so they, were, they won't even notice if yeah. I'm not like. Yeah, do you sure. Know what I mean, <laughs> that I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on. It was <laughs> Just this nice. kid in the big. Oh, I love that. You you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that. Yeah, and then no uh, on a Sunday, phew, they found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. God. <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere, Rich. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella For like this. <laughs> the fella who like ran the club, he started coming around and knocking on the door. And I saw him coming up the path and I said to my mum, oh, it's the fella from the Crusaders. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was- No. In. She, she, she was thought like, you were off nicking hubcaps and stealing cars. She didn't yeah, yeah. have a clue what I was it's talking like about. You've been going to you church. Been going to church? I don't you believe it. little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> So uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in, tell him I'm not in. And she had to keep doing this and they were coming round every Sunday to try and make me, like, go, yeah. go on a Sunday. It was yeah. really important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then- Why didn't they just tell you on the next time we turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I, because there was so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Yeah. Right? It was jammed. It was well popular on a Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit. And um, they stopped coming round, so I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on the Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house. In what case sort yeah. of reign of terror <laughs> is this? is incredible. Right. <laughs> yeah. so, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. Yeah. Uh, everything, I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And uh, I was playing out in the avenue, fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are, you, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. You know what I mean, uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> so that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. And there was like three of us in the back. So, I said- <laughs> that record? So. Next time, was came, a joke? next time he came round to pick us up, I said, "Look, really enjoyed it and that." I said, "But ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again because it scared me a bit." I right. said, "All right then, I didn't have to go again." That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah, he almost killed you in a car crash. That's crack. a parable. Thank, thank God, no one was hurt. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. that Your th life moves in incredible ways. Yeah, rather like God. Yeah, <laughs> so. uh so they're, pro go. they're probably round there now, aren't they? Going, is he coming tomorrow? Is he co <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to start on your, uh, to Steve, because I've heard all these. Um, uh. Well, we won't do them all. Well, um, we'll, st we'll start off with the, uh, the Mr. Freeze. Tell Steve the story of Mr. Freeze. This is the first time he nearly died. This, this is the most serious of the lot, really. So, um, what it was, do you know, like, um, I don't know if your mum and dad did the same thing, but, like, they do the weekly shopping on, on like a Friday. Yeah. So when when you got to Thursday, <coughs> there wouldn't be much stuff left in the cupboard. It'd just be like you know your Jacob's crackers and stuff mm. like that. So when they when they'd been to the supermarket and they came back, I was like, uh, you know, what's that saying? Like a pig in, you know, I, I loved it. It was like loads of food coming in, loads of biscuits. He nearly said, what is that saying? He nearly said pig in shit. <laughs> right. Is that the saying? <laughs> yeah. Right. So um. So yeah, all this food comes in. Thank God like, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he'd have been in trouble. That's true enough. Because he's he's culpable for our actions. Because exactly. he's the producer. So technically, oh. that twat's in charge. Go on. Right. So anyway, so there's loads of food, and I'm like, oh yeah, look at this, some chocolate biscuits and uh, 
you know, penguins and stuff. Bacon. So, and bacon. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. <laughs> so, um, so, anyway, me mum and dad's putting the food away. Me and our kid are like, he's already grabbed something, gone back upstairs. <laughs> it's like feral children. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a quest for fire. <gasps> <laughs> and then they run upstairs. <laughs> it was, it, what did you sit under the bed, gnawing at some sort of pig's trotter? <laughs> so, so I saw, um, do you remember Mr. Freeze Pops? I do, yeah. So, well, they're kind of like popsicles, icicles. Yeah, but really yeah. long, like yeah, a foot yeah, long, yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought, I'll have one of them, so I grabbed it. Went for the nutritious stuff first. Absolutely. And, uh, and like my mum and dad are putting this stuff away and what have you. And I, I rip it open and knock it back, right? Straight away, just right back like Swallow that. Swallow it, right, it. Yeah. But it, it went down the wrong way, right? So <laughs> what, I down your shirt? <laughs> so I, I was like, oh God, I can't breathe. And my mum and dad didn't, uh, didn't even know what I'd ate. Do you know what I mean? It went, it, I ate it so, f f so quick. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sort of, Tapping my mum on the back, going, uh, uh, she's going, oh God, you know, he's, he's choking again because I was always choking. <laughs> if it was one thing, I don't know if I've got like a small throat, but, <laughs> but I mean, even Ricky knows I can't drink that much, can I? Yeah. Do you know, or I'm eat not pebbles. A, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a, f a quick drink drinker. I'd always, um, I think I'm scared of like swallowing stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was like bottle tops and mint imperials and stuff. I was always, God. I was always choking on stuff. Oh, <laughs> so, so anyway, she's going, oh God, what's he picked up on that now? <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! So, and she hit his, hit his nose with a stick. So I was going, oh, I'm choking. At this point, my dad had like, yeah, I think he'd put his his share away, you know, his food away, and he'd gone. His share, I yeah. love it. Yeah. He'd, he'd gone to watch like winner takes all or whatever <laughs> in a lounge, and I, I was in the kitchen, and I was starting to like just, I didn't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? I hadn't. I, I just got to that point where I wasn't struggling anymore. You just thought I'm done. I just for. was like falling to the ground. And my mum's going, you know, get in here, I think it's serious. And uh, my dad comes in and sort of starts shouting at me saying that's what you get for being greedy. <laughs> he didn't even know what I'd eaten. Well, it was, it was the moment to teach you a lesson, certainly. So he's there like that and my mum's going, oh, look at him. And my lips were going purple and my eyes were rolling into the back of my head. You look like Marilyn Manson. And, uh, so anyway, she grabbed me from behind and did that, that fireman thing. The Heimlich maneuver. Yeah. And, uh, you know, winded me. And it came up, and I was all right. What the whole right. popsicle came flying back out? I don't, I don't, I, you see, that's what I don't understand. Because there no, was just nothing it, there. No, I mean, just a little bit. No, it swells up, doesn't it? Because it irritated it, so it went down your, this sort of like your epiglottis. It went down the wrong way, like it went into your air canal instead of your so, throat, and it, it sort of it it sort of spasms, and that's the that's the fear. You just got to calm it down and relax. So, so in time, I would have been all right. Yeah, anyway. you don't. Um, well, no, yeah. you might have. So that's so so so, so that's hang on. one. So, but, but, so no, no, no. But the weird thing is, like for like three days after that, I felt like a sort of a uh, special person. <laughs> I was I went to school. I, I did. I'll say nothing. I, I did full days. <laughs> <laughs> a special needs person. <laughs> yeah. I went. I went to school the next three days after that. I didn't like wag it or anything. I did full days. I love that. Three days turned over. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. After three days, you thought, screw it. Yeah, well, did, did a quick history yeah. exam. Yeah. But yeah. have you ever had that where you've like felt like I've been given another chance here? Mm. Right, next that one. That's popsicle. That's popsicle hell, we call that. Right, next one. Uh, which one's the next one? Oh, what about your paper round? Right. Can I ask very quickly, did your life flash before your eyes like they say it did? No, I just sort of went really calm and like, I'm ready for this now. Right. I wasn't bothered, you know what I mean? I you had no scared. regrets? No. No. Um, it was weird. It was really weird. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the paper round one. Uh, paper round, I'd still say it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and he means it! No, I really oh. enjoyed it. It's like, you oh. know, <laughs> you, you, you don't have to work with anyone else, right? Oh. So you make your own rules. <laughs> just think of that. Um, yep. you know, um, you sort of You're around. spreading information well, yeah, to people, yeah, vital information. giving a service, yeah. and no one else is around, you know, you can just do what you want and think about stuff whilst you're cycling around on your bike, it's really good. Yeah. So, um, so anyway. Imagine the stuff he's thinking about when he's riding <laughs> around <laughs> I know, I can't. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> getting in the head of a salamander. <laughs> so oh, anyway, I, I loved it, and even though I only got like 50p a day, right, no matter what the weather was like and stuff, I used to get up at half past four. And uh, go and do the round. And um. Why'd you get a bar pass for? Because I wanted to watch the Pink Panther at 5 30. So <laughs> I wanted to get me paper round done. I said, Why didn't you watch the Pink Panther? And then, and then, then go, he went, Oh, I can't sit there thinking I've got my paper round to do. <laughs> He'll ruin it for him. Yeah. So is it a good job or not? <laughs> so 4 four thirty, I was up, up and about. And this morning, it was like winter, a really bad winter, bad snow, 
you know, freezing cold, really windy and all that. And my mum said to me before I went to bed, she said, don't be getting up tomorrow, I'll give you the 50p. I said, it's not about the 50p. <laughs> so, you know, people want the papers and stuff. <laughs> so, um... Conscientious. <laughs> so anyway, I went to bed thinking, you know, that's it, I'm, I'm, I've told her I'm still going, so, you know, whatever. Go to sleep, get up in the morning, and, uh, put all my kit on. And I, I used to have layers of clothing on, cos it was really cold, they had, like, a big anorak on, with the fur on. I had, like, waterproof pants, and I got my paper round bag. And, uh, I went downstairs to get out, and tried to open the door, and it was locked. I thought, oh, God, so, uh, uh, so she'd locked it so I couldn't go out, so I'm searching around the house looking for the keys. She must have hid them somewhere. I thought, oh, God, you know, I've, I've got the papers to do. So I thought, how can I get out? So I went upstairs, climbed out of the bathroom window. God. Right, and to try and jump out of the bed bathroom window onto the porch. But the problem was, I had so much gear on, I was like the Michelin man. <laughs> so I could hardly, I could hardly move as it is. Yeah. And I'm trying to get out the window, and I'd, I'd, I'm like, Try to stretch down like that, get me foot on the, on the porch. And my bag got caught on like the hook of, do you know like how you have a hook so you can put the window open? Right, yeah, like, yeah. The little yeah, arm goes yeah. on. My bag had got caught on that. I was holding on to the, like the, the wall and my foot on the thing so I couldn't sort of pull it, pull it away in case I pulled it away and then fell on my head. Yeah. So I'm stuck there. Dangling. Dangling. My dad comes back from working nights. Yeah. He thinks I'm a burglar. <laughs> Get to his gun. So, <laughs> so he's shouting and stuff, going mad and going, Dad, it's me. And he had to give us a hand using a- <laughs> He's heard that wily trick in Manchester before. <laughs> <laughs> he had to help me using a washing prop thing, a big stick. What did he do? Well, he said, just hold on for your dear life and I I'll sort of push the paper bag off the hook. Why didn't he go upstairs and sort it out? It was at that point where I was in the middle, there was nothing you could do, do you know what I mean? Mm, it's at that point where- You've just got to make a decision. Yeah. And by the time he got upstairs, who knows what might have happened. Sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to act there and then, don't <laughs> listen around. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so- And you could hear downstairs, now here he is, the Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah. Dad! Pink Panther. Hurry up! Panther. Ever so pink! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that, that was close to death, cause I must have been about 30 foot in the air. Yeah. And I would have, you know, that would have been nasty if I fell. Fell to the concrete sure. paving, so. Well, and, um, there's more, there's more to come. Should we play a record and mm. come back to this? Cause he's got more. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, no there, there must be no, one no, of them no. where you did fall on your head. This is the one I'm waiting for. There's gotta be one. That was explained so much. Yeah. I nearly did, nearly broke me back. Jeez. Once. My dad said I better can't kick me out. And I said I better can. And uh. I, <laughs> I don't like, remember this, you didn't tell me this one. You, you no, know, I better can what? I was in the garden, summer's day, and it was that era when like, doing kung fu and all that was really popular. Sure. And I was like messing about in the garden, punching the tree and, and stuff. <laughs> and my dad said, <laughs> "What a kid he must have been." My dad said, "I bet you can't kick your height." Kick uh, your height? What yeah, you mean, yeah. kick as high as yourself? Yeah. yeah. So I must have been like five foot or something yeah. then. And uh, I said, "Of course I can." So I bet you can't. But instead of doing it on the grass, I did it on like the the concrete bit. <sighs> Kicked it. Actually did it. I went there. You go. But then like, get me foot down quick enough and land. Oh, you, you paused to pause to say there. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to putting your foot back on the ground. And uh, landed on my back, and uh, I, I'd still get back trouble now. Do you? Because he say that, don't he? So he th uh, uh, to cut a long story short, he gave me about four or five near death experiences, and he went. And the whole point of this, he went. So that's why I think I'm going to die of something horrible, like cancer. And I went, why? He went, right? You ready for this? Yeah. He said, well, I don't check my balls. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he said, I don't like the feel. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, have you ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one from school who I'd, I'd want to hook up again, with. Really. So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log on to his website, and then you can help. It helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And uh, we sort of took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and <laughs> typing in your school and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them. Don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not don't going to surprise you, you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch. I think I remember. Her. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, don't don't girl, don't be libelous. Don't no. say. Don't be like no. No. Um, posh uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris. God, yeah. Remember. Uh, Go on. You're grinning. What's the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just um, she was all right. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it was, she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What about uh, Darren Buckley? He was, uh, 
he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he paints a picture. He used to, uh, if, if you do this in your history exam, Carl, you will walk it. Go on. So you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door? Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> Yeah. Or his two-year-old son, Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Cheadle H Holm. Hume. Uh, Cheadle Hume. He must be doing well. It's he's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. The funny thing with him is, right, when um, I used to stay over at his house and um, his dad was a copper and um, uh, I remember his dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. I was like, oh, God, what's happened? And um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, do you know much about drugs? So we were like, well, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're, not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? We said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweet? Do you know, little sweets with the S on it. <laughs> and it oh, was really? About drugs. <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He oh, he was bluffing like that as a slang word. Yeah, he thought he thought because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, "Oh, it's a skittle," and he he said, "Yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom?" <laughs> oh, and it was like, "No, it's a toffee." <laughs> so, uh, God, Darren, uh, yeah, I know it's a toffee. It's a squib. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a, yeah. Carl, more people from your uh, past. Debbie Carr. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was another nice one. <laughs> one <laughs> what does that mean? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> no, she was one of them that you'd sort of go, she's nice, but you, she'd never be your girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? She was, Not really. Even though she was in the same year, she seemed a lot older. Right. And like, it wasn't a teacher, was it? There was, there was three of them who all hung together, and they seemed to hang around like the older kids, the ones who looked like men. Do you know what I mean? The yeah. What did you look was, like then? Well, it's just that I, I had youthful sort of looks, sure. whereas like the older ones had like beards and stuff. <laughs> It's a gang of boys in the fifth form with beers. Were they smoking pipes? <laughs> Go, come over here, me Philly. Oh, you, you, oh, Debbie Carr, come over here, you little beauty. No, yeah. She was like, I love that. I, I was hanging around with beers. There's the big boys. Oh, fishing. That's <laughs> lovely beers. What do you I just see a whole row of George Bernard Shaw's. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do in history, boy? <laughs> yeah. They got an E. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh. They were like, um, you know, I'd be there sort of playing, punching people in the arm. Cause he's oh, yeah. oh, that's a great game. Oh, I love that, punch people in the arm. Is that part of the Olympics now? <laughs> it's, 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 I think it was exhibition this year. Right. But it's going to uh, be a pro next year. It's going to be the Winter Olympics because you've got to do it in uh, just a cap sleeve shirt sure. in winter. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're uh, playing that. She, uh... <laughs> But, whilst but I was she didn't doing appreciate that. that. She used to go, ow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always think whilst I was doing that, they were like the Charlie's Angels and they'd be sorting out a mission somewhere. Because they were really like, there was something about them that yeah. you thought, you know, well, yeah, they're first, special. They were private they detectives. What do they work for a man they never see? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. the, 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 here's a name I'm interested in because, uh, well, let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Hmm. Oh. Go on, what? what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids, he was alright, but. He had that thing when, um, if you didn't have enough milk, <laughs> he had like, uh, wrinkly hands and <laughs> white, white, white bits in his nails. Oh! Because yeah. he didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So, therefore, you didn't like him because you didn't get enough milk. This is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was <laughs> I know that they weren't related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary sort of trail. Do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but he, he well, I, before well. you say any more, um, on the, on Friends United, you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's what your you know your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Right. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed. I think it's, uh, there's about six pages here of stuff. He keeps updating it and he, he just basically lists his memories about everyone, okay, yeah. I, I, at the school and uh, what he thinks of everyone. And uh, he says, I often see Simon, da 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 da, he's doing alright for himself, self-employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington. Right. And your name comes up. Now, I don't know if you've told us this story, I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it. It just says, Carl Pilkington, with his pet bird, 
Was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone and it flew away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. They do that, don't they? You show them the what, what was the story you give, there, you give them seed and they just leave. The, what do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's it. I was a big fan of Kez. And, um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so... We didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate, and I managed to, um, to sort of tame it. <laughs> and, um, in the end... With, with a chair and a whip? What do you mean you tamed it? Well, just used to sort of hang around it and talk But how did you get hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me, and I, the annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered, because it, <laughs> it used to pop me bike tyres, it used to, it used to sit on, on, like, if I was talking to my mates and I was on my grifter. <laughs> Things in. It's like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> it, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it. And then oh, it, used no. to, it used to then never go away, so it was always like around the house. And my dad said, never bring it in. So he used to sit on the porch and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head. Oh. And it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed as a stalker. <laughs> oh god! So you took it to school and it flew away. Yeah. So did you take it in proudly, going, "Look at my magpie!" Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh but, no. Well, it, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in because I used to just keep it sort of around our estate, but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get it so, there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy there, and then it got. To, huh? But it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, "Oh, what's that?" And, and did, I don't suppose you called it Maggie. You didn't get uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it. <laughs> investigate. Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. A few more names that you may recall from Friends Reunited. Go on. Lisa Shuffle Botham. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? Yeah, she. Uh, Was she one of Charlie's Angels? She, no, no, she wasn't that nice, but she wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> her and her and her mate Rachel. I remember. I don't know why, but it was some sort of PE lesson where it had to be a bloke and two girls, and they were fighting over me. <laughs> and Could you hear what they were saying? They, were just, they, they were just like, "I want him," and I was loving it. Stuck in the middle, and they were fighting over me. And then the next week, I thought I'll sit near them. What sort of game do they play at this school? Amazing. I don't know. That's an incredible game. But I think punch just, me on the arm. No, punch me on the arm, they, Carl. Just, they just went through it because the following week I thought, right, I'll sit near them again because I quite enjoyed the way they fighted over me. But then they picked somebody else, and I don't know who I was with that week. So d you didn't uh, didn't get any action with Shuffle Both or more, friend? No. And as she got older, she went a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't look that good. She's probably nice now. It's just, I mean, I'll say about myself when when you get to sort of the end of secondary school, you do sort of go a bit odd looking. Right. Do you know what I mean? When your yeah, sort of yeah. head grows funny. <laughs> I, I, I would just love to go back to his school of that era. I mean, just what happened to people? Whether you, you know, all people sprouting limbs. No, do you know and what I things. mean? When when you're like twelve and that, you you quite no, not twelve. When you're ten, when you're seven to ten, you sort of look healthy and you look at your pictures when you go, "Hey, I was a good-looking lad." But then when you get to mm. late secondary school, something happens. Yeah. And you just look a bit odd. Okay, well, what about Alison Thorpe? <laughs> Not sure about her. I, I sort of know the name, can't put a face to it. Damien C uh, Comer? Again, know the name. Yeah. Can't remember anything. No. Yeah. It's a shame. Well, these are pretty much all the names I could find. We've had some interesting thoughts, though, and interesting anecdotes. Yeah. Anyone yeah. in particular that you'd like to uh, to say hello to that uh, maybe maybe listening now that no, you? No, I think I would have mentioned Darren Buckley if you hadn't brought him up. Oh right, he was, he was like my buddy. Yeah. yeah. Did so. you ever see the um, uh, Magpie game when you took it to the school and confused it? No. You're joking. That was the end of it, was it? Yeah. So where did it go? Probably uh, to some other kid. Because I mean, oh. it actually, it probably got killed. Because <laughs> if if it was being that friendly with other people, some people might have took advantage of it. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> well, there was a program on the other week about. What, in the way that Shuffle both of them was trying to take advantage of you? <laughs> well, yeah. There was a program on the other week about bear whisperers. Yeah. And uh, some blokes got really friendly with a bear, and then the, the, when they were leaving that area where the bear was, they said, Oh, we've caused a problem here because there's some bear hunters coming in and moving into this area, mm. and it's going to get a bullet if it, if it acts like this. So they had to scare it away, and that's what I should have done with, with Maggie. I should have terrified it a little bit so <laughs> it wouldn't trust humans.
<laughs> Just introduced it to some of your schoolmates, I'm sure would have <laughs> yeah. freaked it right out. Well, the ones with Maybe the that was head. why it fled. It, it didn't yeah, see, I don't know, it didn't see those two fellas with big heads and webbed hands coming towards it, did it? That would have terrified anything. It's like a scarecrow, like a two walking <laughs> scarecrows. <laughs> Express 2 featuring David Byrne, Lazy, XFM 104.9, quarter to two, I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve's got the sun. Yes, I'm just gonna, We're white just going to be doing Van White Van Carl, where we ask Carl the questions the sun asked some other bloke. That's right. Because okay. we think Carl's got more to say than anyone on anything. Yeah. Carl only tells the truth, by the way. Just remember that, listeners. Off you go. Yes, um, well, today's white van man in the sun is John Slade. He owns his own door maintenance company. <laughs> um, his, uh, his answers are very informative, I have to say. But, Carl, what do you make of uh, the Channel 4 producer, aged 30, who duped a school into believing he was a teenager for a documentary? Are you familiar with this story? No, go on. Well, basically, a 30-year-old guy kind of fooled the school into, um, into thinking he was a pupil for a, a secret documentary. The school's outraged. Do you think that that's, uh, you know, any, for you, you know, should anything go when it comes well, to making TV? I think I've said to you before, um, there's loads of kids at my school, I remember being in the first year, and kids who, what did, what year do schools go up to? <laughs> I was in the first year, what, what is it? Eleven. Five. Oh, sorry, first year of infants and juniors. No, secondary school. Eleven. Right, year eleven. Um, kids no. have beards and no, stuff. No, not year eleven. They're eleven when they first go to secondary no, school. Right. Well, I'm eleven. The kids at the uh, at the older well, end. Well, there's a well, fifth form, and then there's you can leave form when you, you can right. leave when you're sixteen. I think, can't you now? Right. Well, kids who were sixteen yeah. looked old. They had they, they did have beards. I remember going there and thinking some of them were teachers. I think he's answered that. Next one. What's the next yep. one? Tattoos <laughs> and everything. Um, I think uh, they're kids in the in the earlier years even. What do you make of the fact that Mariah Carey's thirty-eight million pound payoff has cost EMI staff? Uh, their jobs, and we're talking 1,800 EMI staff who have lost their jobs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean... I mean, is that silly money, Mariah Carey, on 38 million? She doesn't need that much. She doesn't need that much. <laughs> she but has to dress nice, though. It's not her fault. I'd say, um, <laughs> it's bad business. Okay. Because, uh, EMI, did you say? Yes. Right. They've got rid of them, them staff. Yeah. Mariah Carey's left. Who's gonna do the work? <laughs> you, think, you think Mariah should come back and do some temping? Well, they should have. They should have got a loan and paid her. Okay. You know what I mean, vicious circle that. <laughs> right. Have you have you done? You have done a business degree, or anything, have you? Commerce. You're, you're commerce. Yeah. What, what, where did you do that? What did you do that? In school. I'd, I'd learn how to fill out a check, <laughs> pay a bill, and uh, I think I, I had a trip round Kellogg's. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you get, uh, did you get an O level or did you get a uh, We know he didn't. You know. <laughs> but was, was there a commerce exam or was it just a division of maths? What did you do? Fill out a check? A subset of it maths. It was an option. It was like, if you want to do it, you can. <laughs> what was it? Fill, fill out, out a check. check pay, pay, a pay a bill. Pay a bill. Have a visit around Kellogg's. I around Kellogg's and I saw my sister's boyfriend there at the time. He sorted me out with some variety packs. Really? What was in them? You know, Rice Krispies and... <laughs> Good stuff. Cocoa Pops? Space dust or whatever it is. Space dust! <laughs> so, sorry, that wasn't Ken Dodd, though. No. <laughs> that was someone else, wasn't it? That was an aunt. <laughs> that was, yeah. yeah. That wasn't Special K. Um, what do you make of fears that dumped Britney Spears, she's been dumped by her boyfriend, there's worries that she may be cracking up, Carl? <sighs> what, you concerned? What, what are the signs? <clears throat> Uh, well, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just reading from this section, but I would assume that she's obviously showed signs of depression, maybe. She'll be all right. I remember, like, you know, <laughs> Z Zoe Harris, when she sort of got bored of me when I was a kid. Yeah. Get over it. I don't even think about her now. <laughs> 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 what, uh, and how long did it take you, how long did it take you to get over Zoe? Zoe Harris! How long did it take <laughs> you? To be honest, right, it was like one of my first girlfriends, and she was a pain. I remember, I went out with her because <laughs> she wouldn't stop hassling me, right? Yeah. I remember <laughs> I that. I that. That. Oh, go on then. I never talked to her, and then the bit that really got me, I thought I'd half liked her, and then I remember, right, we're at a school party, sort of infant school. <laughs> <laughs> infant school? Right. Are you sure it wasn't junior school? Well, it's on the cusp, yeah. right, when you're about to leave infants and go yeah. to the next one. Yeah. And, um, she was crying. You were saying, I don't think we should move in together. <laughs> 
was crying. She was crying. How old was she? Had you she stolen her milk? She must have been nearly six. Why did she grow up? No, so she, was, she was crying because somebody had stood on a dress and put a bit of an hole in it. And I said, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh, so God. you, <laughs> I just think of him. So you gave her a slap. And I just think of him, he's like six, like with clogs and a flat, flat cap, going slightly bald, going for yeah. Christ's sake, woman, come on, oh. light my pipe. Oh. Well, I finished it because all the mates were saying, "Come on, Carl, she's upset." And I was like, "Oh, whatever." So <laughs> again. Oh God, no! Wait a minute. What do you mean? All the mates were saying, "Look, come on, Carl." They were six, weren't they? Yeah, but they were saying, "Come on, she's crying." Help her out. And, like, and you did nothing? I don't know. She got injured. <laughs> got a hole in a skirt. Yeah, but she was upset and you were her boyfriend. Oh, well. So what did you do? Tell me the story. Where oh, were you? Work out. You were at some kind of school do. <laughs> there was a hole That's in her dress. That's why it didn't work out, he said. <laughs> I don't, do you treat your current girlfriend in the same way? This callous disregard for someone's uh, secret? His current oh. girlfriend does not tread on her dress. Does yeah. she? Huh. Oh, she didn't. So, as far as you're concerned, what was her name? Sarah. Zoe. Zoe Harris. She just felt like, well, you know, she's going to make a whinge about, you know, a silly little hole. Screw her. Yeah. You're all, you're all heart, Carl. What would you have done? I'd have gone over there and given her a lovely kiss. No, you wouldn't. It's the word. We were playing dead arm. <laughs> <laughs> if you had hair, what would it be like? What do you mean? Well, you obviously had hair there back then. What was the uh, style? Um, it was like a. Uh, Sort of, I had I had quite sort of uh, <laughs> fine, uh, sort of straight hair. Yeah. Right. Um, hairdresser once said to me, "You've got hair of a Chinaman." <laughs> <laughs> he was a wise man, wasn't he? What do you think that meant then? Oh. He just said he, he just said you've got the same hair as as a Chinese man has. Very straight, quite fine. Um, <laughs> why, is, why is he telling you? I just imagine this bar going, oh, The arsenal did well, didn't it, sir? <laughs> do, 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 do. Shall I go something like that? You've got a, you have the hair of a Chinaman. <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> you're not the spy. No, I'm not. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> oh, was, you're not my like Yeah, lovely. You what? have the feet of a fish. I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> it's not you. Okay, next. You have the hair of a Chinaman. It was, what, it was one of those barbers, um, it was a cheap one, just on a, on a railway bridge. I don't believe that. Go on. On a railway bridge? <laughs> That's why it was cheap. It was very low rent, so he could charge. That wasn't the barber. Bit. That was a man with some scissors. <laughs> yeah. Did you get all after move you there, sir? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back in the chair, sir. No, I imagine them on one of those things you always see in old films where you've got you a to pump down and down again, like a seesaw. Yeah. That's it wasn't as good as that. It was just a normal chair, little wooden hut, and <laughs> he did have to stop when a train came past because it used to. Well, because he had to change the signal. <laughs> Just making a few extra bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love That's that. That's Manchester for you. Oh, God. I, I always oh, it wasn't him. Bernard Cribbins, was it? <laughs> I always remember him saying, do you want your hair washing? And I said, uh, is it free? You know, does it come with it? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, go on then. He said, hang on now, I'll just have to wash these mugs up. He had like a sink full of mugs. Oh, God. So I'll God. just take these out and then I can wash your head. <laughs> oh, no. And that's why. <laughs> why did you go to this man? It was cheap. It was How like, much was it? About two quid. And when was this? Uh, God, at eighty, eighty eight, eighty nine. All right. Yeah. So what happened to your uh, your Chinese hair? Uh, when did it start coming out? You have, you have the hair of a bald Chinaman now, yeah. don't you? <laughs> You've got the hair of a Chinaman in a box now. <laughs> 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 oh. I used to just um, work, a, work a lot of hours, and I think <laughs> that's what made it fall out. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's no, it's not. It's genetic. You can't stop it. It's not it, genetic. Of course, it is. Is your dad Uh, no, he's um, he's got more hair than me now. I think. Is your mum? Uh, Kojak's got more hair than you, Carl. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't have a go at Carl's hair. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, look at his little well, face. What, what did he say before in that book about going bald? It said. Uh, it had a little tip, didn't it? We'll, we'll go over them later. Uh, it says, uh, if you're going thin, doesn't it say, um, cut your hair short and something like so that? So it makes you look thicker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been into getting presents and that. I had the problem at that Christmas one, that time with the Victoria Plum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'd right. hate that. We'd, we'd hate to bring that back. We've done that. Because <laughs> you talked about the book, because it's kind of to do with your dad, isn't it? He's he's a very bad gift buyer, was that the problem? Well, yeah, my dad's, I mean, my dad just wouldn't bother. It, it was my mum who sort of made an effort and 
she sort of worked out half of what I wanted, then she left it to me dad to get it off someone, see if he could get one cheap or whatever. Uh, what I, lo I love the fact that usually people talk about, like, drinking heavily yeah. or, um, uh, violent abuse, right? Yeah. But here's what he's been left with and scarred with for, for parents is bad gift buying. Yeah. And that's the Victoria so bad, Plum incident. In the greatest scheme of things in the world, yeah, that's not a bad thing to have, is it? <laughs> Right, there was this, there was this, this is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Mm. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. My mate, Colin, right? He Colin had, uh, No, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? yeah. He had a, uh, little, uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Which was like the, the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw he's go round to his house. The it's deal was- Not the one you had to play through the window, cause you weren't allowed No, to no, play. that's another lad. Oh, right? yeah. This is, this is a different lad. And the deal was, he came to our house, and my mum gave him a pie. And then I'd go round to his and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> sure. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year, came round to Christmas Day, I thought I reckon I uh, might have one. Turned out they bought me the wrong one, they bought me a ZX81 <laughs> instead of a Spectrum, right? And Christmas Day, I'm there trying to load the games up, it's not working, I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? And the thing with me, when I was a kid, I used to get quite, sort of, agitated This, is the, this is the moment. Right? I found out that he needed a RAM pack to make it work, right? Looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? And my dad's going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit, that's, that's it. So, I was that wound up. I just was sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god, went to the sink, just, just sick. Cause I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've got to get one. And my dad's like, Tandy's shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas day. That was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ramp pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents? He's scared. <laughs> He just, just I'm gonna die. Honestly, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> it's just been sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. <laughs> Why was, did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a ramp pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, okay. them what do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, um, wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? Oh. Through sheer anxiety? I, I do get it. It's, uh, it's not so much now, because I've, I've relaxed a bit, but as a kid I used to be quite on edge all the time with certain things. Do you think that's what happened to your the cat? The wind that kept being sick. That it didn't get the food it wanted. And it just threw up. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. God, so they shaved it. <laughs> yeah, but again, you see, the cat thing... I mean, it's mad, I was thinking about it the other day, right? I, I used to think I had quite a normal upbringing. He didn't. Right, and someone was talking your about the cat. Your mother once told you not to go to school because it was windy, Carl. It yeah, was not right. a normal upbringing. The cat was being sick, so she shaved it, so it was easier to clean. <laughs> right, well, my mum and dad went on holiday, right, and I right. stayed at the Rosses down the road. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Only a kid, must have been about five or something, right? And, uh, I was always running around in the house. I had a lot of energy as a kid. What the Rosses did, they had this cat that was dead violent, the most violent sort of angry cat I have ever witnessed. <laughs> a tiger. It was, it, honestly Steve, if it was bigger it would have been, because it was just always having a go at you. Yeah. If you went to pat it on the head, it went to bite you and stuff. And what they used to do with it, to stop me running around, I'd sort of be running around, and then I'd get a bit tired, and they'd say, have a lie down on the settee. So I'd, I'd lie down on the settee and I'd nod off. And what they used to do, I'd wake up and they'd have put the cat on my belly. <laughs> Right? So I'd be scared to move because it's like it's gonna get me. <laughs> but it would keep you there. It, it kept me there and it used to sort of slaver on me and they'd sort of, you know, go out or whatever and I'd be lying there. That's not normal, is it? Carl, sorry, were you created by the Brothers Grimm <laughs> for one of their fairy tales? What kind of a life is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking through some of the news stories that Carl did make it into Carl's news roundup. Yeah. Um, Bum. This, this one you might, might be interested in. Headline, woman says partner ran off to become vampire. 
Yeah. And it says a young mother says her partner has dumped her to become a vampire. Rebecca Roberts from Somerset uh, says Matthew Barrett yeah. fell for a blood worshipping woman in a US cult. The 23 year old mother says she, he began shaving all his body hair, dressed in black, and used Rebecca's lipstick to redden his eyes. Rebecca caught him performing weird blood rituals in front of his computer at night, cutting himself to prove commitment. She said, I thought it was just a hobby. <laughs> Everyone's got a right to one. I was pleased he'd found an interest. Brilliant. This is apparently from The Sun. Uh, apparently he's left. He's gone to America. He's living in this o Ohio-based cult. But it's the last bit where she's been asked whether or not if he came back, would she take him back? Sure. And this is where I wonder if the journalist, you know how journalists are supposed to just report the news, be objective. Yeah. I wonder if maybe the journalist here has maybe had some <laughs> interference. Made the quote better for Possibly, them than go on. Because it says, um, I never thought this would take over his life. Now, if he came back, I'd say fangs, <laughs> but no fangs. <laughs> <laughs> but oh dear! I can't believe. Imagine you're the woman, Rick. Okay. And I've come round. You're the journalist. You. I'm the journalist, and I've okay. come in and I've said, I can't read about this. All I have to do is not say that yeah, thing. You've okay. come. You've come. I don't see you're obviously quite upset. Your yeah, has gone off. Gutted. Um, if he came back, would you take him back? Definitely not. Right. Really, what would you say to him if he came just back? Just get lost. Right, but I I'm never. really pissed off with you. Would you perhaps say something a bit more pithy? Pith not in this situation. <laughs> no, he's, you're he's, upset. He cuts himself. He drinks blood. He's left me. Sure, no, sure, sod sure. off. I'm not interested, mate. Because I tell you what. Go on. I mean. I like what you said there, but I wonder yeah. if we could condense that a bit more. If he came uh, back, would you say- Go away. Would you say something- would you ever say something like, thanks, but no thanks? No, cause that sounds- it makes it flippant, cause I'm really angry. I know you're annoyed. And I'm upset, so I wouldn't sure. say- I certainly what, wouldn't say thanks. I'd say- I might say no thanks. But what if- you, what if you sort of <laughs> said it like aggressively, like you were giving him the finger, thanks, but no thanks, like you didn't really what, mean sort it. sort of sarcastically? Sarcastically. Would you possibly I say I it? might say thanks, but no thanks, and right. that'd be it, and that's- right. uh, and, and I'd leave it there, I'd yeah. never- and I'd never change that. Sure. I'd never change those words. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Do you like Puns. N hate them. Right. I don't like it's Countdown, I don't like QI, I don't like any of those past Cambridge, Oxford types. I, ha I hate, I hate ha puns. If you had to say thanks but no thanks in the form of a pun, what would you maybe say? I wouldn't. I never would. Right. I'd say thanks but no thanks. I would, uh, you know, I, I mean, I feel embarrassed that I'd even say that because I don't think I would even say thanks but no thanks. <laughs> okay. But if I did go that far, I'd leave it there. Sure. Sure. So. Have you ever noticed, as I have, go on, the similarity between the word thanks and fangs. Not really. It's, it's only very similar. Not fangs, really. Fangs, F -T -H, fangs. H, there's a K. Fangs very much. G. It's A and S. Well, the A, the N, and the S, but that's about Would it. Would you agree it sounds marginally similar? Uh, yeah. Sort Is of. it possible you might one day say fangs, but no fangs? I wouldn't know. Right. I could put that though, could I? But don't say it, I said it. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Fangs, but no fangs. Yeah. Carl is still buzzing about these conjoined twins. Oh, it's just- One of them of course had to be- cause one of them was sort of shorter than the other and had to be sort of wheeled around on a kind of trolley thing oh, by, is this, by the other- by This the other isn't twin. Molly and Dolly, is it? No, they're not called- one's called Reba. Oh. I forget what the other one's called, Sheena maybe or something like that. Do you uh, remember Carl? No, I, d I wasn't that impressed with the names. It's just- <laughs> Yeah. So you immediately put them out of your mind. <laughs> 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 Those are rubbish names. I'm just- uh, forget, 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 cough, forget, 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 they're gone. Were they British or American? American. Yeah, American. Oh, cause I've, oh, I've seen some American ones. Well, on bizarrely, Brilliant. one of them was a- apparently a country music star. This is Molly and Dolly! Well, they're not called the Molly and Dolly. The one that joined Dolly. at the Oi. The one that joined but they're not- I think you've made up the Molly and no, Dolly. No, it was on Jerry Springer. There's a little one that s sits on a seat and the other one carries it round- uh, her round. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> They're not called Molly and Dolly. <laughs> there was something like that. They're called- well, we know that one of them's called Reba and I forget the uh, other one. one. was a country and western singer or something. Yeah, and one of- but she was saying, yeah, I've just, uh, made a movie. It's coming out shortly <laughs> in theatres. <laughs> Is your sister the in it? Yeah, and the other one said, oh, I'm not involved. <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, it's utterly bizarre because they they live there. They work so hard to live their lives separate. Yeah, they say uh, it's you all. Know, yeah, exactly. of course. So, yeah, you know they don't. They try not to. So, so she's talking about her music career, and the other one's sort of not taking any kind of credit for it, which is nice. It's I weird though because when she was singing as well, the other one just stands there. She doesn't join in. She doesn't sort of dance. Offer backing or, vocals. Do you know what I mean? Make a group out of it. <laughs> yeah, a duo. Yeah, well. But it seems like we're sort of being horrible, but we're no, not. We're not. I mean, well, no, really no, we're thing, laughing at Carl's amazement at, mm. at this phenomenon. Sorry, I, I just got to say we're not. We're not. Do you, you know, know the, taking you know the, the Mickey. The really weird thing about all this, what? right? And it's annoying because you were saying about mm. you know oh, what should have Trisha have asked and all that. Yeah. But one of them mentioned um, that one of them was adopted, and the other one wasn't. Don't talk rubbish. 
<laughs> no, seriously. I didn't understand it, right? Of and course then, you didn't. And then Trisha sort of said, well, let's have a chat, and, and they were like, no, I don't want to go into that. What do you mean one was adopted That's what you said, one of them- <laughs> I don't- don't quiz me on it, but that, <laughs> that's what was- that's what was said. Hello there, I'm a- <laughs> Hello there, I'm a multi-millionaire. Oh, and yeah. I've uh, just seen your orphanage. Oh, I'd yes, love lovely, to adopt one of your children. You'd like to adopt one? L I'd love to adopt a children, because I've got loads from around the world, so I'd love yeah. to adopt one. I'd, I'd give you ten thousand dollars oh, towards oh, your- Oh, well, uh, well, well, well we'll speed it through then, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Okay. We've actually got two left, I so need one. I'm only interested right. in one. Yeah, I don't okay. need any more. Don't need any They're more. Sisters, they, uh, they're sisters. They. I know it would be tragedy to break them up, but I really only need one. Now break it up. There's the there's the rub. You see. Sure. Because sure. Um, you just need the one. There's ten thousand dollars now. You can have that. I'll sign it now. But okay. I don't want to discuss I'll it further. I'll bring it around. I'll bring brilliant. it around. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Ding dong. Hi. Yeah. Brilliant. You brought my kid, right? Yeah. There she is. There. That's, That's a joy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just standing next to a bush. Yeah. Do you want to? Can you bring her out? No. Me? It's like, there's, like, like, there's nothing behind the bush. So just you just want. Do I just want. I want to be able. I just want to be able to walk three hundred and sixty degrees round her. Do you want her or not? Yes, I I can't believe it. What's that little trolley? She's talented. <laughs> oh dear. You're oh. talking nonsense, Carl. Reading the paper, there, yeah, Steve. Yeah, well, I don't normally read the paper, but yeah. um, I was having a glance through the Daily Express. Does anyone read the Express? Well, yeah. you do at the moment, look. <laughs> well, true. Live on air. Yeah. Read but it out, and then uh, about 400 people have known what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading, I was obviously attracted, uh, by this little news item, Gun Go Raid by Three Saddams. Uh, three armed men- Oh, they're wearing... up to their old tricks again, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Three armed men wearing Saddam Hussein masks were on the run last night after robbing a corner shop. The raiders threatened the worker with a handgun and knife, ordering him to open the till, blah, 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 get the money out. And it says that they also tried to rob an earlier shop earlier in the day. Police said, we are linking the raids because the descriptions of the offenders are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> what was the- what did the first one not quite get yeah, right? Yeah, Well, they looked very similar. <laughs> I think it was Gaddafi. Three Gaddafis. Right, cause that's weird, cause we've had three uh, Saddam Hussein's down a oh, shop so down that, the road. Oh, so that's what I meant. Is it the same guys? Cause I don't well, wanna... Well, I assume so, I wouldn't have thought- I don't wanna- I don't wanna, you know, no, 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 get no, the Gaddafi guys same. on the Saddam Hussein uh, no, shop. No, I, no, I, I'm, I'm almost sure <laughs> it, it'd be the same way. I didn't know, I, one's got a moustache, haven't they? And one like, they've, well, they've all- they've got a moustache, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's- there were three blokes with masks. Middle Eastern appear. I don't know, but I mean, I imagine it's the same. I am um, because I've, I've only ever seen really um, robberies being planned in films. Sure. So I don't know how it works. I assume that. So you say? <laughs> yeah. But I assume at some point someone's got to get together. One of them, the ringleaders, got to get together and go. Okay, well, we need to wear masks, obviously, to disguise our faces. Yeah. I'm thinking of going with the regular stockings. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll tell you, it'll be funny. <laughs> well, I don't want to be funny. Well, yeah, no, I don't know. We want to strike fear into the hearts of yeah, people Yeah, but I mean, kill two birds with one stone, we get the robbery and we have a laugh with it. Fear? Do you, do you say you want to strike fear? Well, wear a mask of someone who's really scary. Who's the scariest bloke in the world? Well, I, I don't know, Saddam Hussein? I've got three of them. <laughs> well, what, why? I've got, th I've got three of them. Let's all wear Saddam Hussein. It'd be a laugh. <laughs> it's not, I don't want it to be a laugh. I'd no, but it won't, don't hurt if we're having a laugh and that's what I want, I want to make money and have a laugh. <laughs> why? And that's not, well, I'm yeah. only in the money, I'm only in it for the well, money. Yeah, I'm not mean, important to well, me. Well, no, it's, we, we, we don't want to strike fear. We could also make a political point. I don't want to make a political no, point. No, you just I'm, want the money. I'm a thug, I'm not, I'm not We could have a laugh and we could make a political point. Why not, what political point? We're not, with you know, maybe we're sort of stealing from the rich and giving- We're not like Robin Hood. Never mind Robin Hood, let's rob Barclays. That's what, the... Why are you making jokes? Well, I mean, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> do my stuff. <laughs> you wanna, so, you're a comedian, you don't- I'm not well, sure Well, let's just wear the gang. masks. Let's wear the masks. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> did they go and buy them? It's separately, look, look, spread yeah. out. Look, you go to the joke shop in Covent Garden, yeah. I'll go to the one in Southampton Row. Yeah. Brilliant. See, I- cause it's so often the case that they're using masks, it used to be Reagan, Thatcher, they were always a- If I was the guy selling those, like, when three guys came in, three shifty looking blokes, to yeah. buy three identical masks- Yeah, in stockings. <laughs> in stockings. Just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so they don't know who we are. Sorry, yeah. can I just check, you're not gonna rob- Definitely not. with these masks. But just think of the police looking at those robbers. Uh, every time they go past one of those awful sort of gift shops, they think <laughs> that- Oh no, it's just a, yeah. It's just in the window there with, uh, <laughs> yeah. With Michael Jackson <laughs> and uh, Shirley Bassey. Yeah, George Bush. Oh, Paolo, can I ask you something? Yeah. I know you love knobs and that, and you hate tits. Yeah. What about Shirley Bassey's tits? Oh, well, I mean, I'm a fan of them because I'm a fan of Shirley, but I don't like you know, them. Cool, you're not sexy. Yeah, you're, you're pretty bent. You are pretty bent. <laughs> pretty Come good. in. Thanks for having Britain's on in seven hours. Excellent. Yeah, what are you doing yeah. out at this time? No, no, no. I just came out to uh, get some uh, no. milk. <laughs> yeah, get some, uh, some knob action. Cock in the toilet. <laughs> That's a nice song about dead people. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, um, just wondering Rick, what your opinions are, what your thoughts are on, on Britney Spears. Uh, liked a couple. Bit bored. 
She, mm. I think she's panicking a little bit. I think she's a little bit desperate with all this Madonna stuff. Yeah, all the kind of lesbian yeah, things and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, you know, um, yeah, she's all right. I've got nothing against the girl. Well, I read, I think it was in Hot Tickets magazine. Sure. Uh, it's free with Evening Standard. Yeah. Um, oh, I might get some free Evening Standards now. I've plugged that. Yeah. Um, I, uh, she's reading in there that, I don't know if it's still gonna happen, but apparently she was gonna do a little cheeky appearance at G-A-Y. G-A-Y? The, in, uh, in London. And, uh, obviously I was quite excited because I'm a Spears fan. You know, sorry, do you know that's what that's about, don't you? G-A-Y? Yeah. Gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it is a gay club. Oh, sure, this go is on. What I, This is what I was ascertaining from the article. Oh, because they've, yeah, so they've, yeah, said, yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. said, they've called it what sort of what it is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, um, and it was apparently she was gonna, she was gonna be, uh, previewing some of her new album live on stage at GAY. Now that's an intimate venue. Normally you'd have to see someone like Spears, probably at Wembley Arena, something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm a Spears fan, you know, get a couple of the gang together. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Some of the lads. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruise down there. Yeah. Uh, but then I read on in the article that apparently the doorman at GAY were only gonna let in, uh, um, regulars. And the way they were going to ascertain if you were a regular was by asking a series of questions at the door. What, testing if you're testing really- No, I don't know if the questions would be about the interior of GAY. Or the interior of <laughs> someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just, just general kind of, uh, like, you what, know. What, do you reckon you'd have passed the, uh, pretend- Well, that's what so I was wondering. So, you'd, wondering so you'd have had to pretend to be- GAY. GAY to get yeah. in to see Spears. Now Can that- you say gay on that, the radio? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, uh, but now, I, that's, that's irony, isn't it? So you're pretending to be gay to get into a club to mm. see a bird, if yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, I, well, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little quick test. <laughs> right. Shall I? Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, uh, well, sorry, what's your name, mate? Um, Paolo. All right, Paolo. Yeah. Um, you, right, it, you haven't done a lot with your hair, you just sort of let it, sort of let it grow out. I mean, yeah. would you be putting product on a bit later? Because, I mean, you don't look very, I mean, sort of like, you don't, you look sort of quite... Quite masculine, quite. Yeah, well, sort of like, like you didn't care, like you have no care no, about no, no, how no. you look, like you're a. I no, mean, well, like, normally it would be shaved. Of course. Oh, okay. Yes. We would say normally that looks about like three months growth there. Why haven't you? I've been ill. <laughs> Nothing yeah. serious. Nothing serious. Okay. No, that's why I let it grow. So it's <laughs> grown. Okay. Yeah. So what? What time would you normally be going out then? Paolo? Normally I'd go out about sort of. Uh, I'd go out about eight-ish. I Eight o'clock in the evening no, you go? No, 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 no. Because no, that I'd sounds go... a bit early, that's what- No, no I'd go out about three in the morning normally. Right, so I was like, yeah, okay, we'll right, so that's right, that's right, yeah. Where'd you go? Down sort of- Down Old Compton Street Old for Compton a coffee Street. and then yeah. on to <laughs> yeah. GAY like with that. your little shaved head. head. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing Sounding fine. Pretty Sounded pretty good. Can I just ask you one final question? 20 I'm, bender points? Oh, uh, 20 bender points. Well, I'm just gonna let you in. Okay. I'm just gonna let, let, tell the guards to let you in. But, I'll just one more question. Yeah. Do you prefer knobs or tits, <laughs> oh. Paolo? Uh, well, uh, knobs. Knobs, you love knobs, do you? Oh, Can't get enough knobs. So, you, what, you hate tits, I assume? Loathe them. Loathe you them. hate tits, do you? Yes. Okay. What, even Liza Minnelli's? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, yeah, I love hers. But not in a not in a straight way. Straight way. In a so okay, okay. So you, you love you love knobs more than tits, right? Okay, okay. In you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, you know Britney's on, do you? Oh, she is so sexy. Oh, but see, that's what would give me away. Like, the great escape. It's just just the last. Yeah. You just well, you, you're. I, I mean, I think you're probably a bit bi. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. but I mean, go in anyway. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, the drinks are quite expensive. Oh, of course, Pop your shirt off, will you? <laughs> Long distance on XFM 104.9. Mm -hmm. On the way in, mm -hmm. right, you know those little cars? They look like a little bubble car. They're modern ones. They look like half a car. The is, ones that, that, is that like a smart car? Is that yeah. What called? They, is look that like, uh, they just look like a uh, like, like a toy car, and you can mm. park them sideways. There's only is there only room for two people? Yeah. 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 yeah it's just like the half of the, the front of a Volkswagen just cut in half, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, I saw one going on Oxford Street, and it's a police car, <laughs> a real police car, right? Really? Yeah. And. I mean, I thought, well, what happens if they have to chase someone? They couldn't, but I don't think that's the point. Because it was written on the side, it said something like, cleaner, something uh, more efficient. So I think they're making the point that we're cruising round in this car like we're on the beat and yeah. it's using less energy and stuff. Yeah. But the first thing I thought of, 
right, was that those two policemen, they must have been going, oh, Dos Sarge, don't let us have that one. Can't we have the Granada? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, so embarrassing. I know, so embarrassing. About, you know, police, they're, you know, they're doing, you know, yeah. but you've got to respect them. Yeah, you've of course, yeah. Street toughs have got uh, to respect them. Exactly. I just don't know if you have the, to Well, the only thing more embarrassing- What if you're really tall and you have to climb out of one and you're a yeah. copper? Are, th are there any policemen out there who have been- asked to drive one of these cars, if you're listening. Do you think police listen to this? The only thing that would be more embarrassing is if you had to patrol on one of those bikes the goodies used to ride. <laughs> 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 uh, that's the only thing I think that would be <laughs> more pathetic. a pogo stick. Yeah. It's yeah. so embarrassing. Or on roller skates. Yeah. But not like roller blades. Roller yeah. skates, those really old roller skates. Have you seen that you those- tie, That you tie on your socks. Yeah, have you seen those little bikes that look like clown bikes that the couriers use now? They're about a foot high. They're little. I saw one the other day on it. I, my head turned. Yeah, but they're really ju bizarre. Just think yeah, they're that the ones that they they fold up. Yeah, but think of policemen chasing <laughs> yeah. you on that. Well, I always remember that even in America when I started seeing policemen riding bikes. It didn't seem to me. It seemed. Oh, they're quite cool. They're the ones that go through mm. Central Park on the yeah, mountain bikes. Yeah, but they're, that's it. really cool, isn't it? They, you know, they, they. It looks like they should be delivering newspapers. They whiz along at about though. thirty miles an hour, and they can just <laughs> <laughs> deliver <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Because like on motorbikes, on a Harley <laughs> Davidson or whatever, I'm not messing with a cop. A chips. I mean, chips. Now that's cool, yeah. coppers. Yeah, yeah. But people in a smart car or a, uh, you know, know. It's, that's, it is a bit embarrassing. But I suppose it is that, or it's better than. Walking, you see. Next, we'll see them in there. So if you really want to be uh, kind of worried about the environment, though, you know those uh, little taxis you see that people pedal. <laughs> they pedal around Soho. In <laughs> yeah, and when it's a, like a, a, a riot squad, there's four in the back. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. But that's the thing, right? If if they need to arrest someone, yeah. Here we go. Go on. No, well, what do they do? Because they do only sit two. So do they have to flag a cab down or something for the <laughs> for the criminal? Point. We'll give what you the you money. Do? Get a receipt. <laughs> take you definitely will go there. Yeah. yeah. You definitely will because we've been caught this way before. <laughs> exactly. The no, last bloke, he just ran off. <laughs> no, I won't run off. Okay. okay. Well, I'll tell you what, um, uh, uh, Mr. Policeman, I'll take your car. Then I'll. Th okay, go on then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely yeah. bring it back though. I will. I will. <laughs> well, you, there, uh, isn't there something in America where when they arrest someone in America, they don't take them back to the station and fill out all the forms? They just take them back to the station and then they go and fill the forms out in a. Like a cafe or something, so they're still looking out. Yeah, yeah. Carl told me that. They're what? So yeah. they're still on patrol, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they said they're doing all their paperwork, but they're in the, f you know, a, a cafe window and they're looking out. Do you know like how they say in this country so much police time's wasted by having to go back to the office and filling out loads of forms? That sounds like some policeman going, "Yeah, I could get a lot more work done." <laughs> yeah, if, if I was, I was in, the in the pub. Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a lot of criminals in the pub, and uh, <laughs> if <laughs> I would, yeah. you know, yeah. and I get to keep the receipts. Yeah. I mean, what's safest is if I didn't wear my uniform and yeah. probably got drunk. Yeah. 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 With, yeah. with some mates. Or a lot a lot happens in, you know, looking out my bedroom window. So if I was just like <laughs> snoozing, home, yeah, I was exactly. snoozing and when I heard a noise, I just pop, oh, look out, <laughs> oi, yeah. come here, come here. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of crime, uh, in Marbella over the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> pay me so to if there's a policeman listening who has to drive one of those cars, were you annoyed when you saw it? It is the most embarrassing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But uh, let's not forget why um, why we give gifts. Y well, yeah, just to cheer people up, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's because the wise men gave oh, okay. gifts to the baby Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, that's why. What would you have got the baby Jesus? I'd have probably got him tokens. And let him decide, because he's very, you know what I mean, you don't want to get anything, you know, and then he doesn't like it, he wants to take it back. Well, I'll tell you, in a recent poll, Waterstones did, the favourite gift for children was flannimals. Still available? That's so outrageous. <laughs> That's so disgraceful. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. What would you have got him then? Probably what extras on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make any money from flannimals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the, uh, I like the fact that, uh, one of the wise men turned up with gold. And the other two, frankincense and myrrh, which as I understand it is what, some, it's like incense or something? Incense or perfume? I don't know. I think, I believe that's what it is. But I just love the idea that one of them, they've all got together, they've gone, okay now guys, we're not gonna spend more than 50 quid each this year, alright? Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely not. Definitely not. So what have you all got? Before we go in and see him, what have you all got? Uh, I, uh, I, I spent a bit more than 50. What are you talking about, man? We just say we weren't spending, we, <coughs> no, we, we were just gonna have a whip got him. cheap, like just, a token. No, I got him, got him some gold. Can't believe it, what? Well, I'm trying to make an impression he's the son of God. But I did no, but is, I, we only got Frank what? I got frankincense. And what did the other fellow get? He got myrrh. What's and I don't even know what that is, and I'm a wise man. <laughs> He'd have been surely one of them must have been furious. Is myrrh still popular? Gold's still very popular. Oh, I hope so, because that's what my grand's getting this year. Really? Yeah, lovely. Right, that's the, that's why we that's why we give gifts. Do you know like how he got them gifts? 
Right. Yeah. Little baby Jesus. Yeah. Were they for Christmas or his birthday? <laughs> But I, I assume that these forms of protest have never made any dent in anything in the world. Because no. I, I remember um, when the uh, when there was all these protests against the war, um, a couple of months back, and uh, there was one guy saw, and there was a huge march in London, as you know, and they did these all around the world, didn't they? But there was hundreds, mil thousands of people in London. There was one guy, he was riding around on a three-wheeled bike, <laughs> wearing a jester's hat, blowing a horn. <laughs> that was his form of protest against the was war. Was it like, what sort of horn was it? It was one of those sort of hunting horns. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, he was showing him. He was saying, "This is what I believe." Yeah, and if that doesn't change people's opinions, I don't know what will. But I like the idea of Bush. Yeah, just about to invade Iraq, and just the news comes through from his chief of staff, and, and, and Bush yeah, goes, George. George, what um, is it? What is it? What? No, listen, no, seriously, we've got some information coming in from London. Go on. Um, I know you're thinking of be ready to invade Iraq. Definitely. But, yeah. Why? Well, 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 just think about it because there's a guy on. riding around on a three-wheeled bike. Oh, he's not got the regular two. He's gone for three wheels. So okay, well listen. Uh, what's what's he wearing? I don't want to tell you what he's wearing. He's just what's he wearing on his head? Just he's tell just me. wearing. He's not. I don't, he's wearing a jester's hat. Uh, <laughs> so okay, okay. No, well, well, calm down, calm down. It's not that bad. It's not going to uh, not going to change my opinion about. He's blowing a horn. Okay, get the troops out. <laughs> get the troops out now. <laughs> but anyway, there's a man, a Serbian man, who um, has invented a sex machine for women. Mm. And he's appealing to Western women to test his device. Mm. Um, he's from a town in, as I say, in uh, Serbia. I guess Serbia? I guess that's right. Is that right? Well, I don't know. What does it say? Well, it says a Serbian man, but is it called Serbia? Yeah. Yeah. What was all the Croatia-Serbia thing? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> it does to them. <laughs> Otherwise, they fought for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do we know about world events? I mean, <laughs> how long did that go on for? <laughs> Months, I don't know. Wasn't it? If, if they're inventing new countries, they can't expect me to keep up with <laughs> current <laughs> trends, <laughs> can we? Anyway, this Serbian man has uh, has invented a sex machine for women, and he can't find any Serbian women to try it out, so he's looking now for Western women. Um, he's taken out a patent on the ultimate sex machine. Uh, it runs on a 390-volt electric engine, simulates sex, and has a 7.5-inch artificial penis. Uh, he said... My my sex machine has an artificial penis that can make up to 180 moves in a minute. <laughs> now, I don't even know what that means. 180 moves? What? I mean, there's only really- well, in and out, I in imagine. And out. It's largely yeah. the function. It, unless what, I've been doing it what wrong. Is, what he's All done- these <laughs> What he's done is he's- he's put a dildo on a Black & Decker. <laughs> A man can only manage the intensity of movement, uh, for about five seconds normally, but this machine can do it for as long as the woman wants. Um, but anyway, so he's looking for a woman who will test this out. But what I love, as soon as I read this, I was thinking, it's just imagining there going, oh, thanks for coming in, yeah, okay. So there's, uh, what's gonna happen is there's a penis that's gonna pop out from here, and it's gonna, it's gonna have sex with you. I'm gonna stand behind the machine. <laughs> I got to stand behind here. There's a lot of dials and stuff. I don't want to bore you in. Well, why do you have to stand behind it? Just I can't. It's technical stuff. I got to be behind the machine. But there's no there's no penis on the robot at the moment. It's just no, a hole. No, don't worry. <laughs> what happen is I'll switch the machine on. I'll go behind, and then a penis will appear. Will it be like a metal looking penis? It will be a robotic penis, but it will seem like it's a regular fleshy human penis. So you're gonna you, so all right. So you're gonna go behind this robot. Go behind the machine. Disappear. Yep. And then uh, a fleshy looking penis is that gonna will appear up through the hole when I switch the machine on. Okay, yeah. and that'll be that'll be the real yeah. robot penis. But that you won't see me for the duration of your section. So you you've 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 made this sort of like robot penis look really realistic. It's really realistic. You will not be able to tell the difference between say the robot one and mine, for instance. You okay, well you I don't want to see yours. No, 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 no there's absolutely not because I'm not I've not come around here to have sex with a person. I know you've um, come around to test the machine. Yeah, I'm that is exactly what you're gonna get. Okay, piece of mechanical <laughs> But what I know is the idea that on the front, maybe they've, they, he's painted a picture of a robot's face. Yeah. And then when, when the machine begins, you know, rather like in a, one of those horror houses, like a kind of mansion in a spooky film, the eyes of the painting, they'll move. And, and the real, real, eyes. real eyes will appear, <laughs> just staring out. <laughs> But I, I don't think I can have sex with this machine unless you're actually in the room, so just in case anything goes wrong. No. Don't worry, I'll be behind the machine, it'll be fine. It'll yeah. be safe, not a problem. <laughs> Something to do in the evening. Something to do, innit? When the teddy's broke. But, but for years, like, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? Machines from, like, Roman times, that sort no. of to that setup. No machines in Roman times. Like that, though. The old sort of, uh, knob on a stick machine thing. <laughs> <laughs> The it's old that. Roman novelistic. I'm uh, sorry, but I watch Aqueduct. Time Team every week, and Tony uh, Robinson has never done uh, that. Uh, an old knob on a knob on a stick machine. I just think of Julius Caesar sitting down and go, "Okay, Aqueduct, we love that. Yeah. Thanks for that. Straight roads, good idea. We can see the enemy coming. Yeah. What have we got there? 
Well, I'm glad you've asked. Plumpticus. <laughs> what have you got there? You've asked. W- w- wanklicus. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what I've got here <laughs> is a yieldy knob. Um, and I've, I've put that on the end of a stick. <laughs> oh, a stick as phallus. Okay, well done, <laughs> yeah. Wanklicus. No, no. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You, um, are my new right-hand man, as they say. No, no, no excellent. But they do, they do do stuff like that. You've been in, uh, the London Museum and that, and they've got sort of sex stuff from years ago. They've got, like, these metal pants that they used to wear. <laughs> I don't know what that is! Metal pants! <laughs> yeah, sort of Is metal. that a chastity belt, you mean? They used to make women wear them so that they could... Yeah, no, but they had, they, had, they had them for blokes as well, though. Metal pants for blokes. Yeah, Why? So he had little lot. So if the if they, he was away, he couldn't he couldn't play away from home. And if he was away, she popped on a little. No, I, I just think they sort of like sexy metal pants. <laughs> what, oh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what are you sexy metal about? pants. Well, they'll have to look because they haven't got it in front of me. It's just something I remember seeing some sort of sexy metal pants that I used to wear. <laughs> but what are you saying, sexy metal pants? Because that was not the British be... Museum. That was Soho. No, what, what I mean <laughs> that was Old Compton Street. You were looking at the shop had window. They always to be ready for like battle and that, but these were a little bit sexy. But protective at the same time. <laughs> I love that. Right, I I'll, love I'll that. Have to look I love it. the I'll idea have that to... that's all you remember from so the Lance, British Museum. So Lancelot, are you ready to face the Black Knight? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> what do you think of these? Huh? What do you think of these? <laughs> well, I don't really care. Just you know. <laughs> no, I just they... want to look good on the battlefield. Well, they're you know? both protective. Will and... there be women watching, cheering us on? Well, you're not going to fight like that, are you? What about your? your ch- I'm going to wear your... nothing except these sexy metal pants. But you, what about your chest is exposed? No, can... well, it's a good chest. I'll be working out. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is, you want to, you want, you want I've metal. Been, all I've over. actually been lifting up the round table <laughs> every week. I just work out, do that about four times a day. But that <laughs> machine, right? Why did it have to be a woman, or could they have got a little gay fella in? There's <laughs> quite a lot going on in the freak world. <laughs> um, <laughs> There always is. <laughs> you've, what, you've been visiting hospitals the last week, have you, when we were away? No, there was a, there was a thing on the, on a website. This isn't even the one that I've picked, so. So this is just a bonus. This is a bonus freak. Please, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Uh, this is a free freak. It's a fella called a lobster man. <laughs> the lobster man, of course. <laughs> Again, good name, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you gonna get? He's some, got... some succulent <laughs> meat I like the idea with... that... I like the idea that the vicar on the christening suggested that. <laughs> I know you want to call him Mark. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yeah. Look at his What's his name? <laughs> uh, Mark Michael uh, Webster. Right. Um... Right. Uh, have, yeah, have, have <laughs> you thought about a nickname? Not really, no. Have you... No, have you his hands? Yeah, it, we, we don't want to talk about that because... Do it's, you know they look a little bit like quite... lobsters? Well, yeah, but it's quite deformed. It's a, like, you know, we can't... Can I can't... suggest lobster man? <laughs> That's terrible, Vicar. <laughs> that is terrible, Vicar. We're- Pidgey. <laughs> Go on, then. Come on, then. I'll just be careful. <laughs> Let's you have your eye out with that. This is poison. This is poison. These are really, really mental poison drugs. You know those people with the- you ever see them in the street, uh, they're selling fags, duty free, obviously. They're just selling them on the street. You just, have you ever seen these guys? Yeah, like, yeah. I walk them in their Finchley Road lock because yeah. I'm just near my place. And, uh, all these people, they're just, and they're sort of looking a bit shifty. And then they just, they think that you're maybe a smoker. They just, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, fags. And they'll open their jacket. And it literally will be like something from, you know, the 1940s. They won't they'll go have, to you, though, do they? Yeah, smoking. It's stun- 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 They know you must have never had a fag in your life. Um, but, you know, I might be buying them as a gift or something because I'm quite a generous guy. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> but it struck me. I was chatting with my friend about you know. There seems to be there are certain people who are very low. maybe they 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 have trouble getting work or maybe they um you know they're they're immigrants who've not landed on their feet and they've they, they've had trouble you know. And so there's a couple of jobs they can do. It seems to be there's the fag selling. There's those people I know it's on Oxford Street who bend a piece of wire into the shape of your name. I mean, what kind of a gift is that, really? You know what I mean? I know. It's like, oh, it's like they're literally giving them out. Or you can de- well, you can have the, the bending the name, you can be selling those things that you throw what? at the wall and they, uh, they sliver down. At Dover? Yeah. What, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, uh, you I'm doing? a, I'm a, uh, trained carpenter. Right. You can you write really small on a piece of rice? I could try. Could you write those names on a piece of rice? I could try. It's quite tricky, but do what you think about, you could What do? about the rest of your family? <laughs> well, that one's only two, but he could be trained. He's got smaller fingers. Okay. Do you want to, um, to sell some knocked off perfume? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we'd like to apologise for any <laughs> inferred racism. When I was at, um, university, my best mate was a bloke called uh, Wally, and he was doing, um, 
psychology and I was doing philosophy and um, we both got into this thing uh, theory called determinism which is about the uh, uh, state of the mind and it's a, a materialistic view that um, everything is part of the causal web and everything has a, uh, um, a reaction for something that happened before it and uh, um, uh, by the way Carl do not confuse this with fatalism <laughs> determinism is not predictive it's just that if a brain state happens again then uh, anyway the famous Everyone one is uh, yeah the famous one is um, if you know, a butterfly hadn't shaken its wings, Queen Victoria wouldn't have sneezed, everything's yeah. indiscriminately linked, right? We were thinking that, right? And we are thinking, what if, um, you changed one word in, like, classic songs, or one note in Beethoven Symphony? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It just, how it just wouldn't work. Well, I've always thought that, uh, um, Come on, baby, light my fire. Yeah. Not as good. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Enigmatic, interesting. Not so good. More pedestrian if it was, Come on, baby, light a fire. <laughs> yeah! Just, <laughs> yeah! Just one, just one thing wrong. Yeah. That'd be great. Just sitting there. Paul McCartney comes to John and he goes, All right, John, <laughs> written a song. He goes, Well, she was just 17. Well, you know what I mean? And the way she looked was way beyond compare. I wouldn't dance with another. <laughs> Then. Then I s go on. I'll stop you there. What's the matter? Something not quite right with that. Another no. song. It's great. Yeah. Just once more. For well, us. listen. Don't be too harsh. I mean, because we write our own songs. No, sure, sure, we sure, can sure. still put both our John, names to it. I think you're a great it. talent. I think you're a great well, talent. Well, I'm listen, just listen, listen, you hippie, right? <laughs> Well, um, not yet. Well, not yet, but sure. I mean, there's a Japanese bird outside looking Don't in. Don't fancy, I'm not interested. No, no, well, listen, well. Well, I'll never right? change my view. <laughs> right, now, listen, right? I wouldn't dance with another. Is that bit? Is it that bit you don't like? Is it the... I just like the... Could you try and just, is there a different well, okay. pitch you could go? I wouldn't dance with another. Is that again? You don't it like the... Is I'm it just the noise? I'm not sure the girls are going to go crazy no. for it when we do that. Just, bit. Think, just, just think of. J Is there anything else you've got? I us? love the idea of <laughs> just changing one yeah, yeah. lyric. Just have pictures of they won't have N sync on the wall. It'd be uh, like sumo wrestlers. Mm. Or, oh, um, oh, oh, you know sumo wrestlers. I saw this thing about sumo wrestlers. Um, because the, the, they they're athletes they go into the, this thing because it's a big honour to be a, a sumo it's absolutely really? true right yeah absolutely true yeah. so you'd go along and you'd be nine stone and you they they have doctors there so you have to eat to get big right right and this doctor was interviewed so his doctor was going you know it, it is against you'd think it's against the hippocratic oath um but um whereas they do it anyway i do it healthily so he sells them he gives them diets of like uh, you know, ten pounds of rice, wow. nine pounds of fish, and things like that, and they get that. But now, because it's such an honour, it's almost a spiritual thing to be a great sumo and all that. Um, they have apprentices willing to. Now, you know, like when you're an apprentice, say, um, uh, runner or something, you have to make the coffee, and you know, when you're working an apprentice in the studio, you just have to clean the floor and stuff. Do you know what apprentice sumo's job is? An apprentice sumo. Go on. They wipe mm. the sumo wrestler's ass because they can't reach. They literally can't reach. Rubbish. Uh, right. Uh, can, what, we'll give Who's out the phone taking now. that up as a profession? I know. I imagine that. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be a sumo wrestler. It's a great honour, and I'd love to work under you. Uh, sure. So, uh, sure. So, uh, what will I do? Start press ups first. There'll be uh, some press ups. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. Will be what, some get into the gym now. And uh, no, uh, I, don't before you rush go off. Go on. Go on. You I'm starving. No, I can understand that. Go do on. You d would you mind wiping my arms? Because right. I've just you can't reach. No. Got no. I can't get the arms back there. Can't okay. get them down there. So, uh, and I'll tell but, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of this oriental food, it doesn't sit well with me. So it goes straight through me, to be honest. So it's quite messy. It's quite messy down there. It's right. quite runny. Okay. okay. So okay. be careful. Okay. Um, you no, wear some gloves. Honor. If you want to wear gloves, wear I gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an honour. This apprenticeship is two years, isn't it? You're, no, you're not going to take my feces and salad, are you? As souvenirs or no, something? No, no, no. I'll I mean, be mainly getting fat myself. Sure. Wiping your ass. Yeah. Great honour. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Well, Great no. honour. If someone could call in and verify that. Look, Carl, look at Carl looking at us like we just said the worst thing ever. So, what have you been doing this week, Steve? Well, um, I'll tell you what, at the beginning of the week I was, um, incredibly annoyed by Carl. Why? Um, no, uh, well, no, because you, I remember you had a little discussion with Carl a while back saying that, um, you thought he was lazy at times. Yeah. And, you know, you had various criticisms of yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah, his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got a call from him, he said, uh, oh yeah, I should have told you, um, I had a phone call, someone said that they were trying to get hold of Steve Merchant to offer him some lucrative voiceover work. Now you know- That is money like, for old It's money rope. for rope. That's it's about, you're in there for about twenty minutes and it's thousands of pounds. If there are children listening who are still at school, they should definitely, when the careers guy says, what do you want to do? Try and get voiceover, voice over work. Work. just become a voiceover artist. It's money for old rope. Yeah. So I can't believe my luck because yeah. you know I love money for old rope. Yeah. And um, I said, well, what was the information? He said, oh, oh, I don't know. I deleted the message. 
It was on his answer phone. He deleted the message. I said, right, when did the message come? He said, last week. So he took a week to tell me Why? that he had deleted the message. Why? Just because it wasn't for you? I mean, I don't know how selfish that is, Carl. Is that, no, what happened is, right, I got back off holiday. Mm. I was at home. Yeah. So I called up my voicemail, yeah. right, because I can do that. Yeah. Remote access, right, because I've got to know what's going on at work. Of course. Called in, it was still my day off, I was going through the messages. Yes. Heard one from some company saying, we're after Steve Merchant. Yeah. We want him to do some voiceover work. Yeah. Right? Mm. I can't remember the name of it, but Thanks. I thought, right, I'll, I'll remember to tell Steve. A week I later. It doesn't matter, does it? You still got the message, and they-, they what, what, what message? Yeah, but voiceovers have to be done in the next couple of days. But I didn't days. get the message. I got- all I got was, there was a company, I don't remember the name, and they phoned you, they wanted voiceover work. Well, how does that help me? There are hundreds of thousands of media companies. I, I you didn't take down a number, you didn't take down a name, nothing. I, I was more puzzled why they'd want you to voice anything. <laughs> What? I no, but listen to that oh, voice. No, you must be annoyed. You must be you annoyed. Wanna, I mean, talk about rubbing salt into the wound. No, but listen to you. Oh, oh God. I don't know what you- I don't know how you think. I don't know what, how your mind works. Well, I was thinking there must be a tractor sale on somewhere. <laughs> I don't What think do I care? No, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The I worm has turned. I don't care if they want me to advertise, you know, <laughs> the latest designs in pirate fashion wear. I will do a voiceover because it's money for the rope. I don't care what you think of my voice. Someone was interested. They were offering me money. And you decided arbitrarily, oh, they probably wouldn't want it. They probably made a mistake. I, they wouldn't like the way he talks anyway. I'll delete the message. No, the thing is, right, I what get paid- What if girl? I get paid to sit here on a Saturday, yeah. right? Play CDs and that, help out with the show, get you decent prizes. I think I, I, I do me bit. Sure. Right? It isn't about running your voiceover work. So hang on, so Carl, let me just get this right. If someone was ever to phone me, right, trying to get in touch with you, to offer you work, you'd want me to just ignore the message. That is what you're saying to me. You'd prefer that I deleted the message, I ignored it altogether. That's what you'd want for me to do, that's what you'd want me to do. What, someone's calling you for some Someone's phoned me. me, they say, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a friend of a friend, I've got your number, Steve, uh, I'd love to use Carl Pilkington for a, 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 a well, exciting sex scene. Well, you never called me, so has it happened? Has well, it happened? well, I'm <laughs> saying in the future, if it was to occur, <laughs> if it was to occur, do you want me to just ignore it? Is that what you prefer me to do? Uh, well, it's not like that, though. I, I did tell you, I told you the message. You didn't tell- what? You told me a week later with none of oh. the information I needed. Carl, um, that doctor called last week, that kidney's ready for that, um, little girl that you were doing that sponsored walk for. I forgot to tell you. Oh. I hope it's still all right. They keep it on ice, don't they? I think they do. Uh, uh, oh, selfish, uh, Carl. So selfish. And you've lost us Beautiful bit of, uh, Snoop on XFM, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kicking it with, uh, yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. 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 Uh, Steve Merchant and, uh, Carl Pilkington. Uh, what has happened to Carl? Cause Carl, I thought, is, you know, is this sort of sweet little buffoon, almost childlike mm. in his, his ways. You know what I mean? Like Charlie Brown after some sort of head injury. And, <laughs> and now he's, and now he's coming back like that, having a go at- not- not caring about voiceover work. It's like- cause he have written about him a couple of weeks, it's like he thinks he's better than you in no, some well, way. I do care though, you're out of order saying that, right? Carl, Cause I've sorted you out with tickets for stuff. He Carl, doesn't turn up to. Carl, I received a phone call, you deleted the message offering me voiceover work, you're as bad as my agent. <laughs> I don't- I'm appalled by it. <laughs> and I thought we were friends. <laughs> ah, at least his agent, when he does it, is losing himself money as well. Yeah, he, you, he, you, he, you, exactly. You've got no comeback. You're still sweet, and to have a go is you. You've got a mank wine. Right. For voice. Like a cartoon Gallagher brother on Coronation Street. I mean, and Steve's- I mean, yes, Steve does sound like a, a Wurzel, but that right. doesn't- Do you know what I mean? No, no. A, what about Jethro? Jethro does well. Jethro gets on Des O'Connor any time he wants. Just has to phone Des up. And he's on there. Straight on And there. he's whining like a Wurzel as well. So, you know, to say that that right, is what, a rubbish- what, All right, apart from that then, what else have I done that's wound you up? Well, that's- that's- that's a- that's a good starting point, because you haven't even apologised. No, it's a shock, because that's the first time I've let you down. And I didn't really let you down, because I passed on the message. You didn't- well, we've been through it. You didn't okay. pass on the message. Saying, I deleted a message for you, is not passing on the message. Yeah. I mean, I just think what's happened is that you've got a little bit of celebrity now from the show. I, I mean, I've seen you being yeah. recognised in pubs and stuff, or people have come up and they said, are you Carl? Because they've seen Ricky. Now, it just seems to me that you are not keeping yourself grounded. You are just- no. you cannot deal with fame, you've not got the intelligence to cope no. with the celebrity, oh. and you're just becoming no, this kind getting. of ego-driven no, monster. Getting. No, it's getting. No, it's getting.
No, it's getting- It scares me, Carl. You're bit, not the man I remember. Look, I, I put a lot of work into this yeah. on Saturday. This isn't even my proper job, right? Mm-hmm. Where were you in the week? Oh, we got you there. What? Where were you in the week? I said, I said, let's meet up, let's, you know, come up with some new features and that. Where were you? Carl, you phoned me yeah. about an hour before you wanted to meet. That is not what I would call. I mean, that, that is arrogance the right there. That's the way I work. That's arrogance right there. That's ego right there. He couldn't, he couldn't go, but it, I, I, when I came in, he said, where's Steve? I said, Steve can't make it. I had to tell him why. Steve was staying in to tidy up because his landlady was coming. This, this he couldn't get over. He could not get over that you couldn't make it because you had to stay in with your landlady. Is is he talked about it for about the hour when we were working? What are you talking? I, I last week I had a bad throat. You yeah, wouldn't what, tolerate what did you that. Do you last week when, that? You had a ba- when you had a bad throat, where, where were you? <laughs> Why couldn't we do any work then? Because you're at home with your mum and your dad. <laughs> you, you were on holiday, weren't you? <laughs> Why didn't you get your mum and your dad to clean the flat? Oh, he's done it again! He's hey. done you again, mate! Play a record! How has he done me? What? <laughs> they live in Bristol! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the joke's on you! He couldn't get him to clean the flat! Ah! <laughs> I don't know who's laughing at who, then. Alright, listen. <laughs> Can right. we just go back to laughing at Carl? Okay! Because I know right. where we stand there. <laughs> okay, alright! Okay. Do you want to, uh, That's the natural order of things. <laughs> I know, yeah. The world's gone topsy-turvy. <laughs> he's, he's stepped out of the pecking yeah. order. Right, well, someone who I don't let down, right, are the listeners of this show. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, uh, read out the prizes for uh, Rockbusters? We'll, okay. we'll get that one in. Oh, we're are we not doing Rockbusters again, are we? Yeah. Well, it was a shambles last week. We, we cancelled it two weeks ago. What? Oh, uh, it just, I mean, there, there you are right there, Rick. I mean, b- both you and I, and let's be honest, we're the guys with, the, with our names on the poster. I know, it's yeah. It's supposed to be your show. And, and yet, our faces. Exactly, and yet- <laughs> We have to have, we have to be on tube stations with people laughing at yeah. us. Yeah, well, they're not laughing at me, really. They're, they're well, saying, I don't know. Out, just... What do you think people think of the poster, Carl? Seriously? Uh... No, I don't want to know his opinion. It's just gonna be insulting. <laughs> My it point is this, Rick. was looking at you. My point is this, Rick. We used to be able to decide what the content of this show was. I now know. it's him. It's just him. He wants to do Rockbusters, he gets to do it. I know. And it's it's awful, Robert. Like, like, uh, Tourette's Trent Derby. Not only is that offensive, it doesn't work as a clue. Saying that, have you come up with anything for this week? What's the prizes? I'll read out the prizes. We've got. Who's the winner? The winner. Very lucky, Sandra Cassidy of Leon C. She gets all those great prizes. You know, we've actually had people emailing in saying, this is the worst Rockbusters ever, because it was too easy, it was boring. Oh. Well, uh, 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 this is just, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, dear. Other people saying, um, it well, really has run its course. Some people genuinely agree oh, with Ricky. Oh, Carl, this must hurt, mate. Stinging attacks on you. Um, some people just slagging you off generally, saying that oh, you, win, you whinge all the time. It looks like Steve like was right when he, um, sort of like, poo-poos your ideas. So. When he, uh. When he wheeze on your so bonfire. Other, someone else, I swear to God, someone else emailed in and said, don't bother sending me the prizes, take them to a charity shop, or pawn them, give me the money, I'd rather have it. So I don't know what to say, Carl, I just wonder if it really has run its course now. Alright, well, well we'll see what you come up with next week, well, then. <laughs> let's, see, uh, let's see what you do, let's see what you come in with. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. five to one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you'll be popping in with another, another hip-hop track. Yeah. Full of, uh, yeah. Full of effing and jeffing. Well, no, no, I won't, I won't bring it into you, I'll do it myself at home. Cause obviously that makes <laughs> oh, it easier. Oh, dear. Obviously you can't cope. Oh, dear. Are you actually gonna be here next week, or are you still gonna be in Cornwall? No, you see there again, I'll be back, I'll be back in time. Oh. And in the, in the week, when I go to, you know, Cornwall, to see the monkey world. Yeah, you're two days past the monkey world. That still work. Yeah. <laughs> that still work? What? What, what you're gonna monkey? interview some of the monkeys? What? I love some stories. that. I love that. You, you were going, could a monkey live without bones? And so I'm going, Carl, shut the f- please, just look at the monkeys and eat your ice cream. And that's work, is it? What? Oh, okay. Okay. So I'll just go back to insults briefly. Go on, you know, Goofy. Saying... <laughs> oh, no, no, I, uh, see that's... Goofy, that's no, not no, no, fair. No, 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 because that's, that's what he said, it's in the head. I, what I... do you mean he said no, that? When did he no, say that? No, no, I mean... When did you call me Goofy? No, he didn't. I he said about what's in the head. Hey, no, when it's... Come on. Come off it. Don't what? Who's calling me Goofy? No. I'm not even Goofy. Goggle eyes, no. fair enough. No, yeah, but you I can mean, sort your account, I can't. What do you mean I can sort... can I sort my lookout? I'm not even Goofy, that's not fair. You've got the proper features. What? Just needs sorting out a bit. I can't help it if if my hair's not good. Who do you think's cooler to look at, Steve or the Chemical Brothers? Steve. Definitely, yes. You're absolutely right, Carl. And that's the first sensible thing you've said if, for a long time. If I was time. to work with Steve on on some music, yeah. If I had the choice, I think Steve would look better on a album cover. Really? Yeah. What would you do? Would you change him at all? To, what would you do with his I'd, image? I'd put him in the distance. So. I'd <laughs> just... <laughs> I can't believe this is. This no, is just so you don't look as tall. That's doing you a favour. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I was on the, this is true, I was on the, uh, uh. on the tube, right, coming in to meet Gervais the other day, and I was wearing a suit, and I, my mobile phone slipped out of my pocket, and it landed on the seat, and I didn't realise this, and as I was about to get off, some bloke who was sat there, like an old guy, he picked up the phone, he went, Oi! Uh, lanky, you dropped your mobile phone. <laughs> and I was like, well, I thank you for pointing out I dropped my phone, but did you have to do the lanky? But you knew who he meant. I bet you turned round straight away. <laughs> it worked. You knew he meant, yeah, Steve. But He's done you again. But He's I was the only up. person stood up. It was a fairly empty train. Was, it, was there any other lanky people there? No. Well then. And I was on my mobile phone, and I was chatting away to someone, and, uh, what can only be described as a prostitute, Go on. Stood on the street corner. Was she a woman that gives you sex for money? Yes. That is a prostitute. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Go on. And as I was walking by, she said, Do you want to buy sex? <laughs> what a place? Now, you sure my... it wasn't a market trader giving six plums away? No, it was something? definitely. Sex for a quid? No, it was definitely a prostitute. Yeah. And what annoyed me about it, what I wanted to pick her up on something, was the fact that I was on my mobile phone. <laughs> It's like, can you imagine, who, who would I, I, what, am I gonna hang up? Sorry mum, can I call you back? I've you know, you offer. know you say you want me to meet more women. And you know you sent me that 30 quid <laughs> exactly. for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry Mr Johnson, I'm really excited about the job, can I call you back? I'm just gonna negotiate with a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was like it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally she, the normal etiquette of prostitution. You know that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> I've seen this in they films. Will yeah, yeah, they exactly. Will yeah, 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 yeah. Take you out for a meal. Yeah, that sort of thing. That had sort of gone it. out of the window, and yeah, she was just sure. there, desperate, running around. Did she the go out the window? Like because that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London, I was <laughs> weird, isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I. I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to <laughs> sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. And I'm not being mean. No, you know, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Time Sorry, to... I, I'll let you go back to it. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that no, Steve- Steve, Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. <laughs> I don't think- well- <laughs> No, he does. Do you know, do you know yeah, before... no, no, but it's not whether what he thinks of his looks, no, no. it's what he thinks of you talking about his looks on- No, but it's- Go it's on. like how you were talking before about, you know, your eyes are bad. It's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here, right? <laughs> don't get that! I don't know what you mean! What well, when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks, let's make his eyes bad, right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, see, they're balancing I... it out, right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic. Sorry, sorry, right, Johnny Depp. Now oh, listen, <laughs> but- <laughs> My my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go into this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> I I am gonna. <laughs> do you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? I you look know. like you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, right? <laughs> just a little balloon, like a party balloon. Right. If you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, that's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> right. I so, want. No, play a record. No, I don't listen, want to get into this. Listen, it's too now, intense. Now, now you've you've got onto this. Let's just nip it in the bud now. I'll tell you something that I wasn't going to tell you because I think it was I don't want to hear it. I don't want to well, hear it. Right, it was on the tube. Right. Well, I was. Someone told me they were on the tube. Mm. Right. And um, it uh, the, the tube pulled into a station. <laughs> right? And one of the women <laughs> saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with <laughs> you and Rick on it. Right. Yeah. So this this woman apparently goes, uh, "Oh, look, there's uh, it's Ricky. Ricky's on the radio." Right, and uh, the other woman goes, "Oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it?" So she goes, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was on the radio," and she goes, "Oh, look, look at sound this bad." When... <laughs> she said, "Oh, look at that, look at that person he's with." So she goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." She said, "That's Steve." <laughs> she said, "I'm kind of, I was, I sort of aware that he looked odd because Carl mentions it on the radio." Yeah. So, so it wasn't as much of a blow to me, but I can see how it was a bit of a shock to you. Yeah. So, uh, that's 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 weird, isn't it? Yeah. And that isn't me, sort of telling this woman to say anything. That was all happened without anybody else sort of bringing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, was it? Sorry, you seem to be relishing this. Was it because of the little balloon story that made you? I, I honestly, see, I want to told you, but if you're going to start, you know, having a pop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. not, I can't just sit here and <laughs> take sure. it and that. No, no. I mean, all yeah. mates. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh yeah. Well, 
I mean, I was Sad, mistaken for Johnny yeah. Vegas. Steve's got a story about that, if you wanna have a go at me. Well, you know, someone just thought you were a fat with a beard, which is true. Well, don't have a go at me because he said you looked- Well, you looked... started it. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, just, I didn't. You were milking it. You were I egging was, him I on. I was laughing. You were egging him on. <laughs> no, I sort of was. Yeah. But let's not, you know. Ooh, it's a good job you've got lots of good mates like Jonathan Ross you can go and hang out with. <laughs> don't need other friends. People who've helped you in your career. This is what the phone message he left me Wednesday on my mobile. But I just uh, is chatting about certain things that are going on at the moment. Uh, what he does need to know. Um, old Duncan, who mentions, is my agent. And, you know, you you understand a few other things. But this is the sort of message I get from Carl. Right? Windsor. Old messages. Alright. Ten past twelve. Wednesday. Um, just getting loads of f***ing people calling me all the time about sh Yesterday, DVDs signing for BBC London. I don't work there, but I've been dragged into that. I've got a woman on, uh, leaving a message from Talk TR going on about, do you, do you want to go and see Pop Idol again? Right? They're just saying, uh, you and some listeners can go. So I'm sure you'll love that. I've got Jim Benner wanting you to introduce the tin buckets at the Astoria. So can, can you just like let Duncan know? That I'm, I'm doing his job whilst he's sat on his ass with his thumb firmly up his ass. Can you let him know that I'm running around like a c here sorting shit out for you? All right, see you later. <laughs> message left so, do you know what I mean? I know, but that's the kind of phone message he's leaving. But that, but, do you remember but, who he was before but, you? But he's even with? annoyed that he gets a phone call. I remember he got a phone call for you to do a voiceover and didn't yeah. pass it on. You missed a voiceover. That yeah. was thousands of pounds. No, I did. I did it, pass it on though. I told you. You I did. Said you said someone had phoned. Yeah. That's not good enough. But who's that? Well, she, she didn't say, and I didn't ask, but- Of course she said! She didn't say. Rubbish. So you didn't take the number down? Just when she went, oh, can you tell Steve to call me? And you went, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just thought you'd know her already. I should've oh. known, it was a woman, so I should've known. He's having a go, you see? Unbelievable. I don't know how he's come back on me, you're the one who was picking on it. Yeah, exactly, I'm saying. I'm defending, why is he having a go but at you? he because... never picks on Ricky, because he knows you are his bread and butter. <laughs> Seriously, do you know what I mean? The only reason he's got Mondays off is because you're still doing this show. Yeah. That's yeah. why he's scared of you. That's why he's like, he has a go at you on the phone, but he always picks on me because he knows, you know, I'm a pushover, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> he's scared of you. I can't believe, I don't know how it works. Is that true? Steve, I'm always sorting you out. I look after you. Mm. Sort you out with tickets. I'm not saying you don't, but I, I, I've got you today. Why well, are you picking well, on well, me? Well, well, what do you mean you're sorting out tickets in lager? What's this? Right, whenever you want tickets. Yeah, yeah it's alright. I don't want to use this as like moaning time and that because yeah. I don't like to moan. I'm busy and that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've sorted you out tickets for gigs. Yeah. Right? What well, somebody doesn't even turn up to. Yeah. yeah. We won't even go on about that. Yeah. Right? Lager. He was talking about the cure. He complained it was boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was that big drum of lager that yeah. you had and you said, oh, put that in your room for me. Yeah. Because I don't want to carry it home. Right? I'm lazy. So I said, all right, then I'll put it in my room. It goes missing, it gets nicked. <laughs> then you have a go at me because it got nicked. Yeah. I get you another one. You make me carry it around town for you for half an hour, then you say, oh, I can't be bothered taking it home, can you take it back to work for me? Yeah. Yeah. But, interestingly, this is like a year ago, so it's, it's, obviously, it's still, still pressing on you, Oh, hang it? on, and I forgot the one when we had an argument over 50p. <laughs> yeah, when we went out for a coffee. you didn't want to 50p back that you owed me. Oh, uh, that was the d same day you'd given him about 40 quid's worth of lager. But, see, this is my problem, this was my point at the time. It's not the 50, 50p in terms of money is not what's important. The fact that you think you don't have to give me money back because it's only 50p, that was the point at the state. Mm -hmm. I, it's me who makes a decision, oh, don't worry about the 50p, not you, it's only 50p, I'm not gonna give it to you. Do you know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. gotta be rules, otherwise it's chaos, Carl. Come on, mate. Alright? Don't wanna fall out about no, it. No, it's not <laughs> right. Should we kiss and make up? Do you want that? Do you want oh, that? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, should we yeah. play a little record and come back to this because. I can't believe it started with you slagging him off, Rick, and I've ended up as the monster. I know. Bit of R.E.M. Yeah. Well, we, we, we're not gonna do, uh, Freak of the Week here. Okay. Right? Because we've, we've done quite a bit of that in the last 20 minutes. Right? You've so OD'd we'll on that. Freaks, you think? Yeah. Sure. We'll just shift it a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't, like I keep saying, don't want people to be thinking we're sort of taking the mick out of anyone. <laughs> no. Right? Because. We're not about that. I feel that, like I can do a little bit of it because I work with with you, Steve. Yeah, right? <laughs> sure. It, it gives yeah. me that right. It's like a care worker. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like that thing of you can't be homophobic because I've got a couple of gay mates and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. I think it sort of gives me that edge. Yeah. Right. So, so you're not freakophobic. 
because you work with Steve. No, that's right, yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, they, think... they, by, by, by that token, I should be able to sort of slag off, you know, the mentally ill. Okay. Or at least mentally handicapped. What, what starts on you? Um, mine changes. I'm on the edge. Oh, right. God. Okay. He even makes that complicated. Of course. He I even am. makes twaddle complicated. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, it changes depending what paper you read. Yeah. Alright, in theory. 23rd of September. So I think yeah. most of the time I'm a Virgo, I think. Oh. Well, well I'll tell you. Write, write that down, uh, listeners, uh, 23rd of September, uh, and come round and give him the bumps. <laughs> Um, um, what, what I mean? Well, according to this, I mean, it, I, I mean, you've been criticising this, Rick. Sure. You've been saying that there's maybe not, not anything in the zone. Yeah, yeah well, hang on, let me just read the, the uh, uh, Is this gonna change my mind? Well, Am I gonna eat my words? The typical Vergoan. Mm, words. Okay. The what? physical appearance of the typical Vergoan. Yeah. High forehead. That's not true. Cranium may seem too big in comparison with the face. Look at Carl, look at Carl. But how specific is Has that? Has an extremely large forehead. Has a high hairline. That's mm. not true though, is it? Maybe quite tall. What are the blokes like? Often has one foot turned in more than the other. What do they- they've just described Rain Man! What is that? How can I be specific? Well that's why it sounds like Carl! <laughs> <laughs> one, one foot turned in! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well have they even bothered doing one for you? Because there isn't many people who- Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Go on. What are you I, saying? I, I sort of think I'm fairly average looking, but I'm saying, have they wasted a page in that book for whatever you are? <laughs> <laughs> it started off me being dissing him and stuff, and you've been nice. Hang on a minute. I don't think you can be a Virgoan because it says uh, that they are normally quick, alert, and intelligent. <laughs> No, actually, I have to say, it says here, uh, behaviour and personality traits of the Vergoan, uh, uh, is an, it, as a child, is an excellent mimic, uh, can learn many things in a short time, yeah. not really true of you, is it? What, what, Re rarely like, questions what? authority, but frequently questions facts. You yeah. never question facts. Yeah, you never question authority, he's <laughs> scared of authority. Yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you were usually trying, very, very upset if teased. That's true. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Hang on a minute though. Yeah. Can't yeah. take a bit of stick, too it much depends. pressure. If you yeah. can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh. What to teach a young Vergoan? Myths, fairy stories, make believe, <laughs> daydreams, and how to use imagination should all be taught to young Vergoans. So they have plenty of magical moments to remember in their adult years oh. when they are often alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my mind. I know. This is good stuff. So, this is really good stuff. All right. Well, let's see. What What are you? Uh, well, um, I don't, don't think we should talk about that. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. It says the Vergoan is- I love some of the specifics of this. Vergoan oh. is an employer. He's excellent as the boss of a small company. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get him on a Tuesday. He's yeah, probably he stamp can't. collecting then. Yeah. Come on, he so loves a bit um, of paddock. Okay, let me look at mine. Um, oh, that is good though, Carl, isn't it? That is you all over. I've changed your mind. It's brilliant. It's a real science. They've really put their work in with this one. Let me see, Sagittarius, oh. Sarah Jones, uh, Sagittarian is a happy, playful little clown. Little. Greets everyone. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see, Sagittarius at home. Um, He's only gonna read the good bits though, ain't he? Yeah, exactly. If that said, what, what can it say? Mm. Uh, have, have, they, have they done yours in sort of small print, because you've got special eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that insult is, Carl. What kind of an insult is that? Well. He's happy with that. Look at his face. <laughs> He's done me. Oh, oh dear. And come back to me. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Still arguing. This time about having help from me and my dad. What do you think, Carl? No, I'm not. We're, I don't want this to turn into some sort of wacky type thing where we're pretending we're arguing. Yeah. Well, we're not pretending. We're not we pretending. Are, you are. Yeah, again. I know. I know what people will think we're messing about. Oh, right? that wouldn't have thought so. We just need to. We can talk about it later. Sort it out. Hmm. Yeah. It's just that Carl's a little bit stressed. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not stressed, but. And he doesn't really understand that you know. You know, me and Steve have got lots of different jobs in the week. He's just got one job. Yeah. But and we sort of rely on people getting messages to us. You know, as soon as they get them. You know, and not sort of deleting them from their phone selfishly. Yeah. Just things like that, you know, people being on the ball. Not just thinking about themselves all the time, not just thinking about number one. What do you think, Carl? Whatever. Do you mm. know what I mean? Whatever. Don't get all maudlin again. Just have a little discussion. Yeah, this is annoying. Guess what? Think of this, you little 
slaphead twat. Um, apparently, <laughs> that's so in his arse, that's so in his arse. Right, apparently, women can get bald treatment on the National Health Service, but men can't. What do you think of that? Do you think that's fair? Is that a fact? It's a fact. We what? should point out that Carl is, uh, would you say bolding? Yeah. Would that be fair? Well, either that or a wide parting. <laughs> <laughs> See? Strokes. Someday. Now that was a better, better choice, wouldn't it, to start off with. Um, oh hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, Steve Mitchell. No, come on, let's get my name right from now on. That, that novelty's worn off. What is it? Is it- Steve Merchant. Oh yeah, they, yeah. that's the wrong one, isn't it, Mitchell? The Guardian got it wrong, it's Steve Merchant. And the more I say Mitchell, the more people are thinking- Exactly, it might be Mitchell. It might be Mitchell. Oh god, sorry Dave. Um, <laughs> but Carl wanted to start off with the stereophonics. Oh, loser. Cause it was a newer track. And Carl now, we've made him what he is, he was nothing when Nobody. we found him. He was right? like work experience. And now he's going, oh, we should start off with the stove fires. I'm going, Trying oh, to tell you what to do, If right? I want anyone's opinion, I don't. <laughs> basically. But he'd probably come to me, I imagine, wouldn't he? <laughs> before, I'd be the first person. Before Carl, yeah. I'd consult you, Steve. Thank so you. just keep it, just cause he uh, was in a, what was it, pill he his making mobile disc music. I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I literally can't wait, should we do it now? Well, I'm tempted to save it because I just want to mention to people, um, that, uh, they should be very excited. Because, uh, it's gonna be Carl's special night tomorrow. You excited, Carl? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, yeah, um, uh, me and Steve, because we were nominated, we get a guest. For the Battle uh, Awards. Um, and it's, uh, it doesn't say guest, it actually says, um, you know, uh, partner. So I'm taking, um, my partner. And, uh, Steve's taking Carl. Yeah. But what Carl doesn't realise is, you will have to pretend you're his partner, otherwise you yeah. wouldn't be able to- Well, that's the whole says, hands when is, is this your, is this really your partner? It's not just a guest. They have That's to. how it is. Neither we go in like that or we can't get in. You have to, you just have to be with him when you go up there. I mean, you have to, uh, d does yeah, he have to- You should, we should hold hands, but I think what we should do is just to make sure that there's nothing at all that, like, it's gonna go wrong, we should just do a little kiss. Just like, and just I'll, I'll, I'll be seen sort of like cheek to cheek, just to show them that, yeah. you know, you're not- he's, he's Like not Elton just John his, and David He's not just Smith. getting his mates in for a free meal, you are actually partners. No, I'm not, I'm not for that. Why not? Well, because we know we're not actually gay. No, but, but, yeah, but so you, it's not a problem. you've come out of it looking quite good because you've got a good looking fella. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm meant to look like, you know, I mean, I'm not gay, but if I was, I don't think I'd go for your thing. Oh, he's done you, Steve! It's turned on you again! I cannot believe- We were trying to get him. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I have got the cream of London's totty <laughs> phoning me up trying to get an invite to the BAFTAs, yeah. right? We well, have very graciously asked you if you would like to come along. Well, that yeah. worries me even more that you've got women calling you up. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, Carl, I can't choose between them. If I let one of them down, I'm gonna they're gonna destroy yeah. them. Is they, yeah. they'll be they'll be ruined. Their yeah. lives will be ruined. It's better for me to take you and not you know ruin the lives of any of those poor when, women. When when he told them he was yeah. taking you, it was like a scene from Graceland. There was just like there women, was weeping. They were crying. Like, it was horrible. Hundreds of them. And really? he just went- and I got he, upset. He just had to say, look, just chill out, bitches, didn't ya? I did, I just said, you know, you're all my hoes, but yeah. I can't choose between you. So I'm taking Carl. So I'm taking Carl. You know he gets- he could get you a discount frocks. No, I had a letter from the people that- there's a- No, No, no listen, Carl, there's an organisation that sponsors the BAFTA Awards yeah. in terms of clothes and fashion. They sent me a letter, they said your partner, they've not specified the sex, they've said your partner can come along and yeah. choose an outfit. Now I suspect- by the look of it, it is a woman's outfitters. I'm thinking we could get you a lovely trouser suit. Well, you have a it may look suit, feminine, right? But I think people will be fooled. It'd just, be, it just be a little bit roomy in the hip and that probably narrow on the shoulders. But you're a bit skinny. Why don't you take it? Because it's a lot of an insult. And maybe just some pearls as well. <laughs> be lovely. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't well, you? Uh, I haven't got anything sorted to wear yet. See, you're slagging me off. You're likely to be end up going in a tracksuit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know what Steve's like. He is tight, right? <laughs> Is, well. is, 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 no, he is. And you know that, don't you, Steve? Financially, I mean, I'm not, you mean? Well, no, I mean, just the way you are, you're very sure. sort of, you know, you, you're not- I'm careful. You're not wasteful with your money. I'm careful. <laughs> no, I'm not wasteful, absolutely right. No, no, but to the extreme. Not at all to the extreme. Not at all to the extreme. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look come after on, the pennies, the pains will take care of themselves. Alright? <sighs> Simple to remember, good advice. Yeah, Alright? but- The thing is, right, um, I know that I took the mickey out of you for like, you know, the way you look and stuff. Sure. Right? Well, I'm right back at you. But the thing is, you can't help that. Absolutely. 
But I'll tell you something that women don't like. Sure. And it's fellas who are tight with the money. Sure. I'm not- I'm not frugal with money with ladies. I'm frugal with money with you. <laughs> well, I've I- have got no reason to splash money out on you. I've never seen you splash money out. Well, you've never been out with me. Have you ever- have, Steve, have you ever splashed out on a lady? Um, no, but I hope to one day. <laughs> the right lady. <laughs> Play a record. I'm not going at the moment. I'm not going, and I'm desperate to see him. Man, I mean, he's, you know, he's going to do a great concert. It's mm. his only one in in London. I can't believe that being on the radio, being on XFM, you know, the, the listenership's going up. Apparently, mm. I can't believe I can't get a ticket. I, I've asked Carl. He's done nothing. He's done nothing. No, 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 no Carl, 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 Carl had a very good point. Carl, tell what you said when he was whinging in no, the break. First of all, while she moaning, you also asked in the week for a badly drawn boy album. Yeah, you got in today. Yeah. There's one there for you. Well, yeah, yeah. but it's yin and yang. And it's Carl. like, yeah, but I do, you know, Carl, what's Steve ever done for you? That's what you got to ask yourself. What has Steve ever done for you? Well, he took me to the BAFTAs. Yeah, but only because no one else would probably want to go with you. <gasps> <gasps> I can't believe that. What is I this? I do not believe that. Oh, Steve, I'm going to stitch you up now, Carl, and it's in a nice way. And don't worry, it won't be too bad. He won't take it too bad. Carl sent me a little text message today. Right. Um. No. No. Oh, don't. what is this? Um. I. Right. Okay. Okay. That you know was... I'm in a very frail mood at the moment. No, no, I'm you're like this, Bruce. This is funny because me and St uh, me and him have been like sending uh, trivia back and forth to each other, which is another point, right? I sent him. Oh well, I'll get to that in a minute. I, I thought he'd really be amazed with um. Right, well, while I'm you're like... fiddling, if you can make my dream come true uh, to go and see Bruce Springsteen tomorrow, then give us a call on the usual yeah, number. Yeah, but like I said, Steve. What? Right? It's- it wouldn't be- right, you just said when the song was on, can't believe it, right, we work at XFM and I can't get tickets for Springsteen, right? Yeah. Mm. But we work in radio, we should get tickets. Mm. Right, now think Which of Which I'm willing to pay for. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. think of the- yeah, but if it's sold out, it's sold out. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but that's just something they say. Right, that's just what they say, is it? Right, so everybody on local radio stations say, do you know, I, I like that Bruce Springsteen, I, I want a free ticket, right? So another say- I tried to phone, I phoned for an hour and a half, I couldn't get through. Not long enough, I put the enough. hours in. Not long enough. Not long enough. What are you talking about, <laughs> put the hours in. No. Right. So another four hundred people turn up at the gig. They cram them all in. There's people being crushed. You know, they've paid the money early. They were up early that day when the when the phone lines were open, while she were probably sleeping and that. So they're dedicated and they're the ones at the front getting crushed. What? Would you Why mind that be crushed? happy if you were there getting crushed? I don't mind I'll sit at the side of the stage and watch him. Yeah, but I don't mind. But everyone will say that then. And then what? before you know it, yeah. no one can see anything because no, you're Carl's on the stage. No, Carl's right on this one. Leave right, it. Read, read, right, I'm going to give you this here. I'm now handing over my mobile phone to Steve to read the- you can see it's from Carl at the top, but just read it out as you scroll down. Just read it out loud. Is this a text message from- Yeah, this is a text message to me from Carl. Read it out. To see at night as well as an owl, you would need eyes the size of grapefruits. If only Stephen could turn his head right round as well. I- Carl, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> what- what upsets me most, Carl, right, is not the fact that you've been slagging me off behind my back. <laughs> it's the fact that you've got the cheek to come on here and moralise because you've failed to get me tickets and make a dream come true. You've come on here trying to pass the buck and say that it's a health and safety problem, mm. when in actual fact it's a it's Carl Pilkington problem. Look at that, see that, I've got it in a I can't- I'm devastated, I'm devastated, you I know, know, I- I didn't- and then- I didn't tell- let's buy a record. I just- I'm upset. I should've eaten this banana. Off What's the number? It's uh, 08700 800 1234. But if it's sold out, Steve, it's sold out. A bit of a classic, eh? REM. I bet if Ricky wanted to go, it would be fine. I'm sure someone could sort it out then. Who? Oh, if Ricky Gervais wants to go, then I'm you can going. come. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want some tickets, though? Yeah. <laughs> you went in. There was George Best, one of your footballing heroes was there, a that load of other good. big names. We- you sat there in a prime position, you came backstage with a load of other big names. Hey, you had a lovely bit of grub. You were filming this thing for the DVD we were making. That's you, that's you, a cameraman on our DVD. And yet you think, oh, and you- now you look grumpy because you had a couple of pints and you- Oh, I can't believe so it. So tell us why you didn't enjoy it, because the ceremony, what didn't you enjoy about that? Far it was interminable, wasn't it? Far too long. Wasn't it awful? Three so boring. hours. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say something. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Three hours. Yeah. Um, I mean, I suppose for you two, at least, you know, you were gonna get something. Sure. Yeah. But, <laughs> with me, it's like, I mean, I've never graduated or anything, so. Have you not? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a situation. Basically, I sat there for three hours knowing that I'm not gonna get anything out of the night. Yeah. Right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> 
No one Did you- sorry, me. when we invited you and you said yes, did you think you were up for an award? No. <laughs> I thought- <laughs> I thought we were gonna be sat round tables, having a nice yeah. bit of food, yeah. whilst people are going up there winning awards. Yeah. But three hours of the same thing over and over again, I mean, if a film's three hours in the cinema, yeah. you go, well, it's long, but, you know, I wonder how it's gonna end. Yeah. But this was just like the same <laughs> thing over <laughs> and over again. Some guy going up, thanks a lot, cheers for the bit of brass. And then going down, sitting down, the same thing over and over again. Mm. I wouldn't, I, honestly, right? I, I'd say it was one of the worst things <laughs> I've ever had to do. Linking no, up. I enjoyed the night afterwards <laughs> when we did have a bit of lamb and a nice bit of veg and that. That was yeah. all right, and I went home and I was happy, and I got the the little freebie bag that you're talking about that we gave yeah. away. Yeah. Um, which wasn't much good stuff in it. Oh, oh all right. Right. No, what, Suzanne, what would you have done right. on that Saturday night? Suzanne what would you have done if- or the Sunday night, rather, what would you have done had you been at home? I would have stayed in with Suzanne, right, watching telly, having a nice bit of pâté on toast or something, cup of tea, watching 24, but instead, I had to buy an expensive suit so I didn't show you up, <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus, what Yeah. And what did you spend on your suit? <laughs> well, in total, right, because, you know, the shoes and the suit and the shirt and the tie, it was about 600 quid. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most expensive evening ever. <laughs> and that's, well, that's what I'm saying to you. And, and the daft thing is, it's dark in there. I don't know why you've got to wear a nice suit. <laughs> you, can't, you can't wear a track suit, for <laughs> goodness sake. It's dark in there. Oh, oh, oh. No, just a shirt and that. It doesn't oh. make you a better person wearing a suit. No, it doesn't you know make you a better I mean? person, no. We're not uh, claiming it made you a better person. No, well, that annoyed me. Yeah. Um. I mean, it was, it was an experience, innit? That's why I went, because you think, if I didn't go, if I would have said to you when you invited me, no, Steve, I don't want to go, then I would have never known, right? Yeah. And yeah. I've, I've, uh, that, that's my sort of thing in life, right? Yeah. If yeah. something comes up, you should take it, even if you're not gonna like it, it's a bit of an experience. Right. Do you know what he said to me? I phoned him up, because we had to meet up, yeah. and obviously he had to pose as my, uh, gay lover. Yeah. He to get in, right? Yeah. He phoned me, well, what, you said something to me like, I bought a suit, I'm looking good. He said, I'm looking good. People will think, how on earth did he end up with that good looking guy? <laughs> so he got into the yeah. role. That was what he said getting, to me. He started getting into it. Such an insult. Fire record. Do, do, do you not care about the job? I mean, I've got to ask, because, you know what I mean, if I was in charge, I'd worry about your motivation or, because we, Yesterday, we were trying to work out what you enjoyed doing, and we got to, uh, Manchester United and moaning. And that is, that is the two we came I, up I with. I don't know where you get the moaning thing You're from. You're always whinging. About what? Everything. Wh when? When did I last have a moan? Uh, just before we came on air. Right, and why was that? <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't remember. Because well, we were in good mood, we were in a good mood, me and Rick. I'll tell you why. Go on. Because you brought a song in at ten to one. Yeah. With a load of effing and jeffing in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And saying, can you edit this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's your job. You could have brought it in yesterday. No, I couldn't. Why not? I hadn't thought of it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but why, but why, but why are you whinging? That's your job. And I didn't come in ten minutes before, it was a good twenty minutes before. It just took you ages because you were whinging and moaning. Mm. To even get started. Uh, been very quiet week. Uh, been checking, uh, I was looking in books last night and stuff. Uh, so is there any monkey news? I, I've I've got some, but just because it's not that good, something else I found out that I thought I'd share with you. Go on. I was looking in the Guinness Book of Records, right, because I thought they'll have something in there about monkeys or something, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a little monkey, I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And, um, something I found out, I don't know if they've got it right. And that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right, that's got sort of the, the pointiest eyes. Eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> the thing is, right, I thought that's interesting. Yeah. Apparently it's, it's, it's the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, go on. Apparently, they, they come out of the red, um, 1.6 centimetres. 1.6 centimetres? What, you mean they protrude? Yeah. They protrude from the head at 1.6. Okay. What, how, how long? Have you got a ruler, Rick? <laughs> 1.1.6. <laughs> I'd say I'd be a little bit annoyed 
If the monkeys beat me. <laughs> well, I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Is there anything we can- I mean, what's 1.6? Oh, can you- It's about- Drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, um, uh, well, oh, about three quarters of an inch. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh, uh, so anyway, so that's that's not the monkey news. That's just something that cropped up. And <laughs> sure, I do know once when we were playing pool in the office. I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah, it was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down. So Lucy pushed his glasses up his nose, but the glasses touched his eye. <laughs> do you remember that? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> he started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> no, I know, and I feel I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me nervous when he goes. Yeah. It's not player record. No, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be a good. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. <laughs> oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that that's what is that? Do you know when I left the pub in a bit of a mood because yeah. I, I just fed up with not getting anything done? Yeah. Walking down the road, I was thinking, how can I get out of this? How can I stop having to work with them? I'm thinking, I wonder if I, if I leave, I wonder if they'll be funny and they'll go, and then my boss will be giving me stick. I'm thinking, how long? How much notice have I got to give out? And all this is going through my mind. I'm walking home and I got in. I said to Suzanne, I'm sick of it. She's going, you need to do it when I get a new kitchen. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, but how big does the kitchen need to be? I was saying, do we need a big kitchen? Can we get a small one? Have we got enough for a small kitchen? Do we need so many cupboards? Can we just have wood instead of steel? All this, try to get out of doing this. Yeah. It's always just, I always feel like, you know, because I, I like to think that I'm not perhaps as bad as him. Yeah, no. You annoy me in different ways. Like what? How does he annoy you? Well, stuff, stuff that, you know, I come up with ideas, say yeah. cheap as chimps. Yeah. Uh, rock busters springs yeah. to mind. Yeah. Uh, 15 like Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> 15 Taiwan. Let's just remind people what 15 Taiwan was. It was a little feature that I wanted to give a run, you know, give it a little run, see if people like it. Uh, the premise we'll, being? No, there's no premise, it's just a title. No, we were gonna get 15 sort of ornaments, you'd explain them, and then people would call yeah. up and say, oh, that one's from Taiwan. Honestly? <laughs> God, you just explained why I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, By explaining the good- No, explaining you know, the idea. funny thing is, Steve, right, I was walking down Regent Street on Monday, Walk past one of these big stores, right, and they've got all famous quote, quotes on the windows, right, yeah. and one of them was something like, an absurd idea is often a great idea. Yeah. Do you know who said that? Go on. Einstein. Yes. Which made me wonder, if you were his mate, would he ever have done E equals MC squared? <laughs> or would you have said, don't bother with that, it's not gonna work? Because that's all you seem to do, everything I come up with, yeah. you put down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's one thing. He's negative, right? Don't know, I don't know why. I don't okay. know why he's, he is. What well, else? He messes me about. I get him concert tickets for stuff, and, yeah. and you say, "Oh, I didn't bother going." Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is annoying. You come in, you know, five minutes to go with tracks that need editing. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. little bag, yeah. that bag that was free. Yeah, you got a free bag today, an yeah. XFM little rucksack thing. Yeah. yeah, you were like, "Oh, what's this? What's this rubbish?" Yeah. Ricky said, "I'll have it. They're great." You yeah. said, "No, I want it." Yeah, <laughs> well, it's so, free. I need it. Yeah. Um, I'll give that as a well, gift or something. So. So, I mean, I think on reflection, Steve is probably a little bit more annoying than me. Mm. <laughs> I, I won't go that far. <laughs> you are, you are annoying. If I had to go away for a week somewhere, yeah. if it was a quiet place- well, you are again, aren't you? That's two holidays you've had this week, this year, I mean. If it was a busy place, I'd probably go with you, cos people, do you know what I mean, staring at me all the time and that, if I'm walking around with Steve. <laughs> No, I'm just- <laughs> Can I draw up a list of reasons I don't like you, Carl? <laughs> to be honest. Well, I'll tell you, because the list of reasons I don't like you is incredibly long. And getting longer. Just saying. Do you want another slap? Okay. Oh, oh I genuinely, I, I really, it does frustrate me that I don't get any allowance it for being count count as a disability. Well, it does count. No, it doesn't. It's not a disability being six foot seven. But there how is. can you explain, for instance, you know, travelling on a bus the, or a coach? There's some the things only I can The advantage see. is, uh, um, people look at, I've, I've seen people stare at you, um, 
But they stare at me because I've been on the telly. What's that a disability? Are that people being recognised? Yes, but you could avoid that by not being on the telly. It's your choice. This yeah. is my point. It's your choice. Yeah. It's the same okay. as the big fat people. It's their yeah. choice. It's a different sort of stare, isn't it? I've been there. Yeah. When, you know, the sort of stare that you get in the sort of Steve's, the sort of stare that Steve Well, obviously gets. I'm gonna, sorry Steve, but I'm gonna, you know, follow up this inquiry. What do you mean, Carl? No, so I'm just saying it's more of a stare of, of fear than, <laughs> like with you, they go, oh, it's him. Yeah, go on. Whereas with you it's more like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the monkey news? Yeah. Um, before we, uh, carry on with anything, I should just tell you, we're, we're on the subject of emails. There's one emailer we're always looking forward to hearing from. Richie Anderson, Dicky Docky Doo, Richard Anderson. Thanks for emailing. He's, and, uh, my, uh, he's my biggest fan. He's now. one of the biggest he fans. Absolutely loves me, but not afraid to offer some constructive criticism. Go on, that's what's the he great said? thing about Dicky. And from Anders this week, he says, "Ricky, I'm lazy. I talk nonsense. I'm badly organised, and I believe in ghosts. Can I have a job working on your show?" Ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Possibly, uh, Anders. Maybe send in a CV or email a CV. He's put a little bit of all of us in that, hasn't exactly. he? Oh, well, ask him if he's a goggle-eyed freak, Steve. All right, calm down. Well, no, I didn't no, mean. There's no need to get insulted. No, I didn't necessarily no mean nasty. you. No did need I? to get nasty. Well, also, I was thinking about that actually, Steve. Oh God. <laughs> Just talking of of the old. Uh, what? What? Talking of the what? No. Do you know, like? This better be good. No, you don't have that many girlfriends. And what? That. What do you mean, Carl? Why are we on this? I wasn't- I was defending you in the whole monkey discussion. Come on, what's oh, your point? No, what's your point? What's your point? No, what's the point? What's the point? I just was thinking... <sighs> if there was an infinite number of Steves? <laughs> <laughs> you're not- you, you know, you're an odd-looking fella. Uh, come on, Carl, get to the- No, you know I know that. I've told you that loads of times. What do you quick. mean, you know I know that? Well, there's no point pretending anymore. <laughs> Steve, I'm- I'm flabbergasted. But also, you don't like spending money. Right. He's mean and weird looking. Valentine's Day. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh. Are you sort of? Oh. Uh, oh. You know. You've got to love him though, haven't you? What What are you happier with? The fact that no girls like you enough, right? <laughs> this is meant. This is really mental. Or are you happy because you don't have to spend any money on a card for someone? Which a little from column A, a little from column B. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's have so let's have more monkey news. What well, have we got? No, we've got a we've got so much somewhere. to get into this show. Insults. We don't stupidity. need the insults. I think we've got enough. We don't need the insults. Yeah, there's no more insults. No what more insults. What me with Carl is you know he's been planning that. No, I haven't. I, I was well, I was thinking about it on the way in because Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> Condoms. Right? You, you bought your girlfriend a box of condoms for Christmas. I don't think you can ever go at me. <laughs> To no, be fair. No, but I don't just treat her on Valentine's, I'm always, do you know what I mean? You don't even treat her on Valentine's, you don't even treat her at Christmas or on her <laughs> birthday. On when do you treat Hang her? Hang on a minute, wait a cotton picking minute there, oh uh, why I oughta, wait right. a minute, what was that? Tiffany Dog. I treat your girlfriend better than you, <laughs> and I've only met her twice. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Wilberton, uh, hello, it's Dr. Hanrahan. Um, Barry Sheen has just passed away, and you go, oh dear. Um, yeah, bad news and good news. Um, do you want his face, or do you want his face? Does Suzanne go out with you, like, for charitable reasons? <laughs> I love the fact that she encourages you. Oh, she, you. She was saying about Tom Cruise, and I was like, oh. You know, she said, you know, he's not a bad looking fella or whatever. So, well, what she's saying is, Carl, is there any chance you could go and get a different face? Maybe something like Tom Cruise would yeah, be good. Yeah, but then, then I was saying, right, first of all, he's got to be dead and he's not. <laughs> but if he was, and you had that done, would you feel like. People were looking you at you something? on the tube. Well, no, like, say if the people who made Mission Impossible said, well, we want to do a third one, <laughs> would I then, would I be in my right to say, well, I don't want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be <laughs> offensive, Carl, but your girlfriend could do a lot better than you. <laughs> I, I don't know what I you're thinking. I love the idea of this whole conversation about you with Tom Cruise's face and then get off with a film. But why, okay. why does she have conversations like this with you? There's now on last night. <laughs> There's now on the telly. I the love chat. it. Uh, what should we talk about? What about uh, getting a new face? <laughs> Oh dear, oh, was that, oh that cartoon. Um, if you don't know what Carl looks like, there's a cartoon that was in last week's heat, isn't it, that 
Oh, Drew is on the website. What's, what's it going for now? Bid. I think it's at about uh, 225 quid at the moment. And what do they have to do to bid for it? Uh, just just email in and I'll pass it on to the website people. I know why Heat put it in. It's because the editor, Boyd Hilton, looks a little bit like you, doesn't he? Sort of my ugly brother. <laughs> he's probably listening and he says nice things about you. Yeah, he can still say nice things, but I bet he knows deep down. You know if you're good looking or not, don't you? <laughs> Come on, Steve. Steve. I mean, what it's do you going, think? It, this is going, <laughs> this is going crazy, you know, Carl. I don't know. You, you're just the insults are flying left, right, and centre. You've got no limits. You've just gone crazy. You've just gone wild. You're swatting around just because you look like Tom Cruise. I think it's because he's been hanging out with Christian O'Connell. Yeah. And they're both thinking, yeah, with a Co couple of media players. Yeah. Too big for their boots. Yeah, not scared. Of, although he's scared of Christian. No, he's terrible. He's scared him. of Christian in here because he's not allowed to do monkey news. No, because well, yeah. Christian wants to do it. He's scared of him. I'm not saying that, right? <laughs> Christian. <laughs> By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. So, a few more shows. And I, I, I hope Sony are happy. Mm. They should encourage. You know, we've only been radio, you know, a couple of years. Exactly. Just you encourage young, ta you encourage young talent yeah. like you. Yeah. Instead of giving it to Radio One and Radio Two yeah. and the old war horses. We just had a quick email. I wonder if you could answer this. It's James from NW1. He says, "Ricky, is Carl going to be on this week's show? Please let me know, as I may listen if he's not." <laughs> Um, sadly, oh, he is here. Oh I mean, dear. people are already turning against you, Carl, because they've seen what's happened. Yeah. I think they've probably realised that we've I think we gave you too much. Enough. I think, exactly, I think we've got a spoiled sort of kid in our hands. It's sort of like, you know, we, we knew, we knew how bad he was, but we were trying to sort of bring him out of his shell a little bit. Yeah. Encourage, you got to encourage sort of, um, children like Carl. Well, yeah, exactly. To exactly. sort of fend for themselves. Mm. Um, but, uh, I like the fact that Dickie Anderson had that wonderful, Ran. It, I mean, it was an articulate email. It was quite long, and he must have typed it immediately. I'm thinking because he's a fan of the show and he, he thinks I'm a you know a genius. We need a PA, sure, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon he'd come and work for us? Um, well, he can't be any worse than what we've already got. <laughs> I um, know. You know. So there you go. Then we're giving up. We're giving up radio. We're going to concentrate on television. Carl's going to probably go back to what your little. Just doing your well, sound. The thing I won a silver for at the Sony's. Funny that, mm. isn't it? Oh, you won a silver, did you? I got a silver, yeah. Oh, for yeah. Doing, what was that for? for doing the proper job that I do here in the week. Well, oh, no, it's two of you for a start. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. Can't even get a bronze. Now, who's the weak link? <laughs> right? Well, a bit weird, isn't it? Let's get. Let's look. Let's get, let's not argue. We haven't got many shows to do. To be fair, though, this this show is, is. I think it's more to do with the fact that you talk on this show that has brought us down. Right, I haven't said anything hardly today. No, well, this is an award-winning show, potentially. <laughs> we'll add this one in for yeah. next year. <laughs> oh. If you could just keep shtum, we might have a chance. Alright. Well, coming up, right. Carl. Let's put it behind us. Okay. Let's draw a line under it. Well, Here we are, then. We're back. XFM 104.9. Carl had to leave early last week, but, um, you can you stay to the end this week, mate? Or... Yeah. Yeah? You don't, you don't need another holiday. Oh! Oh, he's started already. I mean, you Steve's know, made you look like a bit of a twat already. <laughs> and it's only yeah. five past one. But the only reason you don't go on holiday is because you have to spend money. <laughs> oh, and he's gone straight back. Well, he's gone straight back. <laughs> I can't come back to that. <laughs> oh, it's just, dear. it's just that uh, dynamite. It's just absolute. That was that was. Well, the last holiday, the had, last holiday, Steve had. He, he sort of found a third world country so he could live like a Ooh. king for a week. It was Cuba, wasn't it? Going to Cuba, amazing. You can leave, you can almost rule the place. <laughs> if it weren't for Castro, I'd have been in charge. Kind of cash <laughs> I was flashing around. <laughs> I mean, they will do anything for a dollar over there. It's extraordinary, literally. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Definitely, and I went to Kenya so, before so, that. So he thought to the prostitute, said no. Mm. You were going. <laughs> yeah, well, it was two dollars. I mean, I'm not made of money. <laughs> well, we went, I went out with a drink with Carl in the week, and, uh, we went to uh, a restaurant, didn't we, Carl? Good night. And we sat there, and next to me, when Carl came, next to me was, uh, um, what's his name? Ross Kemp. And, uh, he was sitting there, and I saw Carl, and I, I tapped him on the shoulder, Ross Kemp, and I was like, and I pointed to Carl and him and I said, it's nice to see you two back together again. Nice. And Carl was horrified. But Carl didn't know that I'd already spoken to him before Carl arrived. Yeah, so yeah, was, yeah, I thought yeah. it was okay. I thought I could break the ice because I'd met him before. Sure. So he just thought I was insulting him. And in the week we were talking about his head, his little head, weren't we, Carl? 
and Carl suddenly stopped the conversation and said, if I had hair, what would we be talking about now? <laughs> I think you had enough of everyone talking about it. And he looked good though, he had it, it's, it's a special little do, he had it sort of, you know, cropped a little bit more. I like it when he's just freshly had it done. Mm. Do you like- yeah. has, has that ever happened to you, Steve, when you- if you're somewhere, say if you sat somewhere, does someone sort of, you know, is he anyone else who you look like, or <laughs> would you say you're a bit of a one-off? <laughs> I love these two! But, I, I, <laughs> but to be <laughs> fair- It's like it! Well, to be fair, I, he seems to be having a go at me an awful lot more than I do at him now. I mean, he just starts it- you know, he I just think, starts it out I, of nowhere. I th yeah, I think- I think his is sort of a get back for the way you treat him as a producer, not, you know- But he's not a producer! <laughs> <laughs> if he produced the show, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a reason to criticise, uh, I think this is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, seriously, I mean, it really winds me though, because, you know, it started as a joke, but now it's just, it's abuse. Yeah. He got annoyed at Heat because it said Carl producer, well, not so much a producer, as just a bald mank. And he yeah. went, can they say that? Yeah. Can they say that? See, that's a magazine, an independent publication has identified what exactly it is you do. Yeah. There we go then, come on, bring it on, because here we go, he's looking at me, I know he's thinking, he, no, I can hear the cogs I'm not, I'm not thinking anything. It's <laughs> vicious. Yeah, no, that, that is true, never <laughs> true a word, play a record. Yeah. <laughs> me and Steve were having a little meeting yesterday over lunch about, you know, planning stuff for the show, and uh, Gary Kemp came up to me, started having a little chat about old times, and uh, I went, oh yeah, as he went away, Steve said, right, think of this, he said, Rick, don't take this the wrong way, Remember that sentence, don't take this the wrong way. So there's a right way and a wrong way I could have taken this comment. He went, nodded to sort of Gary Kemp and went, he's aged better than you. I went, well how could I take that the wrong way? Yeah, it's uh, not offensive. No. Well the, the point is this, he, he does, because he didn't know me twenty years ago, so he's actually saying, Rick, don't take this the wrong way, he looks better than you do. Yeah, well he does. But why say that, Carl? What? Did you really say that? Yeah, although, can I just go, just backtracking for a second, I love the fact you said you bumped into Gary Kemp and you reminisced about old times. What old times did you share with Gary Kemp? Well, no, Kemp? he came up and said, did we drop the pops together? I went, no, I did razzmatazz. He said, oh, we did razzmatazz. I think he was thinking, had he ever met me before? But he, he hadn't, because we hadn't, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 And, uh... But if you had to make an objective analysis, I, you know, I wouldn't, I think that's out of order. Sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, you're always slagging me off, but apparently no, you no, can't no, do, well, you can't make a I value judgment on something else. No. Wouldn't, wouldn't do oh, that. Well, because you're, you know, you're morally all over the place. You don't know, you, you know, no, you don't know where you're coming or going. Believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Sure. Yeah. You should hear what I say about you, behind your back. So, are you? Would you say you're better looking now than you were, or <laughs> than I'm what? W would you say you're better looking now than you were than I was when? Well, like, like you know, have you aged well? Yes. You've aged well. Yeah, I've kept my looks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dando. A bit Evan down there, this would be lovely, yes. <laughs> now, it's intriguing to me because here's a film called Freaks, featuring real life freaks, and you're sort of a bit nonplussed by it. Just because it wasn't, because it's built up, if you call a video Freaks, you've got to make sure that there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. What were you disappointed about? Was it that? Because there was a few things on it, right? There was a woman who said she was half man, half woman, and it's like, well, you're not, are you? It was just like she had some makeup on, I thought, well, that's rubbish. And then there was a woman who could eat using her feet. That isn't that freaky. Do you know what I mean? If she's not hungry, she looks normal. Oh, yeah. And that's when I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being not being right, Steve. You know, I'm not being funny. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. But I'm I'm just saying. If that woman wasn't eating and you were sat next to her, in that film, yeah, I'd probably be sort of drawn to you more than her. I'm not. I, I know you hate me saying it, but there's no point sort of pretending. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oi, Mutley, what you what are you sniggering about? <laughs> that, that, that face. <laughs> well, you you mean there were, there were things in it that were less. What are you saying? I'm just saying. Play a record. No. Seriously, I'll slap you. I'm going to slap you live on air. Yeah, but you always get- I'm gonna sl right, I'm slapping you like oh, on air, I swear to god. Right, play a song then. He's playing a song. I'll play a song for Well, there's the best band in Britain, in my opinion. Big words. The darkness, growing on me. 
on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Have you got the album? And already, they've had an argument. Yes. Well, I, I mean, I don't know whether we need to cheapen the show by discussing it, but well, I asked for a particular track. Uh, Carl is the producer, and he failed to get it for me. He's failed to get it for me. He's failed to bring it up from the record library. Completely failed in his mission. He needed to get two records, and he failed to get one of them. A 50% error rate there. Yeah, but like I said, I looked in the system, it told me what album it's on, I brought that album up. I'm busy. But, okay, so fine. Fine, you're absolutely fine then. That's no problem. You know, it, once again, it, that's, a, that's a great excuse, Carl. Brilliant. The show has been ruined, it's been partially ruined, but you've got a bit of an excuse. All right. I didn't make a big deal out of it when mm. you said, oh, and whilst you're down there, get us a new 50 cent single. I never, I never said, why you're down there, get the new 50 cent single. I asked you if 50 cent single was lying around. Yeah. If, it, if it hadn't been here, I wouldn't have worried. So I get it, yeah, I did that for you. Right. And then I come up, you say, has it got swearing in it? Well, what? I don't know, it's five to one, so you're the I haven't producer. got time, I've been with around. You're the around. producer, it's the brand new single, I never thought it'd been lying around in the XFM office anyway. But I don't, I don't have time to sit around listening to music. Sure, well, yeah. Right? I know that you have, now you've got an iPod that can hold 7,500 songs, I don't know when you're gonna get around to loading all them on, but I haven't got the time. Sure. Busy, busy. Yeah. Right? Fine, okay, no, no, that's, that's a perfect excuse, Carl, well done, mate. Right. I just hope that I never have to depend on you in a real emergency. How did you meet your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> through work. <laughs> what, through her work? <laughs> what, you, you found out and said you- work to have the same place. Oh, you're right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. You're quite an enigma, aren't you? Could you give us more on that? <laughs> at work. You met her at work. What, she came in selling sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> she was going through the bins outside. What, what do you mean you met her Why at work? are you having an attack on me? You're I'm the one who's sad and lonely. No, oh, having... he's done you again! He's done yeah, you again! Yeah, but what I thought was interesting was Matt... I just scratched at him and he just went mental. Yeah, no, It's like but... a bear caught in a trap. It's, it's funny, isn't it? You'll never learn. Carl... No, I was just interested to find out what the story was, because it might be a really romantic story. Well, it's, it's not. All right, jeez. I, I mean, love the fact I, he doesn't want to talk about, about his love I, affair. I, I was thinking about you in the week, and like, <laughs> does it worry you? I mean, you sort of joke about it now, and we're talking about it in the office, you know, like, oh, is, is Steve really touchy about the way he looks? And oh, what's this? Where's that come from? He's and done it again. He's done you again. I was walking home the other night, and I was thinking about it. And do you <laughs> worry that when you're old, you will be on your own? You did start it though, didn't you? Well, Carl, I'm glad you brought this up. <laughs> because no, no, because I, I mean, for me, you know, a, a lightweight, frothy entertainment show <laughs> on XFM on a Saturday afternoon is exactly the place <laughs> <laughs> where I want to discuss uh, the desperate, lonely future that's inevitably uh, coming my way. Oh God, I, I'll tell you what, we'll cheer you up and forget yeah. all that. A bit of embrace. <laughs> oh, one of the most hated bands. Uh, but, but yeah, I don't know what we were talking about there. So we've got the film thing going. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking the about. Film. What were you talking about earlier about glasses as well and Steve taking his glasses off? What was that? What are you saying that in front of him now for? Was it, oh, was it an insult? It wasn't really an insult. Carl, what were you up to? No, what was it? I genuinely don't remember. I, I genuinely don't remember. Well, I just, right, Steve, I'm not, I'm not having a go. Right? Um, just saying our people, um, it's a bit weird that you've got glasses because you've got a good pair of eyes on you, right? <laughs> that that isn't an insult. What were you talking about though? What was it? Why did it you? It was the fact that people who wear glasses always look a bit weird without them on. It's it's like, you know, they they were they should they should wear glasses. I okay. Why did we get round to this? What was we talking about? What were we talking about? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It sounds like an insult, even if it wasn't no, intended as well. it wasn't. It, it sounds wasn't. like an insult, Carl. <laughs> it does, yeah. No, it wasn't. I should listen. be able to punch you every time you insult me, no? No, but I'm not oh, I'm doing go. it. I'm gonna give you a dead arm. Look, Steve, it it's like you, you always Even you... if it wasn't, you intended it to be one. Well, what are you... <gasps> <gasps> oh, that was real. Play a record. Yeah, but it's that's mad. Every time you insult me from that's now on. mad. Oh, is this the Cardigans? Great. Brilliant. I didn't yeah. even say anything. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. I can enjoy the rest of the show. Because actors are often very quite handsome people, but yet they're always quite yeah, we obnoxious. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are. No, I mean they're normally quite obnoxious. Rick, again, you know, you're a good example <laughs> of that. And yet, yet, I think it must be the small man complex. That's what makes them so obnoxious and so kind of desperate for attention. Didn't right. realise it before. Steady on. Because of course I tower above everyone. You do, don't you? I'm uh, for people who don't know who are listening. I'm six foot seven inches tall. That's 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 high. Yeah. That's and big. and and um, for people who've never seen him, he doesn't hold it well. It's not like he's a sort of handsome. 
athlete, is it, Carl? He's a bit of a... What, what do you call him? T- Carl, don't answer No, 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 no. Don't get drawn into that. No, no, you know, no, no, you know no, the game no, he's playing. No, 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 no. Do you know yesterday when you were in the office? Yeah. You did a little move, <laughs> and it reminded me of Blakey. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot oh, I hate you, Gervais. Oh, I hate you, Pilkington. That's his stance. Yeah, but even he was, he held it a little bit better, didn't he? Because he was a man, you know, yeah. he had a big coat and everything, a peak cap. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe you. Like, I've not suffered enough from being freakishly tall. Now, two of my best buddies, yeah. live on radio, are just... It's not it just the height, though, is it? It's the <laughs> posture and the face and everything. But it's got your places, oh. hasn't it? <laughs> no? What do you no, mean he's got me places? I think, I think people give you a bit more of a chance in, in your career and stuff, because it's like... Oh. What, yeah, stacking shelves? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can reach to a high level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you know, um... um rubbish. That's rubbish, Carl, those places. You, you, I'm ashamed to give them away. Carl, frankly. you know our mate Johnny, he's a Doctor Who fan. Yeah. Do you remember, um, he bought, um, uh, the Doctor Who magazine, um, and, uh, he went... Um, to the toilet, and Steve got post-it notes and put geek on every page. And Johnny opened it on the tube, right, and it had geek and everything. And Johnny bought in the, the new Doctor Who magazine, I think this week's or this month's, right? And they've, they've, um, they've done the perfect Doctor Who fan, right, what the geek is, right, and it looks exactly like Steve. Alright, don't have a go, really. It does. And, he went, and I, I've, it, I, I'm gonna try and put it on the website. It's amazing. It's got your hair, glasses, it stands like you, it's sort of dressed like you, and it's only, and it's, it's hilarious, and he's, he's, he was, I mean, I'm insulting you now, it's, it sounds like an insult, but if you'd see it, you'd laugh, play a... Well, Rockbusters, right? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Just a little um, bit annoyed. Just, uh, three clues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we lost all the energy in this show, haven't we? Well, I'm just, I can't get over that insult. I'm just a little... No, three, we did, though. Just come out, no, I can be things, honest with you, Richard, I wasn't expecting an insult. No, and, but uh, I think there was a sense of camaraderie on this. No, like, just it, email in, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. What are we doing? I'm just, I'm just reading out the clues. Should we put this, let's put this one in for the Sony Award. Let's put this show in for the Sony Award. Play a song, Carl, because I need to discuss things with him. I've talked before about him second it down. Get this down to three minutes, it'd be a great show. Busters in a minute. To a well, certain yeah, I, extent. I'm just thinking, if I was to meet Steve in a restaurant, yeah, right, I'd, 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 nothing I'd, untoward going on. We're just hanging out. We're no, just having a chat, just yeah, having sure. a normal night out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Who's paying? Because I mean, <laughs> is it expensive? Go Dutch, go Dutch, go Dutch. <laughs> I mean, right. So, I, I I say to you, I'll I'll see you at eight, right, in yeah. this in this restaurant. I turn up at the door. It's a bit of a posh place, mm-hmm. right. Uh, so he's uh, Steve Merchant in. Yeah. And the waiter sort of goes, I, I, I don't know. What does he look like? Right? And, uh, Where's he from? Just a f- little French fella. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, what does he look like? So I'd, the th- thing I'd pick up on first, tall, tall lad. Tall, yeah. And then he goes, oh, well, you know, we've got lots of tall people in. Right? Yeah. And I go, oh, big eyes? <laughs> big eyes? Yeah. <laughs> and then he'd go, yeah, he's over there. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, you can have dinner and you can buy me dinner. I'm not sure you're going to get anywhere with me. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, what he hasn't said is, well, um, he gets frustrated because we have to go from restaurant to restaurant for something I can eat. But the reason we've only got about three restaurants to choose from are that because he doesn't want to spend more than a fiver at lunchtime. At lunchtime? Mm. If I was going out of an evening, you'd spend a decent amount of wallop. But mm. lunchtime, Would why you? would I spend? You'd be happy to spend 20 quid on lunch. Imagine that every single day. There's no one out there who's eating lunch, 20 quid a day on lunch. It's crazy. You don't need that much food at lunchtime. Because we, I don't know what happens. You go in there, you have some kind of, you know, tiger in curry for lunch. You're asleep by 1.30. We're trying to work. We're trying to write TV shows. And you're dozing off like one of those giant anacondas that's just eating a sheep. <laughs> and it's slowly digesting it. It takes like three weeks. He doesn't eat car. He does not like the spare. He, he, he'll go, he'll walk a mile out of his way to get a sandwich for it. Having an argument over that 50p that time. <laughs> I don't want to bring no, back up again. Here's the situation, Carl. Yeah. I lent you 50p and you decided you weren't going to pay me back. It should be to my discretion if I say, don't worry about it, Carl. You should offer me the 50p, go, there's that 50p I owe you, and I'll go, don't worry about it, Carl. But you didn't even do that. Nah, it's the way that you were, like... I said, where's my 50p? Crap, you went, oh, you don't need that. That's not your decision, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I said, I, I, I don't think I've got it at the moment, or whatever. Rubbish. And you're going through my pockets and that. Rubbish. 50p. Ridiculous. Mm. You've just given him a keg of beer for free, haven't you? Well, let's, let's not go over it again. I tell you, you're gonna go along later to the Live 8 gig and you're probably gonna see some bands that are gonna make an effort to entertain you, but oh, if you want entertainment, Rick, you know it. Go on. There's only one person to book. Go on. Me. If, if you, you know, you have perhaps yeah. something to do, uh, 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 cause I mean, I'm, I'm obviously a top well, DJ I, I, on the radio, but 
where my where I really come into my own is DJing in any kind of club. Well, you told me you were DJing. Uh, I didn't go to it. Uh, DJing at a party, and you said the place was rocking. The place was roaring, and I loved it. Uh, Carl just just said he was there, and they weren't. Well, that's nonsense, Carl. They because you know very well that when I was put, I put on a tune, they cheer. Yeah, but it, it was late on in the night. They would have done that whatever you put on. That's nonsense. No, they, they, were they were happy and everything. I'm not saying they were having a good time. It was your party. It was it was all right. But they weren't going mental like you're you're sort of making up. They were definitely going mental. No, when I put on the no. proclaimers, they could not believe their no, luck. No. <laughs> they they would have walked a thousand miles. <laughs> was it good though? Was he? Were they really? What were they doing? Were they dancing? They were dancing. Were they it's dancing and that? But they weren't sort of cheering, going you know more and all that at the end. What's about? Oh, Take wow. On Me came on, they, they, the yeah. big, the big cheer went up. Oh, I don't know who to believe. I've been there, done it, Steve. I've, I've been the DJ as well. And oh, it might be jealousy. It I might think be like professional a, jealousy there. Like a, yeah. I think it's because my fortunes are on the up and these are on the down. You know, we all know famously that he had uh, Pilkey's making, making music, music his happen. DJ outfit. Didn't happen. Did, didn't. I did enough. I just wanted to do enough to pay for the equipment. <laughs> and I did. And that was that. But I don't like crowds, do I? <laughs> Carl, it was you that worked out the maths. And worked out I was 28 because they just worked out I'm 27. You are 27. No way. Yeah, I told I asked you, didn't I? And yeah, I said because, no, but what I sort of questioned was I said, well, if you're 27 today, that means last week you were 26. Well, well done. Yeah, that's um, irrelevant. So, so therefore, you assumed that I must be 28 then. Yeah. Whereas I, I assumed you were using, you know, your knowledge of maths no, such as no, it is. I wouldn't do that. No, sure, sure. Wow. I, I actually got lost in that conversation because I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what he meant with, would mean last week you were 26. I don't uh, know what that <laughs> I meant. I don't know what it meant. Wow. Well, it is Steve's birthday. Well, and he would have been 26 last week. Ah. <laughs> so much times you, uh, you genuinely frighten me because it's those staring eyes, there's nothing behind him, it's this little bald head. It looks like Davros looking at me. Genuine, just genuine fear on his face when he enters into a conversation with another human but what, being. What bit don't you understand? If, he was, if he's 27 today, he would have been 26 last week and he doesn't look 26. He didn't look 26 last week. He looks older than 28 today. You've started on, on his birthday, you're still having a go at him. Carl, I don't look like the kind of hot stud that I actually am, but face facts, <laughs> that's the truth, mate. <laughs> yeah, get live with, with it. it. Get with live the program, jeez. Um, I had some exciting news this week, Carl. You'll be pleased to find out. Um, I, I, I'm worried that you might get a little bit jealous, because it's obviously going to impact on your world quite strongly, because I know you think, you like things to be quite, the, quite, you know, samey. You like the status quo to be maintained. You like the fact that in the past, you know, we've had some crosswords, you know, because you've, I remember, what did you think of me when I first walked in? When I first came in on the yeah, first well, day of XFL. I don't know why you're making a big deal. Do you want to bring it? Do you I, want to I'm just being honest, though. I'm just well, being honest about a lot of people who see you for the first time sort of go, well, he's a bit weird. <laughs> Ooh. 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 I know the bad Steve that you brought it up. And then you're, again. But I'm sure that wasn't what he said before. No, did he, he did. Did he say before? I, yeah, well, well he's I. He's a bit weird. Yeah, well, I, he looked at you, and, uh, I knew. I could see by the look of his face. You know when, uh, when you know your, your kid, and your kid's sort of scared of something, and they go, why is your kid? And goes, oh, he doesn't like pigeons or spiders. Right. It was like that. When I saw Carl, and I brought you in, and I went, what do you think of that, Carl? I could see the look on his face that he, d he was disturbed. Sure. And then, as he said, you get used to it, don't you? Yeah, you get used to it. And, y and you have changed a little bit. Your hair's a bit smarter now, and you've got some nicer glasses and that, I think. <laughs> or I might just get used to it. <laughs> Oh, don't bring it up, Steve. Don't well, look at me like that. So you say that you think some other people in the office thought the same? Do you know that for sure? Carl. Did you discuss it? Carl. Yeah, I think, I think they do, yeah. Okay, leave it there then. But not just in the office, as, as you walk through <laughs> the building. <laughs> oh, it's, it's worse than you ever thought. It's best if, if you leave it. Well, we're not gonna leave it. We're gonna get you on the poster. Yeah. I mainly have to see myself on videotape this morning. That's oh, I, I showed him, um, um, I, you know, uh, the animal show I did, the show, yes. I'm doing a video and I did behind the scenes footage and I've got a, uh, you've seen it, haven't you? I feel a bit of Carl on there, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. It's lovely. He can't believe it. He said, is it playing slow? <laughs> He's so slow when I come into the office going, all right. It, that's how you I'm talk. I'm as well. I look like I'm looking into a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy with it. I just think that if we're willing to, 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 uh, <laughs> if Ricky's willing to use his celebrity profile for the sake of the show, yeah. I'm willing to look like a, you know, let's say a fairly handsome kind of cool customer, I think at least, the very least, Carl, is that you appear on there as well. Yeah. You could dress are up you smart. Are you worried that you'll look the worst out of all three of us? Uh, who am I standing next to? Am I next to Steve? <laughs> I'm, pr I'm fairly confident. Yeah. I like the way it's so predictable. You pull the string because you know what it is. It's <laughs> you pull the string. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyway, I just it, thought I wanted to say, really. It is tragic. What's tragic? What, what did you want me to say about that song? Just your opinion. Your own opinion was fine. It's, it's in fact, in fact, your own opinion is better than anything I could really hope for. W without doubt. Whenever I ask you a question- You constantly surprise us. Yeah. You're- it's- it's wonderful. So only ever- carry on telling the truth, carry on saying exactly what's on your mind, and I think this could become a great- You're like a man who was frozen <laughs> in Victorian era, <laughs> and has been reawoken, and he's kind of discovering the world. Some <laughs> things make sense, other things yeah. don't. It's beautiful. It's As opposed to one that was made in a castle in Victorian times, like <laughs> Steve. Oh, that's just- Oh, I've joined in with Carl. I can't believe it. I'm oh, sorry. Side. Yeah, no, it was irresistible though, wasn't it? Mm. I'm really sorry. Should we play a record? Yeah. So, we were talking about pre- Should we play a record? Is that link too long already I'm before already we bored. actually got to summer? I'm already bored. Carl, we've got to get to something. We've got to do Carl, something. why don't you contribute something? You've been silent. Now, that is scraping about what about, really like, is, We're it? in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, we're failing. Who can we- Who can we bring on that surefire always delivers audio snappy. dynamite yeah carl the big guns <laughs> come on carl no, i was just thinking there is nobody else who looks like steve <laughs> <laughs> he's done ya that's <laughs> outrageous <laughs> although to be honest with you that insult has resurrected things yeah well done <laughs> shut up they got two monkeys right and don't stop because they've seen the owners they've seen the owners with guns and what have you yeah 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 no, 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 that sounds fucking so had, had a bit of a shoot off yeah that's how they, that's how they sorted it out. And who won? I think it was George. The one called George. Right. So they had, I think they had 17 kids. The farm's still running. So that's, that's like the, the last little monkey news there. Good little Rick, happy ending to that one. if you were to rub your nipple against his lips while I held him down. Right, come off it now. Come on. No, I'm not doing Bruce Springsteen, Thunder Road, last track on next with I'm you, not Steve. Good. You can check this all out on the webcam. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought I got fingers. Get his arm out of the way. Get the arm out of the way. This happened on scum. This is scum. This is <laughs> Mary's dress wing. Like a vision. She it's it happening again, Steve. What's happening? It's going all wrong. Yeah. We're talking rubbish. Are we? Yeah. We should have played two in a row. He's having a go, isn't he? Blimey. Can I just kiss and make up with Carl? No, that is- No, let me just- let me just kiss my kiss. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't next- then next week it'll be the same again. What it doesn't mean it? anything. It's, it's like saying on sorry. On oh. On the lips. Go on, look, he's- oh, Carl. Carl! Get off oh, it! <laughs> <laughs> I've never- Carl has oh, gone a absolute shade of purple straining not to have merchants- There's no point, Steve. What no. There's no point. No, just shake. Just shake and make up. <laughs> <laughs> Shake what, Rick? <laughs> there you go. All friends, sit down. This, that's lovely. That's a lovely moment. So there's Steve Merchant with funny glasses on in this place, horror, and he's walking round. Mm. Do you think he scared people, Carl? I've, I've set this question out, haven't I? <laughs> I, know, I, I've, I know, I've, I've, I've loaded the question. I know I'm... the answer you're fishing for. <laughs> Carl, do you just want to have a dig at me? Because it's <laughs> coming up to two o'clock, and you've not really put a lot of uh, effort in today, slagging me off. He does it on purpose. No, he doesn't do it on purpose. He's, 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 just, he's just an honest northerner, and he can't lie. He's like George Washington, but without the wooden teeth. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think your heart's in it anymore, either, Carl. I was alright today, but Steve's really dragged me down. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's- wait, 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 I just need to know why. No, do you know, like, yeah. when people are being miserable around you. Yep. I, I was full yep. of beans when I came in. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, but you've yep. got to remember last week, you were really miserable and that really wound me up. Yeah, because he was dumb so to do stuff. Around, right? the, the, you know, he'd been let down and they were worried about yeah, the next show. You were in a terrible mood. Yeah, yeah. look at me like you songs. were. I wasn't like going off oh, and lying on the settee looking ill. <laughs> Talking in that oh, voice. Oh, he's done you yeah. again. I said, I said just now, being quite friendly. Yeah, Carl, Steve. Carl, have you ever tried to get into the monarch for free? Because <laughs> I'll be honest, mate, it's not going to happen for you. <laughs> Come out with me, mate. You got to quit off. <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, when you can get in places in Camden for free. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's done you. He's um, so ungrateful. Really? Yeah. Because I can't remember the time my dad bought me anything. It's always my mum who bought it, and my dad would give her the money. Yeah. You've got Ricky who's lost his go-kart. <laughs> You've had a video bought for you, and you need to stun happy. <laughs> I just think it's selfish. <laughs> 150 quid? Yeah. What, in gift vouchers? Yeah. To spend at the same places? Mm. I'd have to say, though, I mean, it's not a very inventive gift, is it? It's Whoever a came up thought, with it, though. It's a lovely thought. It's wonderful to have 25 pounds that I can, I can only spend in two places I never go in. But, uh, no, no, I'm not, so I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Any I'm not anyway. looking a gift horse in the mouth. It, it is a treat. He, sp he spoke to Jonathan Ross like he was a normal person. 
Uh, from someone whose dad buys him a spade for Christmas, I thought you'd be grateful. <laughs> It's- it's one of them things, innit, like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like, the elephant man or whatever. <laughs> yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of, oh, look at that. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you saw Steve? No, I'm not being funny, do you remember the f- the- what, like the first- Yeah, but I've said this before, it's always, <laughs> then you get used to how people look, and you don't- <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I'm gonna pass! I'm- you have to play a record! No, but- Cause that's- <laughs> It, do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. I'd like to rent you out to people. See me, I'm different. <laughs> I would happily leave him now in the bottom of the cupboard. Mm. <laughs> Until quiz With the night. scale electrics. <laughs> <laughs> Until the old pub quiz night, <laughs> when there's no one else who will have you on the team. Sure. Oh, and suddenly you want to be your best mate. Done him again! Right? My, yeah, where's his mum and dad then, Carl? Mm. Yeah? In yeah. Bristol. Yeah. Do you, do you know what Steve said when he saw that, Carl? Go on. He said, it has captured Carl. Mm. What do you mean? Well, you just look utterly gormless. <laughs> in the pictures. It's captured you brilliant. You know how, like, a good photographer can do that? You can capture the essence of someone. <laughs> That's good stuff.